Hey Numpkins, just wanted to welcome you to this video. This is our long play of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. It's our most ambitious project I think so far. It took about 30 hours to put all this together. Really hope you enjoy it. Be warned, we're not great at the game, but I think it was a decent experience overall. Um, we'd like to shout out our Patreon supporter Paul Calhoun for bringing you this video. Paul's book is a fantasy novel that we are narrating the audiobook for is linked in the description. Make sure you go check it out. And of course, I want to shout out our producer Alice as well for making all this possible. Her links are on screen. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She's fantastic. This has been a very ambitious project. So I hope you guys enjoy. After this is going to be Song of Horror. Uh, and if you want to get involved, vote, nominate, decide what games we play. Join our Patreon. Link in the description. It helps fund these massive projects that we do. Hope you enjoy, sit back and relax. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Quizum. And today we are playing Eternal Darkness Sanity is Requiem, as voted for by our patrons. It is a GameCube horror game that I have played briefly and got very angry at. Right, Bebe? Yes. Have you ever, do you know this game at all? Uh, I mean, I was there playing it with you, so. There's something. Let's play. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Oh, that's this is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. Well then. Okay. Just gonna be a cold open. I think this is a dream if I remember correctly. Just to get you used to the, to the uh, shooting instinct. I don't know what's happening, baby. I'm out of bullets. I think this is meant to be scripted, though, so it's okay. I took out quite a lot of them, right? Is there a melee? No. It was all a dream. Gem <laughs> <Gym> graphics. <laughs> Listen, the GameCube was cutting edge, Belly. I mean, it actually was. It, compared to the PS2, sure. Uh, hello? Miss Alexandra Roivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm... Sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, Miss Roybus, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering... Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must <laughs> warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. <laughs> I'm going to show you the dismembered body of your grandfather? I'm afraid there's not much to see. <gasps> yeah. 
mean, there's obviously something there. <laughs> there's not much to see. There's shitloads. Okay, there's accident, Mr. and then there's Lewis. Moida. Yeah. Is that your grandfather? <laughs> yeah, I recognize his ring. Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. We have reason to believe he slipped and fell in some jam. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. Oh, none of this makes sense. Oh, he slipped and fell and severed his head, of course. And there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Oh, we don't have a single clue. You better find out who did this. Oh, they are treating it as a. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. Have what did you say? Weirder. Some clue in this old mansion. What happened? I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would be here. I like the way I up the brightness and it's still really fucking dark. <laughs> Do you want to up it more? Nah, it's okay for now. Okay, you know what's nice? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's attack. Is that that's stealth? <laughs> that's poise, so you can punch in the spot. Doesn't seem to be a run button. Oh there is. There is. There we go. Oh god, the camera. Yeah. Anyway, this. A beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. With the time permanently set to 3.33, there is a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should you take the key? Alex picks up the desk clock and pulls the key from it. However, there's something odd about the key. It isn't for winding at all. It looks like a dresser key. Alex found the dresser key. Whish, 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 whish. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm going to look around. I feel like that's pretty important to know. Listen, I thought that was a glitch, but it was the light. See, like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. as it crept in there, like, it's like, it's the texture not loading in. Such a big place. It is a very big place. The looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost patriarchal air, used a stick to adjust the clock hands. Should Alex adjust the clock hands? We need to change it at the same time as the one in the lobby, which was 3.33. Glad it wasn't sensitive, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. Stop whispering! <laughs> the Gothic cathedral is silhouetted against the stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violent feeling, as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture, indeed. Wow, this is very flowery, the language, right? Yeah. But I sort of expect this type of thing. I've got our first weapon here. It's a gladius. It's on display by the fireplace, another token of eclectic junk. I've acquired a gladius. No idea how I equip it, but that's fine. Anyway, can you say a necronomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonomonom
A leather-bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read it? Necro yes. num num. Oh well, now we get to low resolution FMV. <laughs> Not even FMV really, is it? It's like <gasps> Baby! That was so rude! I think it might still be considered FMV. That's true. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. Oh my gosh. That's so a bit harsh, Grandpa. That once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose. For I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. I'm pretty sure I rage quit on this first level. Yes, you did. Great. Where is Quies Candamast? Where is Konzavondai? Facusatis aquae sumat. Et animus eorum confirma. Hubna huis the acid modo prima multarum. Si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies wow. do not have a chance. He changed language just for then and there. Do you yep. believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs or his orders. Not gonna lie, I'm really glad they did that. We are to retrieve the artifact. And we must be strong and patient. All right, it's 26 BC. And we are playing as Pius Augustus. I think I would have liked it a bit more if there had been like a sort of visual effect pairing with the switch from their, I guess, native language to like the translated. Yeah. Like it would be a cool effect to be like, you know, something happened so we yeah. could understand it. Yeah? Sure. No, I get what you mean. It doesn't have to be too flowery. It could just be like a little like screen glitch or something, you know? Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to playing this. I'm going to try and be much more patient than I was. This is meant to be one of the best horror games ever made. So, you know. Oh dear. He's fine. Do we get turned into a chicken at one point? I don't know. I, I really don't know anything about this game. The dies on the floor is finely crafted, inlaid with gold and gems that Pius can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. All right, let's go down. A ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pius courageousness resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh, oh no. So this has like a body targeting system I vaguely remember? Well yeah, you, ha you played with it in the tutorial. I mean, it didn't tell me how to do anything, actually. I'm a bit more well, Yeah, but you had the chance to learn it in the tutorial. <laughs> oh, I see. I win. Mm. I won. Finish him. Finish him. We won, baby. Yay! That wasn't too bad. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I was surprised how responsive it was to dodging there. That was actually quite good. Alright, what is this? Ominous cube. A strange granite block lies on the floor. 
Pius just picks up the granite block. It's very heavy looking. Yeah, but he's strong. I mean, yeah. He's golly, he's, he's, he's really great to look okay? I mean, he probably literally is. Gonna, gonna get all the heads, gonna get all the torsos. Gonna stabby stab. Oh my goodness, look the at how much... The way smoother than I remember it being. Was it because I was playing... Okay, well, I'm not sure gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> 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 this GameCube controller that I'm definitely using is so much easier to use than the GameCube controller I used last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have another... To be block. fair, the GameCube controller we did use last time, I genuinely think was half broken. Because it was, like, really ancient. I fucking hate the GameCube controller. It's one of my <laughs> least favourite controllers for anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe don't smack the wall, but other than that, you're doing great. Oh god, the camera. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see the pro moves? I don't think I've been hit yet. Bubba, you say that, now you're gonna get hit. <laughs> I didn't. I won. Hmm, did you really don't? I got a blue granite block. I think I hear squelchies, so I'm gonna climb down the ladder and get out of here. Oh, you see the, the lights turn on by themselves? Yeah. It's all spooky dooky. He's dealing with the fact that there's zombies here remarkably well. I mean, I think in this time period you would deal with that better because it was just like part of their common knowledge that monsters existed, you know? Fair. Oh, I remember getting very angry in this room. Yes. This room's giving me PTSD already. Well, I mean, you're doing the good so far, so don't let your previous experience ruin this one. Without their heads, they can't find me. Which makes things a lot easier. Oh my goodness. Ow, first hit. Okay, health meter. The meter is <laughs> Every time a character takes damage, the level will lower. When it reaches zero, the character will die. I love how it just had to smack you in the face immediately. Yeah. With this... an explanation of like, hey, if you get hurt, you lose hit points. The function allows a manipulation of venture items in the current room. Equip. We now do equip, okay. Switch to the examination of objects. <laughs> Pressing to unless switching back and forth between sections within the interface. Okay. I think I understand. There's the map. I, I'm assuming they get up again if you don't kill them. Like, if you don't finish them. Yeah, I would assume so. Here's another block. If I can figure out how to get round to it. Uh, or maybe not. There we go. A strange granite block. We got the purple one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So each wall in here has the hole for the right block. So. A wall is predominantly decorated with a strange line symbol carved into the granite. Cut into walls a square hole with scratches as though something has been removed from it. Alright, so I guess we have to do this. There we go. Simple enough, Bevanumki? Yes. Although you have to manually use things, it looks like, like keys and shit. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's pretty old. So. Like, what year did this come out? Like, 2003, 2004 it would have been? Um... 
Oh my god, research a chrism on the case. June 24th, 2002. Okay, that was not too far off. 20 right? years old. Yep. Okay, so that's the locked door back the way we came. So let's head back there now. If I can find the way that thing. It's very hard to tell with this big room, oh my god. You know, I really do hope uh, game preservation um, stops getting so much fucking backlash. I know it won't, but in my perfect world, companies would stop being so evil and allow game preservation better pr game preservation by, you know, fans who actually care. Because, like, in another 20 years, I wonder how many games like this you won't be able to find anymore. That's because true. of evil game companies. That is true. Like, this game has never been re-released or anything. Yeah. Hi, you can prove your worth by destroying the statue. Pressing... Okay, we already did this. Okay, yeah, this is how I've been fighting the entire time! <laughs> we did it. Oh my yeah. god. So numb. It's a bit late, that tutorial. Like, you probably would have died by now. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of them. I believe in you, Bobby. I'm assuming at some point there'll be heal potions and shit. Yeah. Or something like that. Although I don't really need it yet, fortunately. Alright, what is this? A button attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Push the button? Sure. I wouldn't push buttons willy nilly. <laughs> but then again, I don't know what I'd do in this situation. I'd probably already be dead. Let's be honest. No. Oh, here's this. This is the choice of difficulty. Okay. So we have red, blue, and green. Okay? Mm hmm. You can only pick one, and the one you pick determines the path we take through the game. If I take the red one, the enemies will tougher and they'll regenerate. Okay? Mm -hmm. If I take blue, we'll have to rely on magic because our melee will be weak. If we pick the green, we'll be stronger, enemies will be weaker, but our sanity will deplete faster than the other two. So everyone has been telling me I should take green because they want to see sanity effects and things like that too. It might be more frustrating for me, but I'm going to do it, okay? Okay. This is green, right? I'm not being an idiot. Yeah. A dark effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from dark green emerald hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? Listen, I know your emperor wanted it real bad. You gonna touch it with your bare hands? <laughs> That's what happens. Touch slowly, slowly. No, I ruined it. <laughs> it's alright. He's lost a lot of weight now. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zelototh, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Alex has acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. <laughs> and she's taken the news very well! <laughs> Alright, and this t page here is the next page of the Tome. Strangely, with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in her possession, Alex can read the page. It's a chapter page from the Tome itself. Would you like to take the chapter page? Yes. The Binding of the Corpse God is the next chapter. 
We will have to find much more of those around the place, though, as we go, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, to begin with, it's going to be... Oh, really I don't like how the eyeballs are yeah. blinking. So you can save wherever you like in this game. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. Yeah. And we see you're on the green path. So there you go. Yeah, you can save wherever you want. Which is really rare for a game in this era. Like, isn't it? Like, I can't think of many other games that they were all save points. Yeah. Alright, um... So now, we go into our inventory. Mm hmm And we have chapter page, the Binding of the Corpse God. Mm -hmm. If we use it, it will put it in the Tome of Eternal I Darkness, and we'll play the next chapter. Beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. But baby, we're playing a girl. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. Thy master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh, flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Mount Turok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. This is nearly a thousand years later than the first section, by the way. Thou mm. hast seen the last of this world. Ow. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something. I like the JPEG of a forest behind her. <laughs> yeah. I wish something that fantastic and a higher purpose could happen to me. No, you don't. You don't wish that. All right. You are so stupid. <laughs> All right, so this is Elia, our second character of, I'm guessing, quite a lot. I'm guessing we're going to play a bunch of different characters in this. Mm -hmm. It's like the, like, people have been driven crazy over, like, forever. It's like our family I think, tree. I, I think, think really this right. might be actually where you, um, this, this chapter. This chapter is where I rage quit. Yeah. The statue of a goddess delicately sculpted from sandstone. It casts an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple. There is a strange necklace about its neck. Should Ilya take the necklace from the statue? Yes. The necklace can be used to heal Elia. Make sure that Elia does not move when the spell is being cast. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. The design on the wall appears to depict the time of the day. Perhaps the candles do too? So there's a puzzle we have to eventually solve, but we don't have the pieces for it just yet. I remember you getting very upset. <laughs> you 
scared. Yeah, I think I just triggered a load more traps. Yeah. It's the it's the light colored uh, squares. Yeah. Okay, we made it without getting hit there. Oh, now we're stuck inside. Oh, hi. Oh, dear. When located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter and the character the pulse green. But where? Sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. The sanity meter represents a character's sanity. Every time he or she meets a monster, his or her sanity will get lower. The lower the sanity gets, the more the character will hallucinate. Come on, fishing move on a creature to recover sanity. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay, so if we finish the creature off... We get sanity. Like, so if we do this, we get it back. No. There, see, it filled it up again. Oh. But my sanity is going to drain faster than other people's because I picked that thing. Yeah. Okay. Take the bronze necklace, I think, here. Let's grab it. The design in the wall appears to depict a time of the day. Perhaps the candles do too. Press the thing to uh, light or extinguish the candles. Well, I wanted to do that. How do I... Why can't I select it anymore? Press Y, A and X to light or extinguish the candles. Okay. There we go. You could totally crawl through there. Hmm. I'm guessing the other places you go, you'll need to light the corresponding candle to match the yeah. picture. I now have to go back to the previous room to map to fit to open the rest of the door, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Careful. Oh yeah, this is the part. Nope, nope. There we go. Take it slow and steady. I think at one point you might have to run through this area. Yeah, I think so too. It's very hard to aim at them sometimes. Yeah. I can't actually do it at the moment. There we go. Alright, and now... I want to finish them! There we go. Uh, they, they, okay, they vanish if you don't do it fast enough. Okay. Alright. That one's right. Mm -hmm. That is right, you're correct. Oh, I know what to do. We got the other. We got a, we got a new uh, necklace, so we put it on the statue and it'll open the door that closed. Oh. So we need to make sure we use the right necklace, which is the bronze one, on this statue, to trick it, baby. Oh my god, this is so rude. Why would you ever be so mean? It's very easy, actually. How could you? I'm scared, baby. Listen, everything will be fine. Uh, more candles. They're right, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so there'll be another one down this way, though. Careful. It's so rude that they're such a similar colour. It is hard to see, but I think I've got the hang of it a bit more now than I had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another zombie I'm guessing oh shit oh dear oh that one still has fresh flesh oh, it doesn't know where I am I mean that's a good thing So no. 
Okay, so we need to get rid of them all. Sorry, it's a little fiddly. I think it's this way. Maybe? I'm not sure. Which way did I come in? Uh... I don't know. I mm. see trick tiles here, though. There's trick tiles in both routes, for sure. Bubby, I don't know. I should look at my map, actually. Yeah. I should also save. Yeah, that would also be a very good thing to do. Oh, it's not safe to save right now. So you can only save at certain times. Well, it looks like we've definitely been here before. Right? Oh no, we haven't, because we loot rampant. So this is the this bit. This is bit is new. This bit is new. Be careful of the things. There's lots of them on the floor. I saw. All right, let's go. There's got to be something in here. There's got to be something in, in this area. Yeah, look. Oh. A small pedestal covered with decorative etching stands before the wall. The blow gun upon it must have some special significance for it to be a focal point of this display. Should Ellie, ta Ellie take the blow gun? Sure. Your name's Ellie now, actually, I decided. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, dear. Oh. A secret passage in the temple. That's not good. Oh, shit. Uh, I need to equip my new weapon. Hang on, why isn't it equipped? You might have unequipped it. Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm, I'm probably fucked here. My sanity's gone! Oh no, And so my is health is health. gone! I died in one hit?! Yeah! Yay! Oh, I can finish them now. A blow dart to the bum. Oh, I was late on that one. Yeah. Alright. The guard is grateful for Elia saving his life. In return, he offers his services. If Elia brings him a weapon that's been broken, if you'll repair it, it's a gesture of thanks. Wow. You mean, like, our weapon that we broke? It's a shattered short sword lies on the floor. How the fuck is he gonna fix that? Without, like, a forge? <laughs> Glue? <laughs> yes. Yes, repair my short sword, please. Oh, a spell, I guess. The item has been repaired. Let's Yay. get that re-equipped. Thank you. There we go. Alright. We should do a special save here. Okay, so you're going to have to make a note every time you make a special save because it displays personal information on screen every time we do it. Oh, okay. Did you just do it? Yep. Hold on, I'll put a note in. You'll need to let me know when you're doing a special save. Yeah, I won't do them that often. Like, I'll just have to reply like five, ten minutes. If I do it every ten minutes, it'd really annoy me. So. Yeah. Tell me when you cut back. Oh my god. Oh, I could kill him, it looks like. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. Yes, please don't step on traps. I've done a fairly good job of not standing on them. You've done a fairly good job, but no! I think I might have to spend on this end on this one. Yeah. yeah. That's rude. 
It's okay, we made it. Yee. Go and get all those things. I thought this out weapon's there. better now. <laughs> the guy fixed it. I think you just missed it so much. I'm gonna go this way for now, okay? More traps. Including one that I have to set off here. <sighs> Probably I'm scared. I think you should be. Oh, it's set up every trap. Oh no. Honey, that's another one! That's another one! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh shit, there's Oh, hello. Oh, they're fighting because they're different, they're different like, allegiances, I think, to different gods. Depending on what colors you pick. I think we're weak to red, and green we're strong again. We're like, the same as, and blue was strongest against. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> My plan ended up working out okay, right? Kind of? <laughs> kind of a little bit. I'm very surprised. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going right now. I have no idea. Oh, it's the Tentacle Man. Oh, hello, dear. We're friends, right? Stop. Don't go near it. Oh, well. Reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Atrolok. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. He seems remarkably chill about us being here. Oh, well, I mean, we're probably gonna die anyway. You are one of the chosen many. Flesh and blood. It is now your destiny to fight the eternal darkness. Tile drop. <laughs> I give you a gift in return. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. Who the fuck is this? Is this. You hold one of Mount Arak's hearts. The essence of the corpse guard. To some it is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. So... From what I understand, by the way, Mantarok is like the god that balances it all out, and that's why the others hate him. Because yeah. stop, he stops the others from getting too powerful. And that's why Pius is being mean to him, because he wants Mantarok to go so his god can become more powerful. Mm. I don't know if that's true. That's just what, I'm, that's, that's what I think. There we go. Yay! Alright, anything else here? Oh, I think we need this. A metal star's being held by the arms of the statue. Ellie has acquired a metal staff. I know that's not her name, but it is now. <laughs> hmm. We need to go all the way back now. Through the traps, Betty. You know the traps we had fun in? Yeah. Remember Dan? Yeah, I remember Oh shit, Dan. what the fuck is this? Oh, this room was it, you're right. No, you're right. I'm right. Kill, I need sanity. But, but the whole temple's shaking. I don't like it. This is where I quit before, by the way. 
Yeah. I'm trying to escape here. Hopefully you don't quit again. I, I hope not, especially as... Okay, take it slow. Everything's fine. No, 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 that one... I have to. There's no other way through them. There was. <laughs> if you went around the gate... <laughs> In some ways, it helped me. This one goes all the way around, look. Well, this one does. That one didn't, I don't think. Oh, fuck. Oh, I mean... This one does go all the way through. What's that noise? Something getting closer to you. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, before I do anything... Sounds like this bumpkin's in here, but I healed. Oh wow, your sanity is really low. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Yet. I'm hallucinating though. Oh no. Get away from me, you fuck! Okay, kill as many of these as you can to get our sanity back. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't die there, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> oh, this one didn't die? You weren't fast enough finishing him, I think. Alright, we did it. <laughs> right, now I'm gonna heal again. Just don't move. There we go. Alright, there was a structure here. Yes, there's a hole in the device. If something could be inserted, perhaps a key or lever. Okay. I'm guessing this. You know what we have to do now? Go all the way back here, through the traps. Oh, oh my god, and seriously? That door. Seriously. Can you save again? Good to see. Yes! I can! Oh my god. So numb. So numb. Alright, we got this, okay? Yes. I'm, I'm just gonna run. I just saved, so we'll see what happens, alright? Okay! <laughs> I took that like a champ, actually. <laughs> See, that was just you purposely trying to oh, trigger them. Oh yeah, I was them. doing it on purpose there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're nearly there now. We can come back through here. Mantarok won't hurt us because we got one of his hearts. He's such a handsome boy, look at him. Oh my god. Oh, he has stamina, shit. My sanity is losing me. Yeah. It's okay, let's just keep going. Don't worry about the little numpkin, okay? The little sleepy man to rock numpkin. I'm sure everything's fine now as we go in here. Fool! You should have run! Instead you will die! Where is the essence of Mantarok? Ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. And we finished the chapter. Oh my god, so no. It's not very numb, actually, is it really? No, it's not. Not for her, really. especially. Oh my god, Papa, look. 
It's just lit before. A small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate. That's the wrong one. I know. There we go. And we have something here. It's a, the correct sequence of candles being lit. A hidden panel opens. There's a message tube inside. I found the message tube. Alright, so this is the tutorial on how to uh, use your inventory, I think, as I just fuck up everything there. <laughs> Check it. An antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Shall Alex open it? Sure. I found a chapter page called Suspicions of Conspiracy. But first, we have a cutscene. A really low-res cutscene. Your presence is welcome, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. He lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Chaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they would doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be found, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. Be certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence. It is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one and the other. These cutscenes are different Just depending on what sure god you sided with. From power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Oh, we discarded the tube, baby. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Hunk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, Carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. There are words for his eyes only. At once. Are you immediately going to read it? Yes, he is, I think. I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. <laughs> Just runs into the JPEG. <laughs> Gets knocked on his ass. All right. All right. We are playing as Anthony Bebenumkin. Mm-hmm. And we now need to reveal the plan. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Why is there a coffin here? 
Because you know dead people things. A funeral casket made from unfinished wood. It's not properly sealed and could probably be open. Should Anthony open it? Sure. <gasps> oh my god, what is oh, it? What happened? This devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Great jam? Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here. Take this for your protection, and find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Cut that guy's eyes. Anthony is part of Scramus Axe. What the fuck is a Scramus Axe? It's a pointy stick. <laughs> that looks That's suspiciously not a like a sword to me, Bevy. Yes. So, there was just a coffin laying there, and everyone was just like, Oh, well, I didn't put it there, but it must be there for a reason. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna go upstairs. Um... What is happening? Oh, just stuff and things. Things and stuff. I don't know about you, baby, but this looks sussy back out of me. Oh look, it's the Tome of Eternal Darkness. How convenient. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Antony claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness? I have acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Okay. Everything's fine, I guess. Now we have the tome. Aren't we going to turn into what thingamajiggy turned into? Probably. Yes, apparently, is the answer. <laughs> I'm gradually turning into a zombie. I know. It looks like every time we go through a loading screen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do it. A mysterious gold medallion rests upon the desk. Hmm. What did I just do? What did I just do? I required a circle of power. Circles of power describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The more points within that circle, the stronger the spell will be. Spells are magical incantations that enhance a character's natural abilities. The spell list is an inventory of all the spell information that's been acquired. It will allow the player to select which spells to cast, examine, or assign to convenient quick spell buttons. This looks really complicated. Selecting this will allow the player to experiment with rune combinations and discover new spells. The selection in your inventory of all the components of magical spells you've acquired, with the function the players can review their current assignment of spells to the quick spell buttons. Hang on, I wanted to look at the spell list. Okay, we don't have any at the moment, thank fuck. <laughs> Okay. I I think I understand, probably. I don't think I do, really. Okay. Alright. A blue urn rests upon the shelf. Anthony has found a blue urn. Okay. I guess that's good? I guess so. All right. Amongst the terms of manuscripts, a book brings attention to itself. Oddly pristine on the dusty shelf, it doesn't quite belong. Should Anthony move the book? See, this is how a lot of people fail when they try to make a secret anything in their house. What you need is to have an extra box of dust that you just sprinkle on when you're done, and you take it with you out of the room. That way, it looks just as dusty as everything else, but there's no evidence that there is a box of dust that you consistently redust your dusty tomes with. That's a top quizm tip right there. Anthony has found a magical rune. And listen. <laughs> what? And completely ignored. No, not completely ignored. Just just 95% I heard ignored. what you said. I was just a bit distracted by the zombie. <laughs> yeah. Listen. 
if I, but the problem is, right, if you make it too secret, right, mm -hmm. then you won't be able to find it yourself. I don't know. I think you'll still be able to find it. <laughs> hmm. No idea what that is. I don't think it's a good idea oh. to throw your sword. Runes are the key elements in creating spells. By collecting and combining runes in different ways, different spells can be created. I guess we can't do anything with this at the moment. Yay. Why is he throwing it? That's so weird, you're right! Yeah, it is weird. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need my sword. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can save here. We have a lot of screens now as well. Yeah. Oh my god, so no. So I think you can save where you like as long as it's not... As um... long as there's no enemies around, I think. Yeah. Oh jeez, you look fucked up. Why did you drop it like, oh no, I didn't actually expect you to set on fire. Careful, you can hit him. Yeah, I know, it's... Get away from him! He is a man of the cloth! The loincloth! Hey, look. Grateful for his life, the monk tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn from the baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop who was brandishing a large blade and his eyes burned with an evil fire. Typical bishop behaviour, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Frightened, the monk dropped the urn <laughs> out of shock and ran. Returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop had left behind. With thanks, he gives the bishop's sword to Anthony. I got a two-edged sword as opposed to a sword with only one edge. Don't swords generally have two edge? No. Depends on what kind of sword it is. Hmm. I have more inventory space than I thought. Oh, we do! Look! Well, I guess they have both have edges. It's just that one is a blade and one is not. But some swords have blades on both sides. Like, sharp bits on both sides. I don't know. I'm not a sword person. I don't make them. I just look at them and think, oh, that looks kind of cool. You don't make swords, baby? No. When I married you, I thought you were a jambonger and a swordsmith. Is this not true? <laughs> I'm neither of those things. You are definitely a jambonger. I am not a jambonger. How dare you? Anthony has assembled a broken green urn. Is that is that all I needed? Or... The monk ambles around nervously as if he was expecting the demonic bishop to return at any moment. I mean, he probably will come back. Yeah, I'll finish what he started, sort of thing. Oh wow, it's really dark without the torch. Oh, hi. A carved stone tablet lies on the floor. I've acquired a magical codex. Codex! Ruins cannot be understood without a codex. Without the codex, ruins of your possession remain a mystery. Well, that not that great? Okay, so we've got the we've got a rune for a codex that we don't have, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should just use the torch as a weapon. Oh, this guy's got a rune. And lodged in his stomach. That's right. Why well, am I looking like I could poo there? Just <laughs> That Listen. squat motion. Okay. I think that's the room we've got, though. Hang on. Hang on. What, what happened to the Did I not pick it up? I swore I picked it up. We have two. Yeah, but one's the one's different. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. There's one there, and then the one there. Wait, do you assign it? I have no idea. No, Hope... got a new spell. Yeah. 
Anthony does not have enough components to attempt to research any new spells. Okay. okay. Well, that's good to know. So I guess you need a minimum amount of runes to make spells. Oh, wow, you look fucked, dude. Oh, this is going well. <laughs> I am definitely zombied at the moment, by the way. I like the fact that different factions fight each other. Mm hmm Oh, because he's. It, this is because he got trapped by the thing, right? Like the the spell went off in his face at the beginning. Yeah. I it's, just realised that. Okay. Yeah. That you, <laughs> you just realised it. Yeah. Listen. No. Yeah. That's why this is happening. Red urn. Pick it up. I got the filled red urn. Whatever it's filled with. Oh yeah. I'm having a hard time walking now. I'm walking like a zombie. A stab of stretched own. We got a magical codex for something else. Okay. I'm gonna drop a save in here, I think. Okay. Making good progress, I think. Yes. Very no. Hmm. Alright, now we need to go over here. And we're gonna use the blue urn here. While fumbling around, the urn slips from Antony's stiff fingers, dashing itself on the fragments as it hits the floor. Antony has picked up a broken blue urn, but we also found a magical rune that was inside. And I think that means we can make our first spell, okay? Yes. I think. Don't hold me to that. I will. Select alignment. Okay. We got it. How do I assign them to a spell? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it didn't seem like it worked. Or did it work? I don't... Spell list? Oh, I guess I did it wrong, maybe? There we go. You have to get the right spells in. You've just discovered spell one. Okay. Spell one. Assign. Okay. I did it. I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Alright, we need the torch here to get past here, I think. I'm gonna use the torch as my weapon, I think, for a bit. Uh, each tapestry hangs on the wall. It's sold from the dank atmosphere of the room and the corruption around it. Bum bum bum! Bum 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 bum! Alright. Hi, sir. I can't finish them off if I use the torch. Okay. Unless I can? Or do I have to change to a different weapon? I don't know. Because the body's still there, babe. I don't know. There you go. But, but why is half the zombie still... Okay. Listen, sometimes it's just better not to ask. Listen, I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, hello! Well, you're a zombie, clearly. An ancient stone tablet, we got another magical codex. Oh my god, we're collecting so many of them. Oh my goodness. Amongst the books at the table rests an ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. Anthony has acquired the Enchant Item Spell Scroll. This allows players to cast spells that have been found or researched. Selecting the last players to assign their most used spells to your button. This will enable the casting of spells without having to choose them from the book each time. Through the function, the player can examine the contents of each spell scroll that's been acquired. It's a torn scroll created with a geometric symbol. It's accompanied by a small note. The note reads that which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. The spell requires the antibok and magnum ball runes. We've made that already.
Yeah, we already did it. I'd already done this game. Okay. The magic meter represents a character's magical energy. When a spell is cast, the level will get lower. The meter regenerates whenever the character is in motion. Walking regenerates magic? Oh my god, baby. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. That's unprecedented. Alright, so what I need to do is use the enchant item spell on these somehow. How the fuck do I do that? No idea. I've got it, like... Cast. On that. I got okay, we repaired the route we repaired the first item. Now I have to go to the fucking menu every time to do this. On this one. I think we have to go back and fill up the things that we just repaired. Drinking the urn, dunking the urn into the foul smelling fountain becomes filled to the brim with a rank fluid. It's a lot heavier now and rife with feta. Jesus, that's big words. Okay, now we have the urns. We can go back this way and open the secret door with them again. This one's a bit more secret than the previous one, baby. Okay. I want you to rank the, rate the secret door, okay? Alright, so see on the floor here? Mm-hmm. We got these. An iron plate on the floor is carved with three curious circles. Dry splashes have marked its po have marred its pockmarked and worn surface. Jesus, they are big words. If we use these here, we place them on the crypt plate. It's gotta be these specifically, apparently. So it's a very specific thing to open the door. What do you think? How would you rate that as a secret door? Shit. Why? It's too complicated. But you just said the other one wasn't complicated enough! No, I said you need to hide your tracks. Okay, how would you hide the book? You don't need to hide the book, you just need to put dust on it again, which is my whole statement that I said before. You gotta sprinkle the dust? This one you have to go get a bunch of fucking pots, put water them, and then put them down. Hello, sir. I think this is the bishop. So, you have come to return my book. Very well, then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. Yes, this is the boss fight? Oh, his friends are getting up. Okay, his head came off, that's good. We've got the bishop's key. Yay. And we stabby stabbed him. And we stabby stabbed that one. And we stabby stabbed the one deer. I think now we can go all the way back to the intro, in intro area to go something. A shrine to the god that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. I'm beginning to think this guy wasn't a Christian bishop, baby. I don't no, know where I got is. that idea from. He is a Christian. He is? Okay. Yep. We are not looking good. Nope. Oh, hi! I guess things have respawned. It says finish him. He was in pieces! Okay. The sanity hasn't been too bad so far in this chapter. Probably shouldn't have said that. No! Don't look at the books! Actually, I think I would like a quick read instead of uh, sacrificing them. Well, you're not sacrificing anything. Well, not sacrificing them. Stabby stabbing them. That's the technical term, right? Stabby stabbing? Maybe. Oh, new enemy. Okay, so this is a trapper. 
You can't kill it. If it hears you, you die. So you have to sneak, Bevy. You see? That's dumb. Trappers have no eyes but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. See, I'm a numpkin. I think there might be more of them, Bevy. There definitely is more of them. Going. Oh, I guess it sensed me? Somehow? What is happening? No. Oh. oh, this looks shit. I guess this is what happens if you get sensed by a trapper. The trapper dimension sprawls in every direction, while the magic plot cannot be cast and humans subjected to odd phenomena. The portal cycle from colour to colour as time progresses and only quick will escape. I'm so dead. I think we want blue. Oh, maybe purple, actually. I don't fucking know. Well, that didn't take me to the purple one. It took me to another purple one. Not the one I thought it was going to. <laughs> Having two purple ones is kind of cheating. Did I win? Did I win? Yes, I won. There you go. Oh, and the trap is gone. Thank fuck. Okay. That could be a real pain in the ass later on, though, I guess. Hi. Oh, no. We have no way of healing in this chapter. We don't have, like, the special scroll things, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't think healing's gonna do much for you at this point. We do have a bad case of the zombie. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, hi. I forgot about you. Seven. Don't, don't look at me. It's awkward. Oh, no! Oh, wow. We're fine. I do actually think it's pretty cool how our walk cycle changes as we progress. Yeah, it is cool. This whole section's been pretty dope. I've enjoyed this chapter the most so far, I think. Oh, this looks bad. The fuck is this? Well, that's just rude. Oh, Jesus. I think I got it. I got his heads. All three of them. <laughs> I'm surprised that went as well as it did. Yeah, that's actually really surprising. Okay, we've got quite a lot of sanity back for killing it, as we should! <laughs> the bill oh god. Fuck off. Listen, we're a zombie. We're busy. We're friends, we're the same! <laughs> we're not friends. You're poking their bums. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Your point being? <laughs> Open door. Muffled voices emanate from the bishop's vis visiting chamber. However, the door is locked and Anthony needs the bishop's key. You mean the bishop's key I have right here? Huh? Huh? Oh well. You are a fool for trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Zealot. Hi. Well, that's the end of that chapter. You know, I will say, though, I'm not really understanding 
Okay, you gonna say something, Alex? No. Okay, good. Um, I'm not understanding why all of these are written down. Cause you would think that they would be our ancestors, but they all seem to have. I guess, I guess maybe they could have procreated before these, but they doesn't seem like that. I don't understand. It is a bit weird. All right, we need to go and find some more pages and to get more involved now playing as Alex. Ignore that. I hope there's no spooks around here, because Alex does not have a weapon right now. The door was locked. Do we have a key? I don't know, do we? Second floor key. The key is falling apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there is a way of repairing it. Bocking? Oh, I hate that. It's okay. We can easily do it because we have... I don't think it's okay. I think it's bullshit. <laughs> there we go. And we can try again. There we go. There was someone banging on this door, but I'm going to assume everything's fine. Hmm... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alex! Oh, do you see the head? Hey, yo. Wait, no, i I swear to God, I remember a chicken. A chicken? I do remember a chicken, but maybe it's like one of those things where somebody used it to cheat. Because that was a big thing. What, well, cheats in this time period? Yeah. Like, stupid cheats that didn't actually aff benefit you in any way. We got some ammo. We don't have a gun, but we we got some ammo. Oh Jesus! Oh, we're fine. Everything's fine. I found a page of the journal of Maximilian Ro Roybus. Okay. See the weird symbol on the dresser here? Yeah. It's important. One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. Its place is this triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. I love how they spell, it's been ma spell magic in this. As fancy as possible. Well, you don't like extra Ks in your word? No. I do not like extra Ks. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, God. So, you know how it's been two weeks since the murder happened? In two weeks, you couldn't come any, have anyone come in and clean up the bloodstains? Surely they've gotten all the evidence. Well, maybe they're just like, she's like, I like the aesthetics of jam, so I had some jam installed in the house <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Why is the creepy whispering happening when I'm looking at things? You gotta have creepy whispering. Oh, there's something there, see? A chapter frame page has been hastily stretched behind the frame of the painting. Shall I just retrieve the chapter page? Yes. But first, before we read this wonderful chapter page, we have Journal of M. Rovius. This page from Maximilian Rovius' journal, it reads, Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadows of lies. I've learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Well, isn't that exciting? I don't know. No, no newborn babies know some things. Have you ever seen baby geniuses? Yeah, he knew a lot. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> How to eat hay. He was born in the manger, so he feels like I'm num num. Wait. <laughs> Just using it, okay, don't worry. <laughs> Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, 
our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. Okay. So this is Kareem, who we are playing in this chapter. Oh my goodness. I have implored you for years. Yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams. And I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Kareem. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, what's wrong with her neck? You will find this for me. Bring Broken necks are sultry, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I want money, you I want me, or so did. You. you have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you. She seems like a sussy backer to me. <laughs> oh, this is the ruins thing Majiggy found. Oh. This is definitely not gonna Pius, know. that's his name, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna be a horrible, horrible thing. I bet those sussy backers are gonna get up as well at some point. Oh, well, same shit's happening as before. Oh dear. Oh well, I guess we should pick up the Tome of Eternal Darkness, I guess. <laughs> Look at the floor. So convenient that it keeps going to place to place. So convenient, but like... Gives us a little, little, you know... Little summary, too. Oh, there's a lot. I think a lot of her boyfriends failed here. I'm not quite sure how I didn't get hit there, but... Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> Why did I speak? You tested fate. Oh, he's making sure that they're not getting up. Hmm. Now, can we go down the ladder without getting teleported to a nightmare dimension? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> I hate when you get teleported to a nightmare dimension, baby. It's so rude. It's so rude. Is it, though? Is it really? Our sanity does go down super fast on this mode, doesn't it? But it's fun. Isn't it fun to lose your brain? Yes. I guess. I'm surprised you agreed with me. Well, you know. Hello. Hey. Meet myself. It's called Jim. Duh. Hmm. Hello. Don't hit me, they're so rude! He has way more health than the other characters that we've had so far, which makes me think there's gonna be a lot more combat on this phase. Mm. Oh, this one had a rune. I've got a magical rune! Oh my god, Sono! Did we the ever learn... Go, oh, sorry. What were you saying? Never mind. No, what were you saying? Never mind, move on. Oh, but I wanna know! I wanna know! No, you don't. Move on. Is there a ladder around here? There is. Huh. This place looks bum. An arcane shrine dominates the room. Breziers surround its edge, while a larger one tops its summit. No doubt each one would be filled with incense to facilitate prayer to insidious deities. <gasps> I 
Oh my god. Look at that fancy smancy action. Oh my god. The torch hangs on the wall. Let's take it. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot more fighting here. I hope we get a heal spell soon. Oh, well, we have to research spells ourselves, right? Oh no! No, 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 no! I can't figure out how to let- I don't know what button that is! I'm dead. So let's put ourselves facing the thing so they can't grab us. I say as I almost get grabbed immediately. Oh my god, stop hitting me, you fuck. These guys are bumpkins. Yeah. Absolute bumpkins. I don't like them. I give Kareem props though because he's making sure the knuckle come up and and be bumpkins. Nomis toes. Yeah. That mm. sounds like something they do though, Nomis toes, right? Yeah. We got a statuette. And then not give them back. They That's wouldn't the give the toes back. They wouldn't give the toes. That's back. the worst thing. That's the worst thing. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So we have two statuettes now. Okay. Okay. And there should be a ting up here. See these? We've got these buttons on the floor? Mm hmm I think these are important. An arcane shrine... Oh, I already read that. Let's try and see if this works. Kareem cannot use that right now. Alright. Put this one on there. We only have two, but I guess we can be the third, probably. Oh my god, we're that special? Yes! Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> oh, I guess we shouldn't say that too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, it's a scorpion thing! Oh no! How do I sneak? I can't remember how to sneak. Uh, I don't know, You've, you're the one been pushing all the buttons. It's not that! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I was so lucky there. <laughs> oh, that might have been Snake. Oh, hello. That's Jim. Hey, Jim. Keith. Hey, Keith. That's Tim. Hey, Tim. I'm going to take the sword out of Tim. A man lies dead, anointed in blood from the ravages of a Tulba sword. The wounds, deep and numerous, see fresh blood. Precise yet powerful. The result of the man's actions, not a monster's. Should Kareem retrieve the Tulba? Sure. Oh, we have two swords now. Oh my god. That's pretty badass. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, hi. I guess you're mad we took your sword. I'm very sorry I took your sword, sir. I'm not that sorry. He doesn't know that, though, okay. I mean, he did punch you in the face. I think he knows a little bit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's a bone thief. Okay, that's not good. That took off a lot of my sanity. Like, almost all of it, in fact. I mean, there's limits to what a person can see and still be okay. <laughs> I think seeing a skinny thingy like that pop out of a person. Oh no. Oh, it is right. You're right. It was that. <laughs> you told me what to do. I know what it is now. <laughs> Don't look at the body right now. I got the heal spell. That's great. But at the moment, I'm a bit concerned about this guy. Oh no. No, it's another one of these things. My sanity is gone. This is not working at all. Yeah, I'm dead again. Well, you did it just a second ago. I don't know what happened. It wouldn't work that time. <laughs> wow, this is uh, well, very right difficult. Back. This is incredibly difficult. Okay, let's try this again. Third time lucky. I'm not get near it. Oh, it tried to get me. Please hit it. Please hit it. Please die. I think it's down. I think it's down. I got it. I got the bone thief. Yay! Now I've got to get this guy as well, though, because he's fucking me up. 
my sanity is so low though. Holy shit. Alright. Here we have a scroll of healing on this grave robber. Recover spell scroll. Alright, so we should be able to make the heal spell scroll now. Okay. I think. I think we can. So, to do it... I'm not sure, actually. Do we have the skull spell scroll in our inventory? Like, where does it go? I can't remember. Here we go. Recover. Check. A f tattered scroll. Um, okay, I don't care. The, it needs the Narakath and Santak runes. Do we have those? Is the next question. Oh my god, the menus are so confusing. Um, the answer is maybe, but we haven't identified them, so we don't know. We, know, we definitely can't make cast it yet, actually. We definitely can't cast it yet. I know. Alright. <laughs> um. Yes? Could you try looking at the other skull? The one I've already made? This one? I made it already. We have it equipped. Oh. Do a hotkey already. We used it to repair the urns in the last chapter. Uh... Oh my god! I'm dead. My sanity's too low to go in the room. Oh no, that was a jo Oh my god, that was a sanity <laughs> effect! <laughs> oh. Suck a dick. I didn't think they could interrupt my animation, so I was fine, but apparently they can. Yeah. They can interrupt as many animations as they fucking like. Alright, we haven't got the room for this. Karen needs to find the correct room. Oh, here it is, but it's one of these guys and I have absolutely no health or way of recovering any sanity or anything. So this is gonna be death, I think. Just because you're insane doesn't mean... You take damage over time when you're insane. Oh. I got it! Yay! You gotta break your spaces. Found a magical room. That's the one to open that door. And we you also found You should finish this. him? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I was excited! This is what Minxie does. Minxie gets upset at the game, but then she refuses to play by the game's rules. <laughs> We're so dead. Oh, their things are in here, and I just set them all off! Go, go, go! What is happening? Did we just die? I don't know! I don't know, did we? This go! Really go! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you might want to see! In a minute! <laughs> Tucked into the niche, the stone tablet is found. <laughs> this is the last one we need to heal! I want to fucking heal! Oh my god! <laughs> I just learned the heal spell! Thank fuck! Okay. Alright. Jesus Christ, how do I assign it to a thing I don't know? Here, a sign. That's fine. Now, I can heal. What? It was a sanity effect. <laughs> what did that do? Nothing? Does it just restore health? I think so. <laughs> Listen, this is what everyone wanted. They wanted to see the insanity effects. <laughs> I know they did. <laughs> the game's bullying me. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. A 
sword in the stone, buddy. Oh my god. What could go wrong here? A large Ramdal broadsword. It awaits the ex owner. Should Kareem pull the sword out the stone? Sure, nothing bad can happen. Except certain death. Oh boy. Oh wow! They're draining my health just by being near me, these ones, by the way. Oh no. Because my sanity's too low, so instead of draining sanity, it drains health. Oh dear. So uh, I don't think I've got a chance of survival here, but we'll see. I would try and finish them, but I can't stop at the moment. Mm -hmm. If I can cut off as many heads as possible. Look how much <laughs> I've got fuck all! <laughs> at least they're getting something back, I guess. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Are they killing each other? Maybe. Definitely seems that way. Okay, without their heads, we got a grisp, a, a grisp, a grasp of the situation. I love a good grisp. <laughs> Can you die, please? Thank you. There's probably gonna be more. I'm gonna guess. We got a decent amount of sanity back for that, though. Yeah, we did. And that won't drain our health anymore. Oh, something else coming in. Oh, great. A lot more. And when they aggro you, that's when you lose the sanity. And yell. So everyone that aggroes me, we lose sanity. I mean, it's better than losing health, I guess, but... Okay, good. Get away. Get away. I did it, babe. Oh my god. That took so long. That, that did take a very long time. That was so difficult. Alright. Okay. We did it. Alright, now I have no fucking idea what to do next. But save would be the first thing. Yes. But we only have two heals left. For a magic amulet. Which is not good. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Now we need this sword. Okay, which is why we came here. Although I'm not entirely sure where exactly we're going at this point in time. There should be a place with a green insignia on a door somewhere. No idea where, but apparently we've been past it at some point. I don't think it's in here, but I'll check. No. Is it falling apart, the place? Maybe. I can't tell if it's just like the camera vibrating or the... I, no, know, I, I think, I think, I think. Oh, I think okay. something's mad. There's the insignia. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what we need to do is go in here, go to our spell list, cast, enchant item on the Ramdal. There we go. Could we have done that the entire Maybe. time? Maybe. The metallic part <laughs> replaces the lock. A coloured sigil is engraved the metal above the wide slot. The slot appears to be wide enough to insert a large blade. I don't know if we lose this here or not. Why would you be doing that the entire time? I don't know. Karim places the blade in the slot but feels it does not push back, as if the magic of the lock does not fit the lock. What? What? I... I don't know what to say. This should be it. I guess it's a different magic. I... I don't know which one. I don't know how this works. I'll try the different thing, maybe? And Sanity. Oh, it's green, this one. That would make sense, right? Oh. God, this, the magic in this is confusing as fuck. Oh, wait a second. Before you move... Yeah. Um... Could you pull up your magic list again? Yeah. 
somehow. <laughs> yeah. New spell. Okay. Just go over. This one. Let me, hold on, let me just check. This one will give you sanity and recovery. Okay. So click that. Yep. And then do absorb. Yep. And then do self. And this is a sanity recovery. Okay, that's spell. useful. That's really useful. I'm really glad you were there to teach us that. It's kind of cheating, but I don't care. <laughs> Oh, how do I... Go to your quick spell. It's not there anymore, it's gone. I just discovered the spell, okay. So why isn't it in my spell list? Is it further down? Nope, it's just not here. Huh. If I do this, hang on. Did that actually work on my sanity? No, definitely not. Um, that's weird. It's casting it, it says it's right. I just don't know. And before when I did that, it gave me a, it gave me something to use. Is it just like we're, use, we're skip sequence breaking so much that it won't let us do it? Maybe, but I don't understand why it would. You've discovered the recover spell. Oh, it counts as the recover spell. That's why it's a type of recover spell. So, go we already have a recover spell. Go to spell list then. Uh, there. There we go. So there's no point in having the other one at the moment. Sorry, Mouse. Well, no, that. you still need it in order to cast magic, so you should have both. So you should have the green one assigned to one, and a blue one assigned to the other, because that recovers your magic. Okay. Cause so they work together. There we go. Okay. Okay, we understand a lot of things now that could have made the game a lot easier for us. Yeah. We had to look up how to do the spells online because it's. Oh, wait, wait, before you go, you should have saved. Fuck! <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. My sanity is all nice and high again now. Oh, oh thank fuck! No, Ken, I love you, but you get too eager. It doesn't matter, I did it! <laughs> I don't care! I mean, you should care, because that's how we got into that situation in the first place! I can't save here, goddammit. Well, no, you can't. That's why I said before you go, you should do it. Let's go back in here and save it. So numb. <laughs> there we go! So numb. <laughs> God, this has taken forever, this chapter. Holy shit. Yeah. Alright, anyway. I need to know how to sneak. There's a way of doing it. There we go. You figured it out? Yeah, we're gonna need it. Hmm. Going up here? Alright, so there's lots of the fuckers here. We need to get that statue. Okay, we got the ruby effigy. Go back to sneaking. Why isn't it working? There we go. I had to walk and do it at the same time. Just be careful. Just got a sneaky sneak. Yeah, I think we could have enchanted our weapon during that fight, and it'd be a lot better. Yeah, it did. It, it does a terrible job of explaining what's it going on. It does. It does. Examine. Along the length of the corridor, Lucinia has given way and collapsed, littering the floor with debris. Should Kareem climb over the rubble? Yes. What am I looking at? Why am I... Oh, hi! Oh, hey, y'all. 
Uh, that zap me and I can't move. Or do anything right now. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. From one hit? I mean, I'll take it. Ooh, a lot of sandy back. Yeah, these are worth a lot. And so are the bone thieves as well. Because they're such fuckers. See a skeletal hand here? Yeah. I'm going to use the Tome of Eternal Darkness on it. Okay. And we're going to, first of all, we need to pick it up again. And now we're going to drop a save because we're about to get up shit creek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ready for fun and games? No. I'm not. There's bone thieves in nearly all these weapons, apparently. Oh no. Your sword is getting caught on yeah, the I thingy. Saw. Okay, so far, so non. There's a lot more to come, I think. Oh, this is the room! This is the room where we picked the fucking spat the fucking alignment we got how we had. Yeah. I will say, despite it's been the same tomb, it did look different quite a lot, which is nice. Mm. It didn't feel like they just recycled it, you know? Yeah. I know I can regenerate sanity other ways now, but... Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Stupid fucking... about Sega. <laughs> Honey, stop. <laughs> I thought he was down if I'm honest with you. Stop getting up, you fucks! I didn't see any bone thieves so far. Have I just been lucky? Glowing green eyes. I have no sanity, I just realized. And there's a bone thief. At least I think there is, I can't really tell. I thought there was, but. I heard it! I swear I heard it. Did it die? Just like by fluke of my swing or something? I'll take it if it did. <laughs> if I'm honest with you. I'll fucking take it. Because we got a lot of sanity back there. Oh, there's a big boy. Yeah. Oh, he zaps you for sanity, this guy. I, oh, my controls have been reversed. Yeah, I can't cast spells either. Get fucked. Get fucked! Dickhead. <laughs> there we go. Uh. A jellyfish? Oh my god. Everyone loves jellyfish, puppy. Claim the artifact, yes. This might be the one that gives you the healing spell. I think it might be, yeah. Uh... We will be together. She seems sus, I told you. What... what happened to you? Things change, my dear Karun. But even though my body is ravaged, I await you. Who did this to you? You were gone so long. I... I gave myself to a nobleman with a jealous mistress. She had me dragged from my bed. And in cruel revenge, cleansed with knives, as the last blades were drawn across my body, and my blood pooled upon the floor, she cursed that I would only be with another in death. 
so much for thinking only of me. I should never have left. I have seen my folly and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I ask you to find. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? Oh, you changed you your tune. Me. <laughs> Betrayed me. You really don't look so good anymore. It's the whole being dead thing, Kareem. <laughs> Despite who you are now, you will also become something more. Just as I am. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. Name drop. <laughs> the things I do for love. Like, you were just stupid. <laughs> Has everyone died so far? They have, right? Yep. Why are we back here again? Did we walk down here just to read the page? Alright, we are back with Alex, who decided, oh, I'm gonna go down here again for some Honey, reason. Honey, it's the same video. It's not their back for them. Oh, that's true. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Even after doing this for years, I forget. You're very silly. You calling me silly? Yeah. A silly numkin or a silly bumpkin? Mmm, a silly numkin, I'd say. Oh my god. Go away, door. Why are they so rude just banging on the doors like that and just being bumbuses? I don't know. I'm going to ignore everything, by the way, because it's all sanity shit. But... But... But I think people would like to see that. <laughs> Is the phone still ringing? No, they hung up! No! <laughs> Hello? What is going on? <laughs> this is the good stuff. And I don't think it really matters here. Okay. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. A coloured sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. So we know what we have to do here now, if I can remember from two days ago. So we have the gladius, okay? Yes. We need a new spell. This one, then we needed this one. What was it? What is it for the fucking identify spell? Shit. <laughs> oh, not identify. I know. I, I, I think I know. I think I know it. Don't you already have it? No, not cocky. I don't. It's the green version of that I need. Oh no, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Hang on. Select an item to enchant. No, that's the wrong one. I did the blue one. I did the fucking blue one. It needs to be the green one. Baby. <laughs> okay. New spell. I need to check what runes we need. Well, actually, can't you just cast it and then swap over which one the big one is? Yeah. Oh, how, how do I do that? Go to cast. Oh, yeah! There we can. There we go. Because that's how we figured out how to do the sanity one. The item is now enchanted. Yeah, there we go. And now we can open this door. Okay, so I guess sanity does matter here, but we have the sanity recover spell, and as long as you keep moving, we'll be able to be fine. Yeah, I mean, these sections so far have been pretty short. I'm assuming they won't be eventually, but, you know. Oh, there was a mouse. Among the pantry contents is a spice jar with a scrap of paper hidden inside. Alex has found the spice jar. Should Alex open the jar? I got the next page already. The lurking horror. Oh shit.
Oh my god. My liege, the future is yours. The light in the age of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. Okay. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. All from us opening a, a jar, huh? Wow. At least it wasn't a jam jar. <laughs> I oh, you're not going to explore the thing more? By the sudden oh, we will get a chance to do that a lot more later ancestors. on. At the moment, it's pretty gated. The distinguished Dr. Maximilian Roivas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. <laughs> what so this is for? how they wild the rave retirement in the olden days, just walk around your house. <laughs> it has been it's so big, I didn't know though, this way. But oh, this is a toilet. Come to me to look over the mansion. We have six. <laughs> now I am truly alone and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. Oh God, Rhode Island! I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine. It's pronounced Mine. Anyway, we are Dr. Maximilian Rovius. So a direct descendant here of us. Okay. No. Yes. Direct ancestor. Ancestor, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we've got some flintlock pistol ammunition. Okay, let's have a look what we've got, first of all. First of all, actually, save so I never have to see that cutscene again. Yeah, that, that's a very good idea. I think we're finally learning our lessons halfway through the game. Not even halfway through, there's quite a lot to this. This is a long game. Okay. And we have our pistol. Ha ha! Ha ha We look a pirate a bit, like a fat pirate. Okay, it's very dark in here. Where the fuck is the door? Here we go. Who the fuck is this? The servant is preoccupied. Okay, I thought that- I was like, who the fuck is this random man <laughs> in our fucking house? But it's one of our- of course, we have servants, of course. Doesn't look like they're doing too good. Yeah, he looks very pale, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I would be too if I saw the Lord of the Manor walking around with his gun out like that. <laughs> Listen, I'm a numkin, okay? Lord of the Numkin, they call me. God, that scared the shit out. I keep thinking it's a zombie. <laughs> it does look very zombie-ish. The servant mutters under his breath, not realizing that Max is nearby. He appears to be distressed a lot in his life, working all the time. A stone tablet card with a strange pictograms is played in the mantelpiece. An odd conversation piece, to be sure. Okay, we've got another magical codex, so maybe we'll, 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 we'll I'm assuming we'll learn more spells as we go along, more and more. On the bedside table is an open letter. Max has found a letter. Okay, what does it say? 
A letter written with some precision in longhand. Dear friend, the antiquity of which you ask is indeed the Tome of Eternal Darkness, or a copy of it at least. Its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, as have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the sanctity of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it would be a powerful weapon. Peruse it if you will, but beware its magic is a harsh mistress. Aaron Rovius. Rovius? Whatever. What the fuck is this music? You know, you had to have something. It's like, weird. The mirror's grim reflection returns Max's questioning gaze. His face wrapped with sleepless nights and strange gleam in his eye. Hint at a growlingly odd demeanor. What the fuck is this writing? <laughs> a growlingly odd demeanor. It is a shame we never got any more of this, I would say, like a modern version, but the Kickstarter failed twice. Mm. For various reasons. Oh my god, what's in here? It's the main hall. You know, oh Alex my around. god! Got letter again. You should stop leaving your letters all around the place. Just yeah, the open. servants can just read them. The weird <laughs> zombie servants. Dear friend, the house has been forsaken by the ancients. I dare not enter it for fear of my mortal soul. I suggest that you leave also. Bring the book. It is a far more potent tool than you have learned and may well swing the balance in our favor. A Rovius. Well, we're fucked. Probably. Right? Maybe. Out the way, servants. Out the way, dog. I am the lord of the manor. You will obey me. I'm sure it's a nice guy. <laughs> oh, we have a maid. A pump handle sitting on the barrel inside the pantry. Sure, I love pump handles, baby. <laughs> Do you? Whilst going about her duties, the servant casually remarks about a strange quality hanging in the air. The odd comment makes Maximilian feel like something is quite amiss. Why would she say that? Because she's going to turn- everyone here is going to turn into a zombie, I'm calling it. Oh yeah, of course. Got some flintlock pistol ammunition. Oh, the music just kind of suddenly stopped there. We're seeing more of the mansion with this guy than we have with Alex. There is something written beneath the image. When darkness spreads its wings before my master, Zelotath's greatest foe, the path to truth will be opened. Oh, baby. Spooky dooky. Oh, and we have a God. puzzle of some description here that looks absolutely awful. Okay, so, we have a bird, okay. What was that thing with the raven? You mean Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah. Like, quote the raven nevermore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knocking at my yeah. chamber door. That, that's what I was thinking of. Waiting for my love, Lenore, who I adore, or maybe abhor. All right. Is that really it? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I, oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> okay. So I've got... If it's... Okay, so... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You doing okay there, bubbly? Okay, so the color, the color of the block is blue. Okay. We've got to move it to the green block. Okay. I don't understand. If the colour of the hint is blue. Mm hmm Okay. Move the statue to green. Which I just did. Oh. Hang on. What hint? Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Who cares? I mean, you did lose some health there, so be careful. There's not going to be any fights in this chapter, right? <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? A saber. I'm not sure what I'm trying to look at, by the way. I'm trying to look at the note next to it, but... Oh, it's a spell scroll. I got the Reveal Invisible spell scroll. Hmm. 
I hope that's not reveal invisible enemies, but I've got a got a feeling that it probably is, right? Oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. Before we pick it up, anything else here? Uh, an H flintlock pistol. Oh, we can dual wield. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Okay. Should Max pick up the Tone of Eternal Darkness? Sure. Every time it's worked out well for us, alright? Yeah. This'll be great. Oh, we just killed all our stuff. Looks like it might be partially visible as well. As Max lifts the Tone of Eternal Darkness, a letter slips out between the pages. Definitely Max catches it as it drops towards the floor. Well, before we do anything else, let's read the letter. We managed to catch it with two guns in our hands? Wow. In our teeth, we caught it with, you see. <laughs> As I suspected, the ruins of Engar that blasted the Acropolis lie deep under the site of the mansion. The accursed servants of Zelototh are so close I can hear their chittering. There's a secret opening in the basement, and from there we can gain access. I urge you to gather some men and seal it, or better still, destroy the damn place. I stowed something that will find useful in the upper level. Look to the light, and you will find it. I wish that I could be at your side, but my ailment worsens daily, and I know my time is short. A.R. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, we've got to save the guns for later on. So for now we have to use the saber, unfortunately for me. But everything's probably okay, right? Probably. Oh dear. Okay, well, well. Did the maid just punch me? Yep. And then immediately got attacked with the... I think I might be dead here. Oh, a bone thief just jumped in my face, that's why. Yeah, from the maid. Oh boy. I am in trouble here. Okay, why did it work? I can't fight these two at once. I just can't. Oh my god. I haven't had a chance to move! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe try the guns? Maybe I will try the guns! I, just, <laughs> I didn't expect a bone thief to jump out the fucking maid! All right, there we go. Dead. I still haven't killed the bone thief though. It's okay. We're back anyway. <laughs> found a magical rune. I found the re discovered the in reveal invisible spell. Okay. You might. Hmm. Probably not yet. What should I assign it to? It doesn't really. Does it matter for the reveal invisible spell? Well, I don't know. Just well, assign, I'll assign it, it to for the... now, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. I guess. Um. But I think. Oh, hang on. Attempt autopsy. A new entry has been placed in Maximum's medical journal. It can be accessed from the journal section of the tome. Medical journal? Oh. When an autopsy has been performed, Max can view the new entry by turning to the journal section of the tome and selecting autopsy at the bottom of the page. Selecting this will be using press A will display it. Okay. Hang on. What? Where's it gone? Oh, they're autopsy. Oh! It tells you the weaknesses of them and things like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. Is it going to be just for this chapter, that? Probably. Because I, I guess he's more like sciency anthropology than the other guys have been thus far. Yeah. Couldn't finish it off for sanity. Oh, she's definitely, she's possessed. She's going to do the bone thief thing in a minute. Yeah.
All toxic on the bone thief now. Can I finish it off? I can. I can. Yes. Okay. So we now learn the bone thief sweetness. Although in this mode, the bone thieves have no heads, which I think is their weakness. Mm. And that's kind of like a, that's what makes this mode slightly harder. Is you can't cut off the bone thieves' heads, as you can in the other with the other gods. If that makes sense. Yeah. What the fuck is that noise? Max buys an envelope that's fallen behind the pedestal, fallen perhaps or been hidden. There, despite his excitement and discovery, Max should see senses something odd about it. A sense of evil. Should Max retrieve the sealed envelope? Oh no. <laughs> Bone thief! Ah! Kill it! I can't. Got it. Now I need to save. I think you also need to recover your sanity a bit. Yeah, just spam that. And then I can restore my magic right after. Yeah. So now do your magic. It's so weird because it goes down then up again. Yeah, but it should theoretically be... I'm not sure it does, but it'll restore anyway as we move around. Yeah, it will. God, that was uh, a little bit intense there. I was a little bit worried when the bone thief came through the window. <laughs> a, little, a little bit, a little bit worried. A little bit of it. I hate the Bone Thieves. <laughs> They're terrifying. They're like, because they're just going to fuck you up. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's open the envelope we just found. Should we open it? Sure. We've got a letter addressed to one of Maximilian's father's aides. And we've got the basement key. Letter four. Dear friend, it's expected the beasts are drawing closer at that discovery. They want the book for themselves, it seems, and do not want us to have it in our possession. I've taken steps to ensure that their ilk will not touch the key in this envelope. Should you fall prey to their claws? The envelope containing the basement key has been sealed with corrosive magic. If one not aligned with us tries to handle it, it will be re released inflicting pain, suffering, and grievous blow to their sanity, should they have any left. Fortunately, we were all right. Yes. Be swift with your task, AR. Otherwise, he's been abbreviating out his name even more as we've gone through constantly. <laughs> we have no way of healing in this, by the way. In this mode. Oh, dear. And we're, like, half dead already. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Here, check your inventory one more time. Got and the key. Medical journal. Tome of the Scroll darkness. down. Keep scrolling. That's it. Well, what's that 25? Oh, that's the ammo. That's the ammo. Well, fuck. <laughs> Try not to get hit again. You don't know what's coming up. <laughs> okay. God, that actually really freaked me out, that both of going through the window. Okay. So we're probably going to die here. But I just saved, so it's fine. Oh, what's, what's this? See, it's all got monochrome. Mm. Well, there's a room we need, I think. Can you come over here, please, so we can fight in like the open area? That'd be great. Oh boy. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my health went to full! Huh? My health got fully restored somehow. Uh, how? I don't know. But at the moment, I'm trying to get him to come over here so we can fight in a big open space. Well, don't stop moving. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wasn't anywhere near him! I'm so dead. Oh, I got it! Yay! My health is fucked. It really is fucked. I want to know how you restored it. I found a magic rune. Oh, is it because it was in your head? Oh, yeah, it wasn't real. <gasps> so oh, I think you might be able to make, um... The heal spell. Maybe. I don't know. It was red. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. 
Do you remember what's needed? Yes, do the red. Yep. Then do absorb. And then do self. Yes! Yay! The recover spell. Put that somewhere. Easily accessible. Uh, I need to go to I need to go to spell list. Okay. Uh -huh. Recover, cast, and then choose the red rune. Oh, and how do I assign it somewhere quick though? You go to quick spell. But I need to assign it first. Assign. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the magic recovery for now. Yeah. Because I don't think we need it. Because we've run get it from running around anyway. And that's so we now have heal, heal and sanity spells. Yeah. Oh, thank you. fuck. All right, we're doing well. I think. I think we're getting a bit more hang of the game after a bit of a disaster in the previous chapter. Yeah. All right. Okay. You doing good, Bubby? I'd like to think so. Alright, what the fuck is this? Ammunition. Oh, you mean the thing on the wall? Yeah, I'm gonna try this. This is a reveal invisible. No, it has to be a green in reveal invisible. You're right. God, that's such bullshit. So... It's spell list. Spell list. Reveal invisible. Cast. But choose the green. Yes. Huh. I wonder why that didn't work. Do I have to look at it? The design is oddly reminiscent of a circle of power. Probably refers to some kind of spell and its alignment. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that's right. Hang on. I've got one more try, okay? Mm hmm. Reveal invisible cast. Let's try that one. Yeah. Oh, so you have to do the opposite? You have to do the opposite of it. Oh, you might want to run around in a circle a little bit. Yeah. Get your magic up. <laughs> the music suits it. <laughs> it's like we're in a bit of a nightclub. It's really fucking weird. I'm going for it. What's that on the other wall? Where? On the other wall, right there. Oh, is that just the... It's the puzzle from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, here we go. You ready for some combat? Because we're probably going to get some. Did we save? Uh, no. Uh, no. No, that... Right now, it's a bit hard to do that. Bone thief. Watch out! Oh no! Got it. Can you fucking die please so I can stab the bone thief? Thank you. Oh my god. Autopsy on the new one. Stab it, stab it, stab it! That's right, spank him with the sword. And you kick him. Spanking, baby. The other one's gone, right? Yeah. Still, that didn't go too badly. Yeah, not too bad. All right, we've got a another stone rune that we did, the new one, Bankroll. And something. then there's something there. A spell scroll. Uh, damage field spell scroll. So this is a shield that you can attune to different d demons mm -hmm. and make you immune to their damage in like an area of effect for a while. Oh. So like. If we're going against the green demon, we'll want to have that tune to green the most, mm -hmm. because that's the one that we're fighting against. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Hmm. Before I do anything else, okay, let's see if we can make sure we can cast that. We should hotkey that, okay. Mm -hmm. So, spell list, damage field. Why can't we cast it? You might not have the it's required got, we, we runes. Do. The spell requires the Banker Rock and the Red Mugger runes. Do we not have that yet? 
No, we do. No, we don't have banker up room yet. Oh. Uh, I thought I just picked it up. I thought you just picked it up. Go to runes. No, we don't have it. We have we have the identification for it, but we don't actually have the actual rune. The runes uh, you get from killing zombies. Oh, right. Okay. So there's got to be something else down here that we need in order to progress. Hmm. Oh, is there a pump down here? Because we have that pump handle, right? Well, yeah, I mean, yes. I'll... I was like, where the fuck did we pick this up fucking ages ago? There we go. I think this is going pretty well. Yeah. Maybe. We're going down. And yelling timber, baby. Oh, this is another sanity effect, I think. Because we're, we're, we're walking stupidly. Oh, uh, no. What's going on here? There we go. That is kind of cool, though, I guess. That is. Didn't see you there. Very tall, man. Oh, there's the room we need. That's the banker throat room. We should automatically discover the thing now. The, um... The spell. Yeah, see? Yay! But we need to do the green one at the top. Instead. Right? Amazing. I think you'll have the different versions. We will, we will, we will. I'll, I'll, just, I'll keep it for now and we'll change it as we need it, okay? Depending on what monsters are aligned with. Yeah, okay. you just have to go into your menu. Yeah, I'm going to assign this one to the Reveal Invisible thing, because we're not going to use that like in combat, the Reveal Invisible, at the moment, I don't think. No, I don't think so. So, assign... I'll, I'll just go with the red for now, and we'll go to um, there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, what the fuck is this? Something spooky and dooky. All right. We're going to need to do a few things here, okay? Because mm -hmm. this is our first boss fight of the game. Okay. So, we're going to, first of all, go to our spells. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to cast um, Enchant Item. Okay? Okay. So this one is weak to this one. So we're going to cast it, that on our guns. Did I cast it or not? I moved. You need to stop moving! I'm sorry! You're so impatient. Right, don't move. Don't move. Okay. We've got the, sh we got the shield already up, okay? You want to increase your sanity before we go? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Oh no, the blood, it's the, the walls are bleeding. <laughs> it's probably nothing. Let me just say with everything set up. Yeah. Because we're probably going to die a few times here, guys. I'm not going to lie. We've died a lot in this game. Yes, so we far. have. Yes, we have. You like boss fights, Bubby? Me. It's easy enough to pause and cast, to be fair. No, no, it's not. Alright, here's a boss fight. Here, Park, attack, 
Okay, I can't be aiming at the same time. Where the fuck is it? Over there. Very far away from you in your field. <laughs> We're shooting the stupid zombie, not it. Reloading sucks in this. Yeah. Am I even hitting it? I can't tell. Oh, does the zombie need to be killed? Yes, it does. However, that fucked me up a lot. Oh my god. This is so fiddly, it's unbelievable. I won't shoot now, the other gun isn't reloading. He won't reload it? What? Am I out of bullets? No, I'm not! Oh my god, and they re-summoned another fucking zombie. He won't reload. What the fuck? Okay, now he is. This is so fiddly, it's unbelievable. Alright, hang on, hang on. Let's back up. Let's back up. You're gonna heal, okay? Yes. You need can... to you need to be away from their area of effective magic. Alright, problem is Oh the enchantments run out on the gun as well. Yes. And I don't have any ma that magic left, so uh... You can cast the I well... can't because I'm out of magic. Well then just run around a bit. I'm gonna kill these fuckers, because they keep coming. <laughs> God, this is like one of the slowest boss fights I've ever experienced. <laughs> it's gonna keep summoning though, every few seconds, more zombies. But yeah, but it's not actually that big a deal. What? Equip it. Then mix it. I'm gonna just do all this in the menu, I think, from now on. Yeah. What? You have to reload it still, apparently. Oh my god! And it's not doing any and damage. You didn't enchant the weapon either. God, this is such a mess! I hate it! I hate everything about the combat in this game. It's so fucking awful. It is really bad. Okay. That's the wrong thing. What button did I... I uh. You just did a magical field again. I know, I know I did. No, not new spell. Spell list. This is a real mess. Like, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, bubbly. Promise I'm going to run out of bullets soon. Although I'm not even sure I'm using them. I think you just need to sit still, and you keep moving. I'm gonna die as soon as it does a wave attack now. See? If it does another attack, I'm fucked. Well, then we'll just try again. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, we'll be that... right back! I think I, that's, that, that was one of the only times I hit it the entire time. <laughs> You fucking kidding me, that interrupted me after they died. It still interrupted me! What the fuck? <laughs> Sounds like you call Santa, that's okay. Oh, how rude of you. That worked well. I think we did it! Oh. We did it! Oh, and we took well four done. shots! How the fuck did we fuck it up the first time? <laughs> Don't include me in this! Don't touch it. Don't touch it. The accursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one. I knew there was
was a way. I just had to find it. Only three months? Wow. Souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation, but locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! Oh! Oh, from our little insanity thingy. That was cool, right? That was cool. Coombe Sanitarium on Rhode Island is where he ended up. He's the only one that hasn't died yet, though, right? Well, I mean, he's very dead. <laughs> well, he's dead now, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> I think he's the only one that wasn't, like, killed in some way, yeah. But they got around that by saying he had adult children, so that's how they explained him. <laughs> I guess theoretically we're not supposed to be related to the other ones. But it's know. weird how he started off the, uh, the introduction of the book saying ancestors, so you would think that they're all related to you, but I guess they're not supposed to be. It's just from that one on, maybe, or even just that one. I don't, yeah, I don't fully know. Anyway, we're gonna do reveal invisible here. Aligned with the red. To reveal the keyhole in this dress that was here for the beginning. Oh my god. Then, what we're I wish we spent a bit more time with Alex, but I think we do later on. And we open it with the dresser key. <laughs> open the drawer. <laughs> We got a uh, revolver and another page from the time of eternal darkness. A journey into darkness is the next chapter, but first another cutscene. Your guardians have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located within its grave. Shall be retrieved at once. Be wary. The power of Mantarok lingers still, corroding the universe around his tomb. It will doubtlessly be guarded after these seven centuries. The beast has not been contained. I can assure you that my binding of Mantarok, fueled by your very own power, will be enough. It is not your sorcery that we doubt, Augustus, but the power of the dead god. How can you, a mere mortal, comprehend what that <laughs> Mortal is generous. <laughs> power it can wield. Hasn't he been alive for centuries? <laughs> yeah. Me millennia, even. Your future depends on me, Majesty. Without me to open the gates. Yes, yes. Be quick. Let's have a power. Okay, this chapter is called A Journey Into Darkness. Let's read the page, Namaki. Mm. <clears throat> the ancient's influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently. 
requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to... This Augustine guy sounds sus as fuck to me already. After a dysentery mm. riddle to he, he reeks as a cult Lindsay member wanting the book. ...located the remains yeah. of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. Are we gonna go to the same fucking temple again? It is, yeah. It's they the only same have the two one. locations. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. This guy does not look well. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very and now I'm going to turn on you. Yeah, I think so. And I will give you an early bonus. My God! He looks so culty too. Not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Several centuries? Don't be a fool. Die quietly. And you will not suffer. You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be oh. your tomb. Just as it is oh. the rocks. Guardians of Zelikoth! This is bad. The floor is going to drain my sanity here over time. And yell. And we have a boss. Immediately. What the fuck was up with that face, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. We have a shotgun. God damn it. Can't shoot it unless it opens its wings. Okay. Mm. Oh, is it already dead? A thin layer of dust between the tiles on the floor. Yeah, we'll look at the body. Oh, we did it. Yeah. And then the great green mist is gone. Oh, Pi, she didn't send your best, did you? He's a fucking loser. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um. Probably should save at the start of this chapter so we don't have to watch the cutscene again. Yep, that would be a good idea. Hmm. So, see this tile on the floor here? It's suspiciously dusty, baby. But fortunately, because we're an archaeologist, we're an expert with dust, but we can dust it off, see? <laughs> We have to be an expert. To well, actually, with archaeology, you kind of do, so you don't break anything. But still, <laughs> we got a bronze bracelet. This is this this is the temple where the tentacle guy is trapped. So that could be useful. You know what I mean? Could be important because I think we need to free him to restore balance. Mhm. Mm But otherwise, this is the same temple where the girl, I think her name was Zelia or something, died. Oh, we're going to get the book. You mean Elia? <laughs> I wish the floor would stop yelling at me. It's so fucking rude. It is very rude. shouldn't use these to finish. Oh no. Oh no. It's not doing anything! The other one. I did both. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. That's the wrong one. Oh no, it's not. It's the right one. Santa, 
That's the wrong one. Fuck. Which one was the heel? The red one. Yeah, but there's different ones. I've got the shield as well. Okay, I need to get my energy back, but still. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Probably shouldn't use the shotgun the whole time, though. Right? Probably not. Because I don't think we're going to find shotgun ammo, like, knocking around in here, if that makes sense. Okay. This should be the trap corridor. Yeah. It's more overgrown than it was. It actually worked in my advantage. Because it wasted the trap and killed the... It did not waste the trap. Yeah, no. What is this? It's a metal bracelet. Do you think I should pick it up? Maybe, maybe not. I took it for now. Anything over this side? There was like a hole, wasn't there, that we fell down into. Okay, it's really hard to tell where they are. Like, ridiculously hard here. Because of the light, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What is that? Just a brick? What are you looking at? Anyway, see the cobwebs here? We can mm. use the brush on them to find things. Oh my goodness. And we got a new spell thing. A magical codex. Okay. Okay, we can't penetrate this damage field at the moment. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to grab this. And, uh, and leave. Bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, this, this angle seems better at spotting them actually than the other one. Yeah. It's still pretty hard to see stuff, but I think it's okay. You do. What are you looking at on the floor of the runes? Oh, hang on. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing at the moment. Hmm. This should open the other door, I think, if I put it on the statue. Okay? Mm -hmm. You look lovely. You look beautiful. So numb. So numb. I don't know if that was coming into here or what, but whatever, it'll be fine. Hmm. Alright, what do we have here? The statue of a naga, a snake-headed demon, stands guard in the corner of the room. A raised platform before it with a bracelet on it. Will you, will, should Lindsay pick up the bracelet? Okay. I've got fit, One of these are eventually going to be trapped. Oh, fuck. Like this one! No. no. But fortunately, we can replace it with the metal bracelet, and it'll be like, Oh, it's the same one! It's fine! Okay. Alright. There's gonna be zombies here. Zombies are fine. Bone thieves are not. I think... Oh, for fuck's sake, he does the throwing shit. <laughs> the weird... Fucking throwing shit. But it's so cool. It's not cool. What if he loses it? <laughs> well, I am really fucking lucky to be alive right now. How the fuck am I alive right now? Oh god, there's a lot in here. I can't fucking see what I'm doing. I forgot something in the other Careful. room as well. Nice to go back for. We'll focus on surviving this. Mm. 
Yay! I don't think we've done yet. The other one got up. That one. Don't die. Please die, for fuck's sake. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Now, now we restore heal. your stuff. The magic comes in very handy now we know what it does. That's what I need to do in here, by the way. I need to brush away the cobweb that I'm kin. Oh my goodness. Still not enough for a spell, unfortunately. Or rather, we haven't learnt the spell yet. Oh, the walls are bleeding. How lovely. Oh, that's very inconvenient. Okay. We came in here. I mean, I'd just run around a circle to get your magic back up, honestly, but... We don't need no magic. We... Oh, it's... It's traps. Did like you I couldn't see. I guess you stepped on something. It's very hard to tell here. I'm so dead. Can I save her? Probably not, right? Nope. No. If you go into the other room, you might be able to. Beautiful. Hiding in the shadow, a statue watches over the room. A brief instruction reels flecks of silver metal marring a statue's wrist and neck. Possibly indicating decoration used to be there. Hmm. And there's a door here. We'll come and do that in a minute, okay? Because we've got a spell we can get, apparently, in this area. I don't know where the doors are, baby. Oh, uh, honey! I missed it, whatever it was. I need to go back. I need to find a fucking cobweb in here. Hang on. Excuse me, sir. Looks like whatever I do, I have to dodge these. Because I triggered it. Where the fuck was the cobweb? There. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby, we're fine. See, we did it without getting too hit. Hmm. I need to regenerate sanity, don't I? You need to do a lot. I've got the Dispel Magic Scroll. That's how we get rid of the shield around the other thing. Okay. So that's how we're going to get rid of the thing in there. But first, let's restore some sanity. Right, here's the plan then, Bevy. We're gonna go in there. I don't know what- I guess it has to be the same colour as the shield it's using, or the opposite colour? I don't know. Okay, whatever, we're gonna find. We'll find out. If it's green, we use red, I think. Hi, sir. Um, I'm gonna go to my, my spell list. I'm gonna go dispel magic. I'm gonna cast it. Gonna choose this one. And that worked. Well, it would have worked if you didn't hit me in the fucking ass afterwards. Hit the eyeball! Why is it I can't hit the eyeball? There we go, I got him. He's a bumbus, baby! Don't look at the floor! Finish him! Thank you! Oh my god, what a bumbus. Do you see the screen tilts when you're you when, you, yeah. the more you're insane? Oh, you got a silver necklace. Okay. Now we can go back and put these two on the statue to open the door before we go forward. I will say, 
the temple has somehow changed design completely since we were last here in some ways. Which I, I guess is just, good for variety. I think it's just because... Well, I, I, I can't remember it too... Deeply, where, like, where's the hole she fell down? I don't know. Maybe we're not in that part of the temple. <laughs> but we are. Listen, I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I saved just then, by the way. What? I hope we have a torch. We do! Oh my god! Hello, sir. Hi, are you having fun? Is he having fun? You have to switch over to your sword if you want to finish him. I can't finish him off, duh. I just said! What did you say? You have to equip your sword again if you want to finish him off. Oh, sorry. You happy? You proud of me? I would have been happy if you just listened to me. Listen, I'm partially deaf. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Why does he keep looking at the floor? Makes me think something's there. Oh. <laughs> Did I just kill that in one hit? Yeah. It was like to a boss one. It was a mini boss one to too. To be fair, I think you did kill the other one in a hit too, but it was just... <laughs> It's just uh, so you twatted him in the face! Oh, it's this guy again. Shit. Okay, um... It's the mini-boss again. Not gonna reload? No? Open your wings, you fuck. Come on. Why isn't he reloading? I can't move. Run, 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 run. Oh, he summoned a zombie. Oh, for fuck's sake, the guns in this are so shit! They really are. I was gonna say, nearly all your body parts are missing, you're not dead. <laughs> uh, and the mist down here is all gone, that's good. Well, the, the green mist that was down here, that's, that was more what I was worried about. <laughs> okay. Mm. Maybe I'm scared. You might as bad. well save here, if you can. Yeah. I listen to you, baby, you see? You proud of me? Mm. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't think I don't think you should have just know how to do this anyway. Okay. Oh, we should have this rune, I think. Yes. Oh, more traps. Oh, hi there. Thank you for the sanity, it was very numb of you. Careful. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! Oh god. <laughs> Just gotta go in here. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Careful. What the fuck is this? I don't know, but I don't like the tile. Oh, never mind. It's just a normal tile. That one wasn't. <laughs> oh, you did a bad. Baby, you did a bad. You did a very, very big bad. No, I think if the guard sees you picking it up, it'll kill you. But I did it. He was looking away, so he won't kill me. You see what I mean? Okay. 
<laughs> I did a good baby. Oh my god. Baby, right. no. No! I said no! <laughs> Go back! Go back! Go back! Come out again. Do not step on the trap. <laughs> In my defense, there is a lot of traps here. I know, but I said no, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna go forward anyway. <laughs> okay, I can't avoid this one, look. Okay, fine. But, oh, Jesus. Where's my knife gun? Hey. All right, you ready? For the pro moves here. You ready for the pro moves here? <laughs> Ruffy, I did it! <laughs> oh, hi there. I don't know what you are, but Green. I should probably run away from you. Give me a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> Alright, I think let me just kill this. No. Yes, I can. It's got my barrier. Oh. What's that? It's a barrier around the room in the middle, not it. Oh. Good shot, Rubber. We do need to cast the remove spell on red, so we need the green dispel here to remove it. But that should be fairly easy to do. I'm getting the hang of the spells, I think, a bit more now. Yeah. It'll be this one. I think. Nope. Blue. Blue. As I immediately walked into it. Like an idiot. There we go. Oh, we have to find three of them. This level's way longer than the others. Okay, so we need to dispel some more. But first of all, cobwebs, baby! Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Every archaeologist's dream. What is this? It's a necklace encrusted in cobwebs. Ugh. Gonna drop a save here? Mm-hmm. Ashley, you're gonna heal. So I'm pretty sure he says something about Santa there. Don't worry about it. Like, I've heard that, you know, to be scary you need to invoke Santa's name. I'm pretty sure I've seen like a horror movie or two like that. I'm gonna do a run. You ready? God, you're not very bright. <laughs> I saved, it's fine! Oh, great. Sanity gas. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> In my defense, that could have gone way worse. You are right. You could have. Ow. Ow! The red ones do more damage. Fucker. See? It could have gone a lot worse. So what do I need to dispel green? Red. Yes. I think so, yeah. There, There's a little cheat sheet somewhere. Well, what does what? What? Well, that was lucky. <laughs> Didn't know there was another man in the room. <laughs> Why didn't you help your friend? What are you doing? Showering? Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> You have no idea where I am, you silly bumpkin. <laughs> Baby, I'm victorious. Yeah. Any cobwebs in here? I think there was something. Well, we dispelled the barrier. Go to that face. Okay, right. or maybe don't go to the face, that's fine. We want to see the face? Mm hmm. Well, that's it. <laughs> oh. Well, that, that was a bit anticlimactic. Not sure why you can examine it. It's 
so far. You know what's been great about this level? No. You know what's been good about this level? Yes. I don't know, but you could tell me. There's no a statue bunties, there. But I don't, yeah, we need to go back to there in a minute. But we need to get rid of the last barrier first. Okay. No bone thieves so far. Yeah. Oh! oh! That wasn't me, that was him! Oh, for fuck's sake! I think it was you. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the last barrier. But we got some friends. First. There's going to be at least another dude in here, I think. Mm. Or not? It, it'll probably spawn once you cast the spell. Okay, so what do I need to cast this one as? Red. Mm. No, green. Let's just try whatever. I don't remember exactly. It's green. I don't know why the Roman soldier needed us to bring him here if he's already been here. I'm not sure either. <laughs> we have to wash off the necklace. The water smells like a strong acid, perhaps strong enough to dissolve metal or flesh if Lindsay isn't careful. By the way, we would have died if I hadn't put the necklace in first, I think. Mm. Found a gold necklace. So we have a gold necklace and bracelet, and they need to go back on that statue that you saw. Oh my god! Oh so my god! You might want to save. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Oh my god! <laughs> the real problem happens if the. Okay, I can't not step on those. You can. They're all at an angle. You're choosing not to. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucked. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. On it goes, first one. Next one. Next one. What's it gonna do? Please do something. Yes! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Since my parents died. Yes. Ever since they were killed, you've been my little girl. Yes. My little girl. That's this creepy. Isn't really happening. <laughs> Wait, is this our dad? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, these are strong ones to us. Oh fuck, I can't move. These are hard to fight because they they hit really hard and it's hard to see what they're doing exactly. Okay, that one got lost. Okay, good. He's down. Hang on. This one's still got his head. How are you lost? Um, excuse me? There's a big one down there. Oh, really? Well, that's why you got zapped. <laughs> Please die. You might want to run more up the stairs here. I need to kill it and get the sanity back and run up and heal. Listen, you have a sanity recovering spell. Listen, it's way easier. Why am I so tired? Because you just got the shit kicked out of you! I'm not that dead. Okay, I was fairly dead. <laughs> okay, never mind. He can reach you up here. Well, he's That's moved. pretty- oh, no. Never mind. This guy's an asshole. Like, th this is stronger t I- I- I'm- I'm fucked. I can't avoid him. I need uh, to get- I need Why to get don't you him. enchant your, um, weapon? Because I'm out of- uh, Well, you weren't when- <laughs> I'm so dead. Yeah, we'll have to do this again. 
Oh, did I get him? I got him! Oh my god! I can't believe I got him! I had no faith in you. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Looks like we're going to have a lot of trap corridors here, by the way. Well, then maybe you should run around, get your magic, and heal up to full. <laughs> he says Santa every time. So, Bebe, what do you think of this game so far? It's alright. It's a bit, it's a bit dated, right, in some ways. But I don't think it's bad or anything. Mm. Like it's just. Once I understand its mechanics more, I feel more... Yeah, I, I would say that. I'd say this game really, 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 really relies on its mechanics to the point where... Um, I know that sounds stupid, but I feel like a lot of the mechanics aren't necessarily easy to suss out. This one you can't avoid. Um... be bone thieves in here. Would not be surprised if there were bone thieves in here. The other one's lost his head, so we got a easy victory here, I think. I, I hope. There's a cobweb there. Gotta dust it with your little, little paintbrush. Little, little, my little paintbrush. Your little paintbrush, your little dust it. You think it's a bit more complicated than a paintbrush, Bebe no King? Is it, dog? Alright, another rune. That is just a face, I just realised. Is it? I rode in mural appears to depict the arrival of a strange godlike entity for an ancient human tribe. Lindsay cannot recognise the god in the mural. He is mystified. Oh my god. Well, oh my I think goodness. we're done here for now. More traps, though, I think. Oh, and this time it's dark. The best combination, baby. I got this, baby, you know. You see this? You see these perfect dodges? <laughs> you didn't see that? No. No. Nothing happened here. No kidding. No kidding. Can I not hit kill hit these with a torch? I don't think I can. No. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is bad. These are all strong to me. Okay. Could we try something? Yeah. Why don't you try enchanting your weapon to the thing that they're weak to? Okay. Which I believe is blue. Oh, no, blue, blue, blue. You're right, it's blue. It's blue. Spell list. Enchant item. Cast. Blue. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Oh! Good. I cannot tell if that did anything. No, me neither. Seems to upset them a bit, though, at least. I know, that's something. I'm guessing falling into the fire would probably be detrimental to my health here. Yes. Stop looking at the fucking mural! He's like, actually, this is a good time to peruse some archaeological delights. <laughs> oh my god, he's still doing it. Bleedy balls. I mean, at least he's into his job, I guess. Certainly. I think it did help. But it's a bit hard. It, it wasn't that of an impact, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, more traps, I think, this way. Okay, that was in the most bullshit position, by the way. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Hang on, can we go in here? No, of course we can't. Why would we want to? Oh god. <laughs> I 
Why did I do that? Yeah. Oh, I got the heal off. I got it off. Somehow. All right, I need the rune that's inside that guy's body. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? There we go. Cannot, I cannot see shit with this tree here. Listen, that tree is just doing its own little thing. Why is there a fucking tree in the tomb anyway? It's a bit weird, right? Maybe they wanted it to look nice. Okay. I think we can make a new spell now, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna attempt to do this, alright? Oh, this isn't, I think the alignment initially matters, right? Like, it's gonna be like... Whatever. Then I need to use the um, our attack. Do we have that? Yeah, our attack and um, tear runes. There we go. Spell six, I have discovered. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to cast it. Let's see what it is. Oh, shit. Oh. We can, we can play as the trapper. What the fuck is that button? <laughs> Please don't hit me. Oh, I died. Okay. Alright, so I can summon those now and control them. That's kind of cool. Mm. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. And I'd like to try something. Could you go to your spells? Yes. New spell? This might not work, but just humor me. Just pick any of those. Now... Do that one. Now do self. Spell seven. What does that do? It's a shield. Okay. Like one that goes with me. Yeah, it believes... Oh. I don't know where this goes. Oh fuck! Can I save in here? No. But I, but I'm not sure if it'll uh, let you use it. I don't know if I sequence broke. Technically, as long as you find the runes, you can use them whenever you want. I think, right? Oh god! I think I may have to go all the way back. By the way, unfortunately for me. My sanity is getting very low here. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. No! I got it off. Just by absolutely freaking out and mashing the buttons. <laughs> what is this? Oh, we've got the Sub and Trapper spell scroll. Perfect. you would stop trying to do that while something's about to hit you. Uh, Bone Thief, I think. Oh no, it just blew up. Okay. Hello, we found it. Hello. So what we're gonna do, baby? I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt my nosy woes. Well, it got splashed all over to me. It can't possibly have done! Yes, it is, because you're in front of something that pushes air, baby! Wait, what? The fan? It's not on? It's not on. It's not on, exactly! Then how the hell did I get it over here? I think you made it up. I did not! 
Okay. Two horrors in here, wonderful. Don't mind me, I'm just a little friend. I'm a little friend, brother. You see that? Oh, I know. Okay, we got a room. Yay! Hi! Oh, not so yet. Need to equip a other weapon here, otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm just gonna run over here and brush this, if you don't mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> Thank you. Good practice. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you, sir. Hello. Okay, this is a bit long. Because I can't actually move. So, uh... Oh, careful. Goodbye. We got it! And now we have to go all the way back down to the bottom again, baby. Isn't that fun? So fun. We'll see you in a bit. Well, it'll be a second for you. It'll be a bit for us. It'll be like ten minutes for us. Okay, we're back. Hello. Hello. We're gonna go deeper in now. So I think this is where the giant tentacle monster lives. Yep, there it is, Manta Rock. Hey, yo, I thought you were dead. He's just sleeping. I genuinely think so, by the way. Oh, wow. Well, the Roman soldier guy did a very bad job. Yeah, you think he'd just kill him. He was baiting him a lot and yelling at him. I mean, you would pull down the temple on him. Is not easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> Arrogant man. Kill him. Make sure you. Oh, two of these. Oh. Manta Rock Chan saved me. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness shall. Wow, you're a pussy. Yeah. He's like, what happened here? Mantarok seems kind of a chill guy, to be honest with you. You know, eldritch abomination face aside. <laughs> he seems pretty numb. Pretty friendly. I wouldn't go far as saying numb. But like, come on, he's cuddly and squishy. No, he's just made like jelly. No. He's like, oh, he's like... oh, look, it's uh, what's her face? Oh yeah, the skeleton of what's her face. Do not touch the heart, flesh and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the dark ones as they searched for me. At first they passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body. But I was forced to find refuge in you. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh, and take it to the Gathering of Light. Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. Oh, title drop again. They they really like the title dropping. Of reality can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand and fight the darkness. I don't think we're gonna die here, by the way, because Mantarok is actually protecting us here, because it's in his best interests. See? I don't want this. You deal with it. <laughs> can you look after this heart for me, old friend? That's our grandfather. Mm hmm It literally was like, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Get it away from me. That's not out of place at all. I guess that's why grandpa got murdered.
Oh, hi, space. What are we doing here? Oh, the Eldritch Abominations probably came from space, I think, is the implication. All right, let's go and get the book. Save. No. Yes. <laughs> Should be just around here, right? Maybe. In the library section. I think in here? Okay. <laughs> Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Time of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind the book. Shall Alex look behind the book? Oh sure. my god, that is so stupid. That is like the worst hiding space. When the, the, book removed... the name of the guy that fucking what's his face knows! Oh yeah. <laughs> We got the heart of Mantarok. I'm not quite sure what we do with it, but we'll, we'll fight. We'll figure it out. Do you hear creepy footsteps? Yeah. Oh my god. That was like the aim door closing sound. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I guess there used to be a door there. We can't go through there yet. But I can see the outlaw. What we need to do is dispel magic. This one. Yeah! And there's the next chapter page. The magical window fades away. The piece of parchment the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in the air. It's a chapter page. Okay. Point spell. This is our next boss. Oh, that doesn't look gnome. We're a few chapters away from it, but uh, apparently it's one of the hard hardest fights in the game. <laughs> I am not your fool today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. Okay, thank you. What a numkin, baby. So numb. And then we're going to just read the page very quickly. Heresy is the next chapter. In it takes Europe, place in the Inquisition. During the time of the Inquisition. See? Paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. Oh my god, it's among us again, baby. He should have said everyone was sussy, though. Welcome to Ublier Cathedral. Oh, you don't look fucking evil at all. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. 
Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be, but deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Oh, this guy's a fucking killer. It's obviously the guy is, is, <laughs> this guy is obviously yes. the bad guy. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's follow the obviously evil priest, I guess. I guess so. Because that seems like a good way to spend a holiday. Are we on holiday? I mean, kind of. Christian holiday. A Christian holiday. <laughs> that sounds really fucking boring. <laughs> Oh no! For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! We gonna get blamed? Yep, yeah, I think so. A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah... Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon me. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. But they don't like this man. No. Oh. Oh. We're in a room with a gemstone, baby. The painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candle. That is not disguised. Okay, it's just shoved it. It's like someone glued it on. It's like some value beyond a precious gem. Shall I retrieve the emerald? Sure. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. Who the fuck are you? You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew. Not Brother Andrew. He was killed to protect a secret. Can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you... I'd run. <gasps> they will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me at the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. Why do monks have their hair cut like that? them for no, it's just part of their thing. Just their style. I mean, yeah. Every sort of religious or governmental or position of power has it. Well, I guess it's right. Oh, wow, we're going to the time. He's not going to say anything about the floor screaming? Nope. Nope. Cradle in what appears to be elevary hand is the god of eternal darkness. As per usual, really, at this point. <laughs> Business. Business is normal. So, so far, one thing I don't like, right, mm -hmm. is this is recycling the same environments again and again and again. This is where we were the guy who was a zombie. Mm. You know what I mean? We've had the temple yeah. and it's just the same thing. I'm guessing we'll have the manor a bunch more times too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, like, awful, but it's like... Eh. Eh. At least they try to change the dressing a little bit, even if it's the same place. That's true, and you do go to new places, I guess. 
Is there a door around here? Do we? So far, I think we've just done the same three. Yeah, the temple we've been to the most, I think, by by miles. Temple. Oh hi, cathedral. I got a and then the other temple. I think there's two temples. Yeah, I don't have a weapon at the moment, so uh, we're just going to keep running, okay? Mm-hmm. Where the fuck am I? Oh, there's a bell. Paul is nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. Is it the studying's task to ring the bell at appropriate times? Perhaps he will be later to ring it? Should Paul ring the bell anyway? Sure, whatever. This is a lot darker, this one, than the other ones as well, visually. Mm. Hello. Ah, oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. I saw one. Shambling corpses, and worse, there is darkness at work here. In the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that. But I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also. And paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? I will say the voice acting in this is excellent. Can mm -hmm. finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Oh. Do I actually have any weapons? I do. I have a meditation rod for healing, but that's it. Yeah. So at the moment, we are weaponless, Babinomkin. I mean, we are a monk. That's true. Goodbye. See you later. I find it funny he didn't notice the shambling corpses when he walked in. I'm <laughs> just gonna ignore the man. I wanna know what all the monks are. Like, they're, they're never around. They're just like, doing fuck all actually. It's very rude. Well, you know, they're busy. I don't like the whispering, Debbie. Do you hear the whispering? No. So far, as far as I'm aware, whispering in this means bum. Alright, we're gonna start exploring, Debbie. This place is much, actually, to be fair, I will say, this place has been expanded since the last time we were here. Yeah. There's a lot more to it than there was before. You, you, so you were right. Oh, that's me breathing. I was like, who the fuck is breathing like a fucking weirdo? <laughs> A heavy wooden chest is in the room. Should Paul open it? Oh my god. Yes. A crossbow lies within the open chest. Oh my god. We have a weapon, finally. Do we actually have any bolts, though, or is it infinite bolts? It's unprecedented. Anything else here? Oh, there is. What is this? A rat carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. As Paul draws the robe back, something tumbles from inside. I've got the podium key. Oh my god, brother, this is... I, I think it might be unprecedented, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's unprecedented. Oh, can I have this? Yes. Oh, thank fuck. If you're watching this and you're confused about our inside memes, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> our inside memes are fun for the whole family to enjoy, okay? Can we save here or not? No. Well, that's just rude. I'm sure nothing bad will happen at all, anyway, ever. Paul knows the door to the old tower is locked. Okay, well, we have keys. Old tower key. How convenient. So oh no, it's a bone thief. I know.
burn. I've got a feeling Paul is not good at fighting. Is he? No. He also has less health than everyone else, I just noticed. What do we do here? He won't die! It's like crossbow? I have one crossbow bolt, so I guess that's a no. How am I gonna fight the bone thief? Don't know. Oh fuck. That took off nearly all my sanity. Maybe just run away? Go, 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 go. I'm gonna run it out here and heal. At the very least, because he took all my sanity. Oh, we got a cutscene. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Not a scared wretch. I don't like this guy. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Why is he being such a dick? You have been killed with your parents. Fuck off, Grandad. What the fuck? Oh, that was mid-air attack. Did you see that? Yeah. He was going for the fucking finisher. I forgot on the, the ones I've got equipped, by the way, just for the record. I just put a shield up and wasted the mana. That's what I want. Got to slightly rotate the screen slightly to the right again. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can fight the bone thief. I'm just gonna keep hitting it and hope for the best. All right. Yep. Stop screaming! Careful. Oh, I'm dead. And no save for ages. The Bone Thief is way too hard to push off, it just doesn't work. Maybe just run around him. All right, guys, we're going to try this again, but this time I'm just going to run past the guy in the Bone Thief because I hate fighting them. They just kill you so easy. What have we got here? Oh, we got the Shield Spell Scroll. So now we know which one's Shield are the ones we discovered very easily. Could be now. Could be so now. We'll never quite know. I actually don't know where I'm going right now, but I'm going to go up here, away from the manse. Oh, there's another bone thief. And this one's all by himself. I'm going to leave that one alone for a second, because I think I need to be somewhere else. Okay. This area is very dangerous, because I can't really do a lot. Is there a door in here to the left? Maybe, maybe not. I'd say you'll never know, but it's impossible to actually see anything right now, uh, so I'm stuck. I'm dead, because I cannot see anything. And I cannot move. Excellent. Oh, 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 oh! Why can't I move? You're probably running into something. Yeah, this is... Yeah, you're running into a wall. Just want to get past the fucker. <laughs> It must be up here, but this is not what should be here, <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest with you. I'm going to have to try and kill the Bone Thief, because I can't do anything in this room with it here. I mean, maybe if you're fast enough. Mm -hmm. 
I'm fucked, I think. Leave me alone! I need a weapon. I need something useful. Everything here is shit! Okay, what's this? Let's just read this and try and lead. Lying on the band easel is a sheet of tattered paper covered with scrolls of ink. I found a diary page. I will read that in a second, but I'm gonna just leave here. Cut for a second, please. So none of this is here in the guide. This is completely opposite of what it says is in this room. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. We're meant to be fighting the dead guy from the previous chat time we were here, in a mini boss fight, in that room, but he's not there. Are you sure you're not just looking down further? Uh, maybe. Let's continue and see what we find. Okay, I'm gonna cut back now. All right, we got the diary page. I'm not gonna read them till I find them all. Cause like, why? Why would I bother? There's gotta be something in this room that I'm in. I just don't know what. I wish it, there's a door. I'm stuck in the pew though, cause of this idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Baby, I don't wanna cry! <laughs> I can't get away from anything here, they just... They won't leave me alone! I'm just a monk! Look at me! I'm just a little monk! Oh wow, this looks bad. Oh hi! Hello. How's it going? Charlemagne. I'm not Charlemagne. I'm just a little monk. Called Jim. Jim the Monk. I think we have to fight this guy. <laughs> so guys, I'm not. Yeah! <laughs> I bashed my knee and the mics have been muted. No. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurt, though. I'm so sorry. Uh. <laughs> At least it was only a minute with the mics muted, and that can be used to comic effect everyone who watched this video and enjoyed the one minute of us being muted. We found a steel mace. We decided to come down to the basement because we were getting absolutely wrecked everywhere else. And thought that we might be able to find a weapon. Unfortunately, we have. Okay. All right, there. And now I can do the we, you said we can do enchant weapon, right? I would assume so. Enchant item. Yeah, but what is he? The, oh, everything in here is green. I already looked it up. Okay. Okay. The game did not like that, but it just no, I mean, they didn't like it at all. <laughs> Alright, now we should be able to deal with anything the game throws at us. She said. Badly. We can't save him, baby. Oh, no. And we're gonna have to fight the Bone Thief thing now. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna bypass the Bone Thief thing. We're gonna do this. Okay, you ready? Mm hmm. Leave me alone. We're gonna go in here. And we're gonna fight this lovely man again. 
So this is the guy from the first chapter, guys. Uh, he has kicked our ass quite a lot. But now I have a weapon, as opposed to just a candle, and I'm hoping that will be enough to help. Oh my god! <laughs> it took how many hits before? To do nothing. Yeah. We were literally, uh, We fought him for 10 minutes off camera, didn't we? At, at least. It was... It, it, at the end, it was more like, kind of, 20. And he... Nothing. Even using magic spells that we hadn't unlocked didn't kill him. Oh. I'm gonna run through this door for a second, okay? Okay. All right. Run he away! That's it. It's a tactful retreat, is the way I'd like to say it is. I just like remembering Monty Python and the Holy Grail when they run away from the rabbit. Run away! Run away! They should make- I actually played a horror game fairly recently where they had a killer rabbit like that and you couldn't kill it and it was like superhuman and you had to run away. <laughs> like a meme. I'm gonna go and see if there's a place I can save before going back in there, because there is some bone thieves we need to kill and I don't want to risk instantly dying for no reason, which seems to be very much the pattern to fighting bone thieves. Just try here. I'll just try in this room here. Okay. Oh. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Oh, this is the one we already saw, right? Yeah. So weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Not a scared wretch of a girl. You kept all this from me. Kept me alone. Sorry guys, I know you already saw this, but I can't skip it. I couldn't. I could never give you the I think this is a sanity effect, don't we think so? I think so. Especially if we're seeing it twice. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? Yeah, I don't know why we're seeing it twice. Yeah, it definitely is sanity. And we can save here. Oh my god, thank <coughs> fuck. All right, now we're going to fight the Bone Thieves and hopefully kill both of them, get some items, and then we'll be able to rest through the basement. So numb. So very numb. This mace was a game changer, genuinely. <laughs> Considering how bad uh, things were with that before. Yeah. All right, Bone Thief. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this mace better. is the best! <laughs> I think it's run out of charge now, though. That's okay, you could just enchant it again. That is true. I'm not going to use the sword, the mace seems to be fine. Mm. Like, I'm happy with the mace. Plus, it doubles up as pepper spray, right? <laughs> that was really bad, I'm sorry. That was really bad. It's okay, I love you. I love you too. Oh shit. Oh, he's dead. Yay! Oh my god, they're so much easier to kill with this! Alright, there should be something else in here. We picked up a diary page in here off camera, um, which we haven't read yet. We're gonna read them all together. But there should be something else in here as well that we need. Maybe. Could Possibly. Be wrong. Oh. You'll never know! Oh, I actually see it. It's right here. Detail. It's a sheet of music. We found some sheet music. Or a sheet of music. Make up your mind, game. Which one is it? I think there's an organ in the main hall this way. What is it? Give me one second. Oh my god. I don't know. It sounds pretty sussy to me. I was making sure that the microphones were actually on now. Oh my as opposed god. To... They are, don't worry. Where is the organ? I thought there was an organ here. I mean, I guess it serves us right for not doing an audio test before we started. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going to find an organ? Well, you have a bunch in your squishy body. 
Okay, that's very rude. Is it though? Is it though? Hmm. Is there anything else here? Oh, what are these? Are these things? Are these stuff and things? Hmm. Oh my god, there's an organ right here. <laughs> By means of bellows and pumps, the pipe organ is able to play deeply moving music as the power to inspire faith. Should Paul play the organ? Alright, so A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. Wow. Paul really knows his organ. Okay, well, that's pretty numb, first of all. I think there might be more things here that we need as well. Here. A simple podium and lectern provides a platform for a priest giving a sermon. There's a drawer recess within it. We can open the drawer with the podium key we have. And we found diary page one, so we can read both diary page one and two in a second. Oh my god! Oh my god, I know. And finally... Oh, there's crossbow bolts here that we didn't pick up. And there's also this, which is the five point spell. So now, we should re hotkey our keys, I think, to make them five point. Oh, mind you, they would be faster, slower to cast. Okay. So now we can make all our spells five point spells, though, and increase their power. Mm. They take longer to cast, but they'll be more potent. So, for example, it just ran out of my weapon. So, if I do this now, I think. Oh no, I can't select it. Why can't I select it? Do you have to do a new spell for it? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think you have to do a new spell. Oh, and it has more parts though as well. Okay, well put it there. And then do do what? Oh, you wanted me to look up the recipe. Well, the thing is, right? This is this is something we don't understand, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is the enchant weapon spell only has two points, so this can't be an enchant weapon spell I'm making. So I think I'll leave this for now, and come back to it shortly. Okay. Okay. Because I think some spells we should be able to upgrade and some might not be upgradable. It's a bit hard to gauge. I'll read the, um, the diaries as well. I have finally arrived at Amiens and my pil- I don't know how to say that by the way, so if it's not Amiens, I'm sorry. And my pilgrimage to see the Hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay my eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey has been arduous and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith, and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it's in Amiens. I suppose it's understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude in such little notice, but I must confess their preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no deadly prayer or worships are demonstrated by the strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the auspices of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it's my naivety of our faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than others. I don't think that's it for some reason. <laughs> got a feeling, got a little inkling, that it's a bit more than that. Baby, you know what that inkling is? What? I think they might be bumpuses. Oh my god. With a capital B? With a capital B. Okay, so now we should be able to actually make some more progress. Although that was quite a lot of progress there, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Once we had the mace, things got a lot easier. Is the drink numb, by the way? Yes, it is. Thank you. Sorry if that is loud in your ear. Oh, it's okay. I've been drinking, too. It's ASMR, baby. A lot of people don't like ASMR. All the Zoomers like it. <laughs> How many Zoomers actually watch us? I don't know. Most of, they're probably mostly uh, millennials that watch our videos. If you're a Zoomer, tell us below and say hi. Say zoom, 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 zoom in the comments like that. Okay, chill out, dude. I'm you know what the best? Back, you right? know what the best type of zoom is? What? Puppy zoomies. Oh my god. When they, when they, when they just go, oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't know what else to do but run in a circle. Oh my god. Oh fuck! Like I didn't see they were here. <laughs> it's been a while since we were here. Purple, but you got a bunch of nasties. I'm gonna run, try and run past them, okay? 
Okay, that went relatively well. I bet there's more of them there, though. There was two sets. I can hear them squelching. Are you fucking kidding me? It's because he ran into you. <laughs> oh no. Well, everything's numb. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I mean, this isn't too bad. It's just wait for purple. Run. Really. Yeah, though there's more to this world. Like, I think there's stuff to explore here. Probably. A wine cask. We've got to check all the wine casks for a hollow one. Knocking in this cask results in a hollow thud. Should Paul open the barrel spigot? Sure. I was, so I was hoping there wasn't an. Oh no. Uh, this one we want green for, I believe. Green, right? Mm -hmm. Or purple. I think purple works against everyone. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we have it now. Is it partially invisible? I can't really tell, or if that's just a glitch. I cannot tell. Oh, this is not going well. I need to heal, but I will be running out of mana, which is bad. Yeah. Because he drains mana as his main attack. Could be bad here. Yeah. I can't do anything except run. And that's not gonna work. Oh, I've got the thing, I've got the healing rod. I hope this does something Can't useful. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's sanity. just sanity! <laughs> okay, hang on, I've got a... So, for a start, by the way, it doesn't seem... nothing seems to be damaging this guy at all. Well, it is. You did damage him. It's just, uh... You're not oh, doing dead. a very good job. <laughs> I am so dead, baby. You know what? The crossbow can only hold one weapon at a time. One ammo. One, one, ammo at one time. bolt. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes! Yeah, you gotta be a little bit better at aiming for the specific parts. Yeah. Because I think you panic. <laughs> well, at least it gave me some sanity back, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. What a disaster that was. Just run around for a little bit. Alright, guys, we're gonna put the gemstones into this weird pentagram type. Well, not pentagram. Trigra Triforce? I don't know. I don't know. Put them into each here, and it should have a clear open door. Oh, that's not a door, but it's the way forward. We just saved as well, so we're all good. And they're zombie nice. But we are, we now have weapons that will make things a lot easier for us. So I think we're pretty good. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. What would you say that was? Unprecedented. Okay, these are draining my sanity a lot. I know. I'm not particularly worried about them unless they get me from. But these ones are the ones that wreck you from behind. Oh god! As I say, as I put my back to one immediately. I know, buddy, dear bubby. Hey, we found a magic rune. Oh my god. Do you see us just hitting the air there on that last guy? Don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. Okay. That's the same bus that's in the hall upstairs. In the, in the mansion, doing the same shit. Listen. It's okay. Don't go worry about it. Okay. How am I gonna... 
whatever. Then we're just gonna keep going. I'll hide. Okay, it's very dark in here. Oh, hello, hello, guys. Oh, I think I killed it. Oh my Yay! god, I did. I bullied it. Yay! Okay. Okay, we did it. What's this? An effigy of a monk reclining on a sacrificial altar, a deep groove bisects its chest. The monk's face looks almost exactly like the custodian. The inscription reads, Inscription? <laughs> Once when the friend is sacrificed, when he cries, fill the air, will the great doors be open to thee? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no. We need to come back here later on with an item, by the way, for that. We don't have that item at the moment. Don't you? Which is very bumbus. Oh, there's bots here. I guess I should take them in case a situation arises like before where I did need them. Mm. Go away. And you. Go away. They're very rude, those zombies. Oh, what is it? Oh, they're just zombies. Okay. Oh, I remember this room. The other guy went to it. Oh god, I fucking hate... The red ones do a lot more damage than the others. Yeah, we've got Because they're based around health, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there, but... No, I wanna... Listen, I wanna... I wanna... That, yes. <laughs> And I'm gonna heal because they kicked my ass a bit, and this character has fuck all health. Yeah. There's also bolts in the bookcase behind you. Oh, there is. Oh my god. Okay. The shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flush as the others in the room, almost as if it could slide inward. Should I push it? Yes. Oh my god, that's unprecedented. Oh boy. There's a big boy there. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> I guess nothing to worry about, really. I kind of like the touch of some of these characters, where, like, the monk doesn't know how to fight. So instead of, like, thrusting downward, he's just like smacking the sword against them to finish them. <laughs> like in a panic. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if that touch was intentional, but I, I think it's fun. Alright, we found all the diary pages and we also found a magical codex. By adding paragon runes to a spell, it can power it up. So, we basically, all we do for the five point spells is add in the paragon runes. I believe. Okay? So, for example... Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do this off camera, but first of all, I'm just gonna cut here, because we've got a long run back up for us back up to the main area. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to go and talk to the mans, baby. This is not the mans, this is where we were imprisoned. Oh no. The mans is this way. I think there might be some things to kill underway as well, I don't know why. Well, it's because they were there before, actually, it would be the reason why, but still. Oh, I haven't read the last diary page as well. I'll read that before I give it to the mans. Otherwise, we won't be able to read it, so, uh, yeah. Not so tough now I've got a weapon, are you, bonkin? <laughs> diary page three. With a shudder, my heart turned to ice. I came to the brutal realization the entire order were heretics and that I was in incredible jeopardy. Who knows how long they kept their dark secret masquerading as custodians of the Hand of Jude, when in fact they guarded a damnable relic, the essence of the unholy Chattagar, and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick, and despite my faith, I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I know that I must escape this place while they suspect my knowledge. I must warn the world and notify the real Inquisition of their presence. Knowing death is just around the corner and fearing every moment, I commit these words to paper, or Gusting will find this book. 
I will remove certain pages and hide them so that all who may follow might discover the truth before it's like I will remove certain pages and hide them so everyone's fucked. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, now we have the evidence with the diary pages. This guy will give us a key to the crypt down below. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal. And it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I don't trust this guy. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the sacred relic, the hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. Murdered. The hand of Jude never existed. So you were invited to be a sacrifice. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. They want to give you a dagger? I know too much. <laughs> They are moving to silence. Why don't they just kill him? I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. For that's all you have. Because <laughs> you're fucking useless otherwise. <laughs> We're gonna go back up there. <laughs> Didn't look too good. You don't right, wanna see gonna... the spooky dookies? We don't wanna see the spooky dookies. And we need to cut here. <laughs> okay, cut back. Alright, we made it all the way down to the basement, baby. And we're gonna put this dagger in. It's fine. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And the door will open onwards. Oh my god, baby. But you didn't examine it. Pardon? <laughs> Nothing is fine. But, but what is this? Paul's progress forward is blocked by a corrosive spell. Obviously someone wants to keep intruders at bay, and this lethal magic is just the way to do it. Huh. You have to dispel it. Yeah, we do. Dispel magic. Cast. Five point. Red. I hope it's red. It was red, Bubby! Oh my god! We did it! So no. Probably should save. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh my god. Unprecedented, that's all I can say to that. We've never saved in this playthrough. <laughs> at any point. Hello, you sleeping? Lying in the pool of his own blood as the custodian, Paul's only ally in the fight against the darkness. His soul no light lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken. Watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse, feeling all hope escape from him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone against the darkness. You are a clever man, brother. Well, thank you. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive. finds the very source of corruption. I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner in after we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Zelotov. Come, my children. Oh, no. Feast on this morsel. 
and let us return to our preparation. I don't like being called a morsel. That makes me sound like nibbly. Yeah. That's a lot of burn thieves. This actually could be a legit problem here. Oh, it's not the end of the chapter. Nope. Oh, I'm dead. Well, this would be going really well if uh, I was just, like, dead. Oh, great! No, you're dead. No, I'm not. Oh my god. Now I am, because for some reason it was kicking one hit to kill them before, but now it's taking like seven. Well, your sword isn't enchanted anymore. And you're not using the mace. Yeah. I'm dead. Oh, I got the heal off. I got the heal, but I can't get him off. I can't hit him. Oh my god, come on, die. Yes! Stop looking at the body, you dickhead! <laughs> oh my god, that was awful. Oh my god, we did it. We did it! You might want to try to save. Oh, we can! <laughs> oh, thank fuck! <laughs> I hate the fighting those things so much. All right, where did he go? He went back this way somewhere. Yeah. It's probably even more bone thieves, isn't there? No, oh, he went in. Is going in there. Not even looking. Probably just assumes that everything's fine. Oh yeah. So far, so good. No more bone thieves yet. Did I go through the right door? Maybe, maybe not. You'll never know. I mean, I will, because eventually I'll get to over my recognize, you know what I mean? The door is decorated with most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind the door, Paul 1 is certainly the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place. Should Paul enter? Not yet. <laughs> Paul's gonna save. <laughs> because Paul doesn't want to die and get to some fucking bone things again, or whatever the fuck might be in here. All right, now he's going to put an end to the heresy. <laughs> I mean... Or at he, least attempt to. He might have wanted to also make sure all of his stats was uh, healed up to full. Oh, but... Paul's an idiot. Why didn't he do that? <laughs> this is the room where we saw that giant black demon. Mm-hmm. In the cutscene earlier. We might have also wanted to enchant our weapons and stuff first. Oh well. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I think full channel will be okay. thing to have for a head. Yeah. He's the one that seeks to do combat with me. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of I thought darkness. it was him. We will dispose of him ourselves. Doesn't look like, uh, she's saying... She's interested in listening to you, Pius. If I am to guard this place, then I will do it as I see fit. Be gone. Leave me. And I will guard this artifact as you have instructed. Great. 
There we go. Oh. We have to fight that scene. Oh dear. In two chapters time, I believe. <laughs> In what I'm sure will be a smooth and seamless battle. I've got a note from Edward. Oh wow, our sound is fucked, hang on. The five point is very good. Mm. My dearest Alex, I'm glad you followed my paper trail thus far. I know I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. Do you know what that means, 88 keys? No. Uh, piano has 88 keys. Oh. I wouldn't know that. I do know that, for some reason. I actually do know that. Oh god, it's so good to play a character that's young again. <laughs> Isn't, like, I don't feel like they're going to drop dead every few seconds. Should be a dead body in here, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, here's a piano. City piano stirred up distant recollections of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind. The echoes of those notes within the cathedral echo also within her own consciousness. Her hands are drawn to the keys. Should Alex play the piano? And we found the next chapter page, the Forbidden City already. Okay? Yes. It's forcing me into a cutscene anyway without me even reading it. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? So, you can see me in my true form. A gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Oh, isn't that nice? Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written. But what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Okay. This place is really hot. Survey the site quickly, dog. And maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. Roberto must survey the ruins of this ancient temple. The ruins he must survey can be found on the map. Only when these areas have been inspected can construction begin. Okay, baby. You ready? Well, this is just bumbus. We're being forced to work by pious soldiers and survey the site, I guess. I think this might be a new place, though. So if you look at the map, it said to check... How do I view the map? Do we have a map? Roberto cannot cast spells. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, this place is fucking massive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, let's go. Oh, 
Oh no, this is the same fucking place again! Yeah. We've been here a billion fucking times! Um, who is this? Is this a sanity effect? That's just a man! A frantic worker looking for answers to questions that can't be answered. He hopes Roberto is there to save them and longs to see his family and friends once he escapes. Oh, I guess he's just a slave? Yeah. Anyway, we've definitely been here before. Oh, why does this torch do this when the other one did fuck all? I'm still so confused. I can't get sanity back, by the way, because I have no way of finishing moves at the moment. One of Roberto's fellow slaves lies dead. His wounds seem to have been attracted the attention of the beasts, for they have been gnawed open, spilling his innards onto the dusty floor. Oh my god. What are your thoughts on this? Place? I see no innards. Yeah, he's also and his his trousers I just, through. His... I just see a slight bit of jam on his back. So he he obviously fell. It's like slipped on some jam and fell on his back. Okay. His pants are clipping through his legs. His pants are, are very very hardly hardly very roughly clipping through his legs, and um, otherwise I I see no goal here. Should have better try and survey this area. Sure. The structure around here shows signs of stress. It is far from sound. Perhaps with some reinforcement, it might be able to suit the requirements of the monument. Okay, I guess that's the first survey point done. Oh, what is this? Is this a sword? Can I take a sword? I want a sword. An old safe. Oh, thank fuck. We can actually fight. Yay. Just don't kill them. They're probably nonkins. Baby! <laughs> Some crossbow bots as well. I don't like how you accidentally... I fucking hate the fucking controls of this, okay? They're very confusing. The GameCube is one of the worst controllers ever. And we are 100% using a genuine GameCube controller right now. This looks bad, Bevy. Hmm. Does it do? Hello. Ow. Okay, this guy's got a lot more health than the other guy. I should probably just use this, right? Definitely should just use this. That's right. Sit the fuck down. That's right. Alright, lever has been pulled. More jam men coming. These are jam mongers. That's my theory, by the way, right? The red one, the red god, is a jam monger. Hmm. Like, secretly. Like, elder god by day, jam monger by night. That sort of thing, you know? What do you think of that? I could buy into it. His head just grew back, by the way. I've never seen that before. It's because things are getting harder, maybe? They are, but this guy is fairly competent with the weapon compared to the last guy, so, you know. These guys are going to get up. Yep. How fucking rude. How fucking dare you. I can't believe you'd swear, Bubby. Everyone thinks you're such an innocent kid, you know that, right? Nope. I'm a horny pixie. Horny pixie? Yeah. Is that from your Wind Waker playthrough? Yeah. <laughs> I can buy it. I love the way that everyone's just like, yeah, whatever. Like the other guys. They look really chill, considering that they're being forced to do this. Mm. I reckon there should be a survey point in here, by the way, that we need to survey. I just don't know where. Mm. Oh, 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 was that it? There was a prompt. I saw a prompt! Oh my god, prompts! Dust and rock falls from the roof to a fault in the stone. It's difficult for Roberto to assess how study the, sturdy the place is, but needs a lot of reinforcement if it's to be built upon. Alright, down the ladder we go. Oh, we're going to get the tome. 
Oh, okay. You can't cast spells, by the way, with any character unless you have the tome. Well, I guess that makes sense. So we were spellless until just now. Oh, shut up! I'm crying. Yeah, get it. Boohoo, you're dead. <laughs> you're so mean. Hey, yo. There's trappers. And Talk. they're coming, and I can't remember the sneak button. Talk. The worker is surprised to see Roberto. He confesses the cowardice. He stayed beyond the others, ventured further into the complex. When the screams of those echoed from the walls, he dared not move. Seems like a sensible guy, to be honest with you. Yeah. Gotta be sneaky. Gotta be beaky. Gotta sneak, 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 sneak. If you guys could just, like, stay on one spot, that would be very nice. No! What a bumpkin this one is here. Hmm. <laughs> you look so weird sneaking from this angle. He's like, he's like, what's going on? What are they? They got away. <laughs> oh no. This room is sanity room. Don't look at the wall! Kill the zombie! No. Oh, it's one of these. And I don't have a gun this time. Uh, I'm paralyzed. I mean, you kind of look like you're doing something. Until it opens its chair thing, I can't do anything. Pay no attention to the doorbell in the background. <laughs> I can't move! This is bum! Alright, dude, can we talk about this, okay? He's making the green floor, by the way. He's such a dick! That's the floor being recast every- Oh, there's a trapper there, I just realised, coming for me. Hang on. We have the crossbow. I want to shoot the trapper, but I can't. I just realised something else, actually. What? I think I can attack these guys in the arse, but the problem- STOP LOOKING AT THE WALL! <laughs> NO! You must look at the detail in the wall. I thought it was going to teleport me there, but it didn't count. There's more spawning of the trappers! What am I going to do? I mean... I mean, that actually worked. Yes. But... I'm saying, I don't think it counts as long as you're within the monster's AoE. You can hit this guy in the arse, I just realized. So can you not move when he's casting? There we go. It's not the end of the world to get trapped. Yeah, I got trapped, but I did kill him. Yeah, I think there's special things if you manage to get over there, but... No, Bubby! Purple! Oh, shit. Oh no. Baby, I can't go back. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Shall I stand in it and see what happens? Yeah. Oh, it's a heal. Oh! It's actually kind of useful. That's actually insanely useful. Get some sanity. There we go. Well, so that's what the extra stuff is for. Yeah. Just realized we've been through like five we've been through like ten rooms and I didn't save once. Oh. That's bad. <laughs> but I can now, so everything's fine. Yay. Huh. <sighs> yeah, try not to overwrite the saves with that's like Alex. Yeah. Just in case something goes tits up! A tattered scroll, we got the summon zombie spell. We already learned this of our, of our own back, but now we have it as well. Isn't that gnome? So gnome. Oh, this is not gnome. Crossbow bolts, though, oh my god. He has such a dumpy bum. Oh, I killed the other one at least. 
Don't finish him when there's a monster in front of your face. <laughs> Where's his other head? I can't target the other head. It's oh no. Oh, this might be bad. I got a hit off. You mean a heal? Got him. Got him. There we go. I did just save anyway, but yeah. yeah. But yeah. Now it you can be can really fiddly to hit the heads. Yeah. Don't you want to heal? I will do in a minute when I got my mana back. Another worker's corpse, this time slashed from behind as he ran from his attacker. This is exactly the same model. This is the same model. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly the same man. This is an SCP! Okay, I'm actually going to need to use Summon Zombie, I think, here to solve some puzzles, which will be interesting. Okay, so run around in a little circle. We'll be right back. All right, onwards we go. Okay, then. Okay, so we need to mimic that. So we need to summon our own zombie. <laughs> the way you said we need to mimic that, and I'm like, I don't want to explode. That took all our mana. Oh, wow. And you can only cast the Pipewood version, so that was the only version, you know what I mean? Yeah. After a zombie has been... You should, you should read this. Press A to attack enemies. Attacks to be targeted using the thing. Attack an enemy's head from a gnaw attack. You can really control the zombie and you can make it walk faster and make it sprint. Zombies can open doors but can't pick up items. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be going very far here because it's just going to go in here. Yes. That is true, but in stuff where we struggle, it is entirely possible that we can make use of stuff more than we have been. That's true. I don't know about the zombie, but, you know. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> There's a magic drain in here so I can't heal. Oh dear. Alright, is there a trapper in here too? There is. Fuck me. Uh... We could just go upstairs and... Run, 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 run. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now this guy we can just do the what we did before, but run behind him this time. Yeah. Does he have a side, this one? It, it He looks more like angler fishy. And the other one looked more birdy. Yeah, I guess this is a magic one, right? The magic one, I think, is the... A different god. A different god. Like, uh... There we go, that actually went really well. Yeah. And that gets rid of the shit. Good. There's the fishy god, there's the birdie god, I think. <laughs> the fishy body? Is that the technical terms, yeah? Well, no, I, I think it depends on what their icon is. I think one is a crab claw. I don't know about the other ones. I know one is a crab claw, though. Oh, we've got cutscene. Oh, it's this room. The room. Where everything started. No oh, it's him. Be struck down where you stand. Forbidden city. None shall enter except the chosen. Speak. <laughs> you are the chosen. Well, that's unfortunate. For years, Bit cringe. I've tested those who came here, and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield, and thus must surely be the chosen. I. Are we going to finally get the last essence? As you were, confused and without answers. Yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. Stuck with her forever, <laughs> <I'm> a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we can finally get this. The thing we tried to pick up is him fucking ages ago. Then he got killed. Unless it's gonna be like, yoink! Not for you. It doesn't look like it's there. Roberto can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching toward him. Using a shred of clothes from his robes, he retrieves the hovering artifact. I got the essence of Uliath. That's the last one. We have all of them now. 
Lucy got a ruby effigy. Alright, backtrack time. Not too far though. You were definitely gonna die. Somehow. We are in not what the fuck is this? Oh, this is where the book was on a different playthrough. Mm. Oh, we don't need it at the moment. This way. You should still examine things though for the law. For the I mean, lulz. We already looked at it. The lulzy law. It's like a hand where the book was sitting having a new I little I know, tongue. but you don't know if it's different in text. We know what it is. It's the hand. I'm just saying, you should be immersed more. <laughs> That's true. But All you're right. like, no, no immersion. No immersion in my video game. No. Alright. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Oh, I missed something, shit. <laughs> Sorry! You know we have to survey places. I've got to survey that room we were in. Still? Yeah. We've got a lot of surveying left to go. And then we have to backtrack out the entire place to the entrance. I'm not kidding. This game urgently needs a fast travel system, for the record. Is it this room I have to survey? Yeah. Oh, the, it's the, almost like you should have been actually examining now the things. The room appears to be incredibly ancient shrines of the ancients and is noted in the term of eternal darkness. Could this be what Roberto's captor seeks to preserve with his monument? There you go. It's all done. It's all done. Now go to the other place. I don't think I need to go in here, but I will. Just see. do it. In case. A construct of human bones lashed together form a small shrine. A shade of skin tops the air edifice, making the light cast an eerie shadow on the walls that glow with the warmth of their own. Okay. Happy? Well, you I think do. I can't leave here, so yeah. Yeah. You happy, Ken, now? Yes, I'm a happy, Ken, now. You my happy, Ken? Mmm. -hmm. I think about it. I said yes. Did you? You cut me off before I could, but they did. Mm, I'm not sure if I cut you off, that counts. But you cut me off! <laughs> I'm being weird, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, let's go through here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. It's the whole family of them. We hit each other, at least. Oh, there's some crossbow bolts up there. Are we weak to blue? I can't remember. I cannot remember. I don't even know how it really works, if I'm honest with you. There's a wheel. I found a picture of it. Careful, they're gonna blow up. They're gonna blow up! They're gonna go blow up! Stop it! <laughs> That's new. It's not new! They have definitely blown up before. That was so rude! <laughs> this was so rude! <laughs> There's crossbow bolts. This cuts both bolts! Stop making me go back and forth! Why okay. don't you listen to me? Because no! I'm not go They're in here! They're on the shelf! Oh my god. What a bumpkin those crossbow bolts are! <sighs> oh, well, I hear trappers. I'm sorry for screaming your ear, everyone, but. You might only hear us during recordings, but I had to live with this woman every single day. I'm scared. I don't even know if I'm meant to be down here at the moment. Well, you're not sneaking. Oh, I'm not? No. <laughs> Remember, you sneak when you do the funny little dance, and you're not doing the funny little dance. Stay there. Stay there, Scrappers. At least I don't think you are. Doesn't look like you are. I mean, I won anyway. I think this is the right place to do this, but I could be wrong. So give me a second, okay? One, two, three, five, listen, six. Listen, listen. <laughs> I don't know which one of these is stronger than us. Uh... I think red. No. Hold on. Um, I could just look up the picture. <gasps> just a second. Hang on, did it work? Oh, I think it worked. Oh, it did? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't here. This wasn't here before. Can I take it? 
There we go. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't there before. That's what I had. It was invisible. Yeah. I have no idea what's in here. I don't know why I shot a bolt like that. Could be anything. Alright, there's a key. Oh, and a big boy who's oh, right there. Oh, jeez! He's right in front of you. Haven't you tried using the shield at all? I would take your face off, sir, but it's very hard. That actually went really well again. Yay! See, these platforms aren't normally here, but the reveal invincible invisible spells still up, so I can cross. Mm. There's a key placed on the pedestal. Pick it up! I got the forgotten corridor key. Let's go. I'd say so numb, but it's not really very numb. Probably should save if yeah, I can. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay, so this room, these are all bone thieves, by the way. So I need to just do this and leave as fast as possible without interacting with them. <laughs> oh dear. Bye! Love you! Do you really? I think you might be lying. They weren't bone thieves, they were just normal people. Oh, so see this? Mm -hmm. The floor here is electric. Oh no. So I need to use... This. I think. Were you supposed to use Mantra? Yeah, this is it. Oh, yes. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter for the shield? I don't know, I'm just hooping it. <laughs> I nearly ran out, you had one bit left, you see. <laughs> oh no. See the rope here? Goodbye. Oh my god. These are new. Oh, what the fuck? That was the world's most abrupt cut scene in history. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, you that's fine. You could examine that. Oh, I, I could? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. see? The lap of every is collapsing in several areas and we need a lot of reinforcement. The workers will have a daunting task ahead of them. I saved us from backtracking. Roboto has now completed the survey of the complex. Now he can return to the surface and report findings to his captor. I'm sure Pius will be really happy and definitely won't kill us. <laughs> this is our get out button. All right, and you can cut here because we got a fucking five minute run back to the surface now. Okay, oh guys. God. I think we are nearly out. And I'm sure Pius will be like, oh my god, give me some pie. That's why I'm called Pius, because I like pie. There's the ladder I was looking for. And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons! You'd be insane to build there. Silence, dog. 
what dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. I keep thinking it's crashed. <laughs> I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you, so be silent. Now you, architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. Well, this is fucking horrible. Yeah. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah, that really is fucked. It must have been a wait, though. <laughs> you know the thing, though, about this game that makes no sense? What? If everyone dies after gathering all the artifacts, how are you supposed to find all the artifacts? Because they're all dead. It's just, it's just And they're all dead, like, to holding on to them. Yeah. The o there's only a handful that actually makes sense because the other guy died, but it was still there. But he had it on him! I guess they could have taken it off of him, but... They didn't show it. I'm gonna show you something now, okay? Because you know what we learned from him? Mm-hmm. We learnt the ability to survey, but I'm not entirely sure how to do it. Somewhere in this room we can survey. Not that. That's a picture, Alex. You weirdo. Uh, is it the crumbling? Here we go, yeah. An unseen force guides Alex's mm -hmm. hands towards the painting, compelling to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back another chapter page already. Sure. A sense of familiarity overcomes her as the chapter page comes to her fingers. So does a realisation that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. Alex has found chapter page, A War to End All Wars. This is the one I've been dreading, baby. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, we probably should have saved as Alex. We haven't started it yet. This is just a cutscene. We haven't read the page yet. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in a matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. Okay, so you're just going to get sacrificed for bringing it up. Right, I'm gonna save now as Alex. And now we're gonna read the page. A war to end all wars, Babylon Kin. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. So in World War One, his grim mm -hmm. task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, oh. now transformed into a field hospital. Okay, so that the cathedral is now a hospital. Excellent. <laughs> I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare, shelling. Machine guns, mustard gas, rip, 
appears burnt to flesh. Men so galled in their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. You couldn't have done that in a less obvious way? You could have put him on a gurney. <laughs> Alright. World War One, here we come. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. A soldier's letter lies on the table waiting to be sent home. I've got a soldier's letter. Let's read somebody else's mail. Letters from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. Oh my god. Poor Margaret. Alright, you ready? Mm-hmm. I was admitted to the hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I'm reminded that I won't be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there is an odd atmosphere around it. Silent, but for the words of the wounded, calling out in the night. There is no doubt it's haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leaving during the day. It's just not right. No goodbyes or farewells. Just an empty bed when you wake. Okay, that actually is- that would freak me the fuck out. Because they're all getting hauled into the pit. I'm guessing so. It definitely sounds very plausible, right? Yes. Alright, there's the altar. Anything else around here? Well, it's actually not an altar, is it? It's like a just a big table thing. Yeah. I guess they I, I guess an altar could look like that, I don't know. Here's an altar. Peter finds a sealed envelope that seems to have left behind. Let's go through someone's mail again. Open it, yes. Got some soldiers' orders. Private Thompson, by order of Lieutenant Hargreaves on behalf of HRH George V, you are to leave our post of, du post of duty and rally in the street outside Ubley Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king. Mm -hmm. Getting the best lost, baby. We need those orders to uh, get rid of a troop to get into another area of the hospital. I don't know why he just doesn't have them, but apparently he needs them. Oh my god, so numb. Oh my god. I'm guessing it's this dude. Hello there. The guard unfolds the orders and begins to read them for exclaiming, Bloody hell, lad, we must be on the offensive! Following the orders, he leaves the <laughs> he takes leave of his post. Because that's how British people talk, Devin. Mm -hmm. As you as you well know. Yes. As a British citizen. A British citizen? Mm -hmm. I am one now, by the way. Oh, if wow. you didn't this know. Is, this is the sleeping Ew. <laughs> got a revolver. Oh, oh dear. Well that did not sound good, did it? No. I can't actually see anything. Oh, we're gonna get the time. How handy. They all seem to take this in their stride, don't they? Yeah. Well, this looks shit now. Oh. Oh! Okay. Well then. You run away! I have a revolver with no ammo. This is the only option right now is to run away. I mean, I think you have five shots. I do. Six shots. I do not have a torch either, which is a problem. I think you have, you have to use your camera. Camera. Don't use it down there. It says one use. But the powder. Oh fuck. FUCK! This is probably I don't, I don't even know if you need it here though. Yeah, I think I'll be alright. Cause you still got the lightning every so often, you know? Leave me alone, there's a door here roughly I think last time. Yeah. <laughs> this place seems- I'm losing sanity rapidly here. I mm -hmm. guess I can just heal with, with my sanity, I just keep forgetting that's a thing. Why is my sanity just draining? I don't know, maybe the fucking journalist is not cut out for demonic tomes? 
and all the enemies are still there. That's true. A soldier's letter sits atop a crate of medical supplies. Let's have another read, shall we? I've been here for over a week now, and there's no word when I will be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. At night, the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement or whispers. I've seen war firsthand, and the sounds of the night in the hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Where do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he'd heard cries for help in the middle of the night. Cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said Lance Corporal Haskill has not been discharged but had gone missing. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. Young, young. Okay, I mean, I think there's only... I think that's all we have to get from here. Bloody walls. Always bloody walls. Jammy walls, you mean? Jammy walls, I'm sorry. There it, oh, we can't save here. Shit. It does seem RNG, Maybe here? if you can save. Nope. Mm. Just try it in every room you go to, because you... I... I th yeah, I think if anything qualifying as, like, a threat is in the space, you can't. Yeah. I'm worried about this thing. Because when it makes that noise, it's going to do the jump. Yeah. Try here? Uh, I don't think I can, because there's bone thieves. I can literally see them. Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Every everyone is possessed here! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try, I think, apparently, the flash pan I can use, by the way, so I'm going to use it. Well, okay. I, I figured you could use it, I just didn't know if it was going to... I didn't know if it was for light or for stunning. Oh, for fuck's sake, I qu equipped the fucking thing! That stunned them all for a second, I think. What am I looking at? I have no idea. Oh, there's a rifle. Okay, a rifle lies in the altar, probably discarded by a fleeing guard. A sensible guard, you mean? No, if the guard was sensible, he would have taken the rifle with him. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is the wrong way, anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm stuck. That's right. Hit each other. Stop being so tired. This is not the time to be a, a tired journalist! Oh, well, you could have saved that lady, but you didn't. <laughs> I'm going up here for a second to try and catch my bearings a minute and get my breath back. If it's just rats, it's fine. Okay. Alright. Okay. We need to go back down there. Can you save up here? That's a good point. Yes! Oh, thank fuck. Baby, we're lucky. We lucky? Mm. We definitely aren't now, because the lady's dead. And possessed by the bone crawler. Bone thief, <laughs> baby. Whatever. Just realized that my sanity is non-existent. Mm-hmm. And I do not have anything I can finish them. I use the revolver to finish them, or should I use the rifle? I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, you don't really have to. You have a magic spell to regain sanity. Oh, that's true. I'll just do that. <laughs> I only wasted a bullet. You've wasted two bullets. Listen, let me re-wobble my screen, okay? <laughs> All right. This guy has less sanity than the others, by the way. I know. So basically what I'm saying is he's a pussy. <laughs> this is a war journalist who hasn't seen this shit, apparently. I mean, I guess not... Okay, okay, okay. you know what I mean. <laughs> just, 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 just go. <laughs> just go. Hey, I've got some ammo, you know. And more. 
Everything's known. We got guns. And I'd rather the Bone Thief stay inside that lady, to be honest with you, than, uh, you know, just be walking around having a fun time. Oh, we got a sword. Is this the sword that the other guy had the whole time? I think it is. I think it is. That's kind of cool. Yeah. They're always falling to disuse. The shelves once full of books and scrolls and now ripe with dust bearing nothing but trash and debris. Anything else up here is worth grabbing? Oh. Or some more revolver ammo. No rifle ammo, but shit tons of revolver ammo. No, you picked up two lots of rifle ammo, and this is the first revolver ammo we picked up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but I don't think it was loads either way. Go away. Go away. Oh no. I've got the, I've got the hang of throwing them now, I think. See? Goodbye! We're not friends with these people, they'll be okay. We're not friends with them. It's gonna go down here where it's probably not safe. Nowhere is safe anymore. Everywhere's just bum, really, let's be honest with you. I hear bumpkins making grumbly bumbly noises. D okay. A desk kept meticulously clean. Peter is surprised that it's not more chaotic for a frontline hospital. After all, isn't this where the death certificates are written? Probably not. No. I didn't even see this door. More, we're getting a load of ammo. I mean, that's a good thing. But well, I've got a sword. I like swords. The melee so far in this game has been way better than uh, the ranged. You know what I mean? I mean, you say that, but the crossbows come in handy a couple that's times. That's true, with the little thingies. I wouldn't use uh, the guns if I needed rapid sort of uh, anything. There's trappers in here, I can hear him. Okay, I think I wasted one bullet there, but that's not too bad. Okay. Okay. We're fine, all right? <laughs> I like being able to see. Old, rusty, but faithful for many years, a coal burning boiler provides heat and steam to the cathedral complex. There is currently no pressure being diverted to the generator. Should Peter turn the wheel? Did that do something? No, no. What's my sanity like? I'm gonna get it back, I think. Hmm. Can I save it? Yes. Oh my god, baby. What is this? I don't like you saving over the same thing. Well, I'm trying to save the Alex slots, like you said. Oh, please don't be a fuse box puzzle. Perched on the wall behind the generator is an open faced fuse box. A fuse appears to be missing. There is no sign of where it could be. Dun dun dun. Da 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 dun. It's okay though, you know why? Why? Because we can use our lucky penny as a fuse, apparently. In a rush of inventiveness, Peter jams a lucky penny in place of the fuse. Amazingly, it works. The fuse has been replaced. Huh. Oh, well, obviously you're gonna die now, because you gave up your lucky penny. Find a penny, pick it up. All the day, you'll have good luck. Oh my god, see the hole here? You know what we need? What? A little trapper. Oh my god. So much. Let 
the trapper living his best life? I'm doing my best. It's a very I'm short. trying so hard. I have to get rid of that body. I don't know why. Open the door. Oh, was that there before? Yes! <laughs> I did not see it at all. The body was blocking the door, ah, sweetie. Circle oh, we got we got the seven time spell. That's so numb. But we're going to not use that very often because it takes a long time to cast. Mm -hmm. So it's mainly for certain situations. You know what I mean? Mm. I guess you could eat. You don't need that, right? You could have missed it. Yeah. The rooms used to store coal for use in the steam boiler that powers the cathedral generator. Small piles are all that's left. An almost endless war. A resupply is a long way off. Dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun dun Can you make your own coal? I know you can make charcoal. What's the difference know. between charcoal and coal? Hang on, was there a generate? Was there something? Well, in I guess one is like a rock and one is a uh, wood, maybe. I don't know. Let's go back now, I think. We've made amazing progress, baby. Amazing! I will say, this level's definitely been the most like the previous level level. You know what I mean? What the fuck am I doing up here? Why did uh, I come up here? Oh, okay, yeah. The second thing I just said. Baby, I don't know where to go. Well... You have this magical thing. A piece of very old paper sits in the pipe organ, callously misplaced and forgotten. I found some sheet music. I don't think it's callous. How do I use the sheet music? Can I use it? Oh my god, this guy's right behind me, being a bumpkin. Is he gonna numb me? Maybe. Okay, so it's somewhat tattered. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill these guys, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get out of it at all. Oh dear. Now we can How play. How did they make organs play? Uh, like, like pedals? Oh Jesus Christ! Well, there goes that. <laughs> How the fuck is he alive? That would have sliced him to pieces. Uh, should Peter play the organ? Yes. Oh, what the fuck is that note? Oh, what was the missing note? Da, 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 don't mind me. I got it right! Oh, you got it? <laughs> yeah! I was trying to think of the tune. I'm. There's the one thing I'm good at, baby, is music puzzles. Yeah. It's the only type of puzzle that I can actually function with. Oh, there's more bone thieves in here now. Excellent. Although you are getting a bit out of tune as you get older. Could be dead here, by the way. Uh, pick up the door handle, sure. Oh. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? I'm gonna go down here to get my sanity back. And then we'll discuss this. <laughs> I used the heal spell instead, whoops. Well, oh, I, mean, I needed it anyway. You, you needed it. I thought that rat was an enemy, I nearly <laughs> shot myself! I think it's bullshit you get such a little fucking sanity back. Oh my god, that was awful. This character is a pussy. Okay, I need a minute, I need a minute. God damn it, these fucking things. Okay. Alright, so now we need to do a seven point reveal invisible spell on that wall upstairs. That has the thing. Okay, so I guess we would have needed it. Yeah, the, the whole sword's time. really good. Like it's one of the best weapons in the game I've noticed. But it's just like, um, you know. So what color do I need it to be? If that's if it's green, red, right? I believe so. So reveal invisible. Why isn't the thing here? Did I not pick it up? Did you not? Or do I need to? I need to do a new spell. That's why. All oh, right. How the fuck do I do a seven point reveal invisible spell? <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, so I need Nakarath and Red Gormor, and then the other, the filler rune. I think. Okay. 
Let's try. Then it's Nakara. And Red Gorma, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna be this. Yeah, I did it! Well done. Okay. I've got it, I'm ready now. We did it! Okay. This should work. If this is the right color, this will work. Yeah! Yay! And there's a door without a handle that just came in. Which is handy, because we have a handle. On the situation. Do we though? No, I'm probably gonna die really soon. Oh wow, giving us a lot of ammunition that I have not been using, because the sword is way better than all the guns. <laughs> I don't know if the game wants us to use the guns or what, but it's so fucking weird. Gonna drop a safe here. Everything's numb. We got this, okay, baby? Mm-hmm. Let's do this. I believe in us. I don't like the red filter for the reveal invisible that's covering the screen at the moment. It makes me think I'm dead. Mm. <laughs> oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I killed it. That's right, hit each other. My sanity's non-existent, shit. Oh my god, they're all bone thieves! I can't fight them! I'm just gonna go through this door. If I go through this door, I might be alright. <laughs> Everything about this is hell, I hate it! <laughs> go away, rat! I keep thinking you're an enemy! Everything's fine. The wall's bleeding, but that's fine. This, this it's, it's all just, no. it's just a jammy situation, right? Oh, great. It'll be fine, maybe. It took off my sanity in one hit. Literally one. I healed instead of doing my sanity. I'm an idiot. Stop targeting the arms and target the fucking head! Nearly there, we're nearly there, but this guy's gonna... Oh, thank fuck, he killed the zombie. Where's the head? I got it! Give me sanity! Give it to me! Oh, okay, your sanity is not as important as your health. I don't know why you keep thinking it is. Oh, because if your sanity is empty... No, 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 I understand damage. that, but we have a health recovery spell! <laughs> we have a sanity recovery spell, too. Yeah, but you should recover... Your health in this situation before your sanity. We did it. We won. I don't care about anything else. We won. I had a power, but we won. Oh my god, this is so stressful. When there's enemies around and your sanity's gone and your health is in two percent, you get the health back, not the sanity back. Okay, where did I come in? I don't know. I'm busy nagging you. Don't nag me, that's very rude. Well, here's the thing, you don't listen to me when I try to talk normally, so I have to nag. I've got to come go through the south door, but I can't tell where I am on the map, which makes this incredibly confusing. I guess this is the lower bit, so it's the one opposite this? Maybe. This one? Maybe. Okay, we're fine. I hear trappers. I hear trapper keepers. I hear them, baby. I can't see any more. There's one. Why can't I shoot them with any of the guns? There we go. The, this gun is like super inaccurate. It's weird. Then yo. Well, there's the flask that we need, I think. 
A milky blue bottle stands on the altar. I found a magical elixir. Yeah, don't use that. Ever. Yeah. Ever, ever. Now we have to go back. Not all the way though, just to the next room. The trappers, I can't, I'm starting, they're starting to grow on me. They just want to take you on a little trip somewhere, you know, they're not trying to be bum. Yeah. They're just like, oh, well, this is all they say, oh, well, oh, well, like that. Oh, well. Hmm. So it should be the other door that's up here, this one. Oh, hi. I'm out of bullets. This is an issue. I know. Don't go through the- <laughs> Oh no, no, Ken. BUMS! I mean, it's not that big a deal, but BUMS! Purple, right? Yeah. Oh, this one, okay. I thought it was not doing purple for a minute. I was about to be like, oh no. I'm really bummed now. Yeah, all those plat- there's like a magic restoration and a sanity restoration thing. Mm. I'll oh, sanity restoration when I get out. there was a person, dude. Yeah, he's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. I mean, we could have just gone on the restoration stuff and didn't need to use the magic. I mean, that's true. But, here we are. Yeah, that one died really easily. I like it when that happens. All right, a tattered letter lies on the chair. We got soldier's letter. It's been two weeks since Haskell went missing and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed, drugged and delirious in the dead of night, never to be seen again, as Haskell was, perhaps as I will be. What happened to them, I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken to the darkness. They're feeding the big demon thing with it. There's something yeah. yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You know. This is the... the, the, the okay, so uh, the shelf appears to be recessed into the wall. This is exactly the same dialogue as before. Not quite as flush as the others in the room. Could we slide it? Yes, we could. Oh, my goodness. This has never happened before. <laughs> Look at the way he walks. <laughs> I can't touch it, can I? But the problem is with these narrow corridors, it's very hard not to touch it. It's okay, though. Just a quick jaunt to the other dimension. It's more of an inconvenience than anything else. Because it's relatively simple to dodge this stuff normally. Dear. You guys can just both fuck off and give me my sanity back, alright? <laughs> well, not you, okay? Because I couldn't hit you for some reason. <laughs> you broke him into too many pieces. Oh, great. Cheap. The trap is there. Just move. Move, little guy. I love you. I love you. <laughs> A key. I got the binding hall key. Okay. We're gonna ruin some bindings! The corridor is ended by an elaborate door decorated in a manner of much different than others within the cathedral. Peter senses an unbearable evil beyond the door. When he reaches it to open it, fear creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. We're going to open the door, because we need to. Oh my god, the graphics. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, because he's guarding one. Yeah. I forgot about that. Hi. I think the hardest is a chick, actually, but still. It's 
an abomination. I don't think it matters. I cast the wrong one, fuck! It's gonna be an issue, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. I ran into it. I didn't expect him to preempt. Oh my god, how do I dodge that? I think you just need to be constantly moving. I died. Yeah. Alright, first phase done. Oh boy. Now the room gets smaller and shit gets even shitter. So it's gonna start summoning babies. That's rude of it. Look at these bumpkins, Bubby. Oh no, is it gonna still be attacking us while we're running about? Alright, it's gonna be fine though. It's gonna be fine, okay? Okay. I believe, baby. Do you believe in me? Mm. Please say yes. Okay, yes. I tolerate it. <laughs> <laughs> No. Why well, fucks up? I think you fucked it up. Well, I didn't kill him, but I killed them. All right, that's fine. Probably should get sanity back because every wave he summons is gonna lower my sanity. All right, what are you gonna do next? Are you gonna summon more, or are you gonna just stand there like a twat? Summon more, summon more. this. Okay. I think this is going to work if I do it this way. I fucked up. We need to be closer. Well, I wasted all my mana again. Don't know when he's going to do this shit. I might do the smaller a cast I am. More babies. Here he's coming, he's coming again, he's coming again. I'm gonna try it as the third one spawns, alright? Mm -hmm. Please glow. Please glow, you fuck. That didn't count, he was just a No, I got him! I no, got you him! Did. You did. Oh my god, I got him. So we gotta wait for the last one to spawn. I don't really need this camera angle right now, game. It's lovely, but. Oh fuck. I didn't know he was going to attack me. Please. I got too close, I guess. Yeah. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright, here they come again. After the third one spawns, yeah? Yeah, but I think you can't be too far away. But you can't be too close. Okay. Come on, glow. Glow, you fuck. I think this is too far. Oh, no, I was wrong. Got them all! Yes! Phase 3! Oh, okay, maybe it is just based on, like, when the spawn time. Now shit's gonna get really real. Oh, <laughs> boy. Alright, you ready, baby? No. Just keep moving. I think I'm just gonna keep moving here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. When he glows, it should give me time to attack, hopefully, here. Please glow. Please, any time now. Yes! I think I got it in time. Oh, please. Yes! Oh, my god, Bubba. Oh, I was a bit like moving there, I just shot myself. Oh my god! Get tired again? Nope! Not tired yet! Oh yeah! Now you are! <laughs> this might be it if I hit him! Nope! 
One more. Do I have enough magic? Yeah. Because I'm moving around so much in this phase. <laughs> Please don't get tired, main character. Come and be your name. Peter. Peter. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> don't think it really matters at this point in time. Yeah! Yay! Did we do it? We did. Oh my god. The boss is defeated. We are definitely gonna die anyway. <laughs> uh. The boss is gonna reach up out of that hole and drag us down. I know it. He probably is. Or what's his zombie face is gonna show up? Pious. With the Guardian of the Zelthath's vanquished and the stained glass that kept it hidden lying in pieces, the essence of Chapurga is now liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter. He approaches cautiously. Peter reaches out the artifact but pulls away as he feels corrosive magic close on his hand. Wrapping his hands in a shred of clothing, he carefully lifts the artifact from its resting place. 60 years later. I think he does survive, actually. 69 years he later. He does survive. Oh! That oh. was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I And there's Grandpa. Is that statue. Mm. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should... Did he say interest instead of interest? Mm. I'm amazed you made it. Of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual I objet d'art. I don't like how he said that. That didn't look good. No, it didn't. But everything seems to be okay, so uh, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Having stopped reading, Alex discovers a small penny taped to the back of Peter's chapter page. Oh! I guess it was because he had his lucky penny, even though he gave it up. What? To be continued. Oh, this is a sanity effect. <laughs> 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 That's funny! It really got me. That, I was that... like, Did I break the game? <laughs> that got me, that got me good. That got me good. All right, before we do anything else, let's save so we never have to do that fight again. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're back. Uh... With the wonderful Alex. Yes? What are you saying? Nothing. You We're should. good. We're good. Go on. Find all the things. Well, I, I don't really know what things I'm looking for particularly, but we'll find out later. Oh, hello. Please help. Oh. Okay. You okay? You went back to your job pretty quick. Oh. Well, it was probably just jam, so that's why. Because jam is stickier than blood. Yeah. Probably. I don't really know too much about blood, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Oh my god. We're in the basement, baby. And we got a shotgun. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is unprecedented, this amount of shotgun. This. Oh my god. And we have a fuse box. Okay. One of the fuses is broken. Let's use the lucky penny to fix it, just like in the previous level. Alex is not dead somehow. So numb. So numb. And now a magic note has appeared upstairs. Oh my god. Oh, there's more ammo. No, 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 Alex. There's more ammo. Come here. I say, it's a good numkin. <coughs> Bless you, numkin. Oh, my God. Ugh. Prism's dying. I am. It's so sad. The saddest, one might say. Don't you think? 
Everyone watching? The saddest one. The saddest of them all. Oh well. Why is there shit all over the floor here? The Journal of Maximilian Rovius. Let's have a quick read of that, shall we? Uh, I sought to love all, yet now love causes me pain and suffering. I've learned to fear nothing, although it's nothing that I must fear. That I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. Well, he was having a happy time, wasn't he? We have an antique medicine cabinet with a creeper face, baby. And, oh my god, would you know it, it's the next chapter page from the tome of eternal bumness. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. I don't think that little thing is overly intimidating considering we killed the giant black shadow guardian of doom. Yeah. That was the first thing we killed. Oh, Everything hello. Everything is complete for your arrival, master. Now we must wait for the planets to align. And that is not too many years from now. Another Roybus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. It is only a place for me. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Pray to me anyway. Oh, well. What an insecure deity, what a surprise. I mean, that's really common. Have you read the Bible? That's true. Does my bum look big in this portal? <laughs> Alright, let's use the Legacy of Darkness chapter page. A Legacy of Darkness. Spooky dooky. Pay no attention to the green. My education in psychiatry did not. I'd love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. I love trees. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers that one's to my depressing, family's no? sordid, bizarre <laughs> That is- oh my god, there's <laughs> someone hanging in there! excitement that I began my search. Look at that face. The mansion's history was filled with my colourful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. Oh my god. You know one thing I will mark against this game? What? I really wish it focused more on the family itself because it was presented in the beginning as like this family story. But only like, like two this characters limit... from the family. Or yeah, three. but two. Three, three, three if you count Alex, but two otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, you just had one guy because the, here's the thing about history. If anyone looked at their family line, you are almost 100% going to find someone who is convicted of witchcraft. You are almost... It's extremely likely you're going to find someone who was committed for some reason or another. It's just... Especially back then, it was extremely easy for those two things to happen. Because it, would, it could just be about, like... Uh, oh, I want that guy's land. He won't sell it to me. He's a witch! <laughs> Kill him! <Fair. coughs> An old musty book bound in dry, dusty leather. The book covers the early history of the Robius family. There's something between the pages. I got a hand, a minute hand of a clock, baby. Oh, my God. I'm surprised it stayed in the book all this time. It's a big book. Oh, hello, Maximilian. Oh. Handling it remarkably well. As... <laughs> he, looks, he looks like a weird version of Santa. I thought that too. <laughs> Though you are doing your best not to believe it, I am or was Maximilian Roybus, your ancestor. Oh my god. I died in an asylum after trying to warn the world. The pain and anguish I felt in that cell has empowered me. 
complete what I started, Edward. The darkness must be stopped. Oh, no. All of humanity may end. Not the manatees. Sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. Okay, well, we need another clock hand. But the first of all, we got this. We got the magic pool spell, baby. Oh my god. So this spell, we already did some research on, right, baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you should save. <laughs> Where is my spell book? Oh, we haven't got the Time of Eternal Darkness. No. But you should save. Hmm. Sounds sussy to me. No. <laughs> Maybe? Mm, how about you just do the one with the this, Peter this by himself? Yeah. 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 I am a new king, I'm gonna find a home And maybe some weapons and other things as well Cause that's what I do Oh my god You just an old numpkin? I am a little numpkin, yes I didn't say a little Am I a big numpkin? I said old Old, excuse me Excuse me <laughs> I am definitely not that <laughs> I've got a saber out to poke people's bums as I run around now Teach the servants how to serve <laughs> That's right. Why, That's by right. killing them? Yeah, by poking their bumps with the sword. But you'll kill them. No, it's it's okay. Are you already worn out? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm knackered. <laughs> the characters in this game get far too tired, far too fucking easily. What's in here? What? Some ammunition. Ooh. I love ammunition. For a shotgun and some other things that we don't have at the moment. Perfect. What I need, though, is a clock hand, more importantly. Where do you think we'll find one? Uh, maybe in here? No. Not in here. <laughs> maybe in here? Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> something dear. Here we go. Here's another family but journal thing. Dear. I love historic journals, baby. Oh my god. Especially ones with a clock hand inside it. Oh my god. And there was a lot. That's from the recent history of the family, by the way, because yeah. Minximo didn't want to read it. I mean, there's not a lot, dear. It just says it's about but the recent history. There's something on the table. Where? Go. See? Maybe. <laughs> we don't have an elephant gun, though. Well, it's fine. Maybe we'll get one eventually. There's no elephants. You ever thought about that? Checkmate. What at all? Elephants don't exist. No, there's no. Not in this. Not in this canon. I think I like. Excuse me. I'm having a bit of a stroke. No, you know. I mean, no, I'm not. I think it would be a lot more serious if I actually was. Okay, let's put the hands on the clock, okay? Mm-hmm. Hand number one. It'd be great if it just automatically did it, but I guess this is a pretty old game. You can't just smash everything to, for your problems. Listen, the ghost asked us to show just a clock. Should we do it? Yes. And you can smash everything. There we go. 333. And we follow Santa into there. And he'll give us a gift, baby. The gift of gnomes. I don't think this is the gift of gnomes. He's gonna totally touch our bum when we're in here. See? Look at him. I don't think he is. I think Take the book might. And use them. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward. And avenge my waste. Oh no, what a bumpkin! Okay, you don't need to that. You don't need the sound effects. <laughs> what is a revolver? Revolving doors. <laughs> don't know what that means. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the tome of eternal darkness. He's like, oh, bad things happen when I touch this book. Maybe I should use it more. Maybe I should carry it around with me everywhere. 
Who knows? Who dares to dream? There's something there. Where? In the book. In the bookshelf. Oh. More elef Why do I have a, the problem with spotting elephant gun ammo? You think elephant gun ammo would be like the biggest ammo of them all. But apparently not. Which is bum! Apparently not. I am Edwin, a crusted universe. Alright, now we have the tome. Before I do anything else. Let's go to our spell list. Okay. And you see we have magic pool. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to assign that to this one. And then we're going to cast it. You ready? Wow. That took a lot of magic. It did. But our magic's going to regenerate very fast while we have it. Maybe. Oh, hello. Oh. I think that might be a, like, Cthulhu-esque vampire. Oh, dear. Are you... Are you serious? We needed a vampire to knock over a vase to figure out there's something in it? Yes. Listen. Consider this your severance, young lady! <laughs> I mean, you're not... Oh, okay. There we go. Severed! <laughs> oh, look. A part of a key. It's the bottom half of the basement key. Oh my god, let's go. I mean, See how at fast that the point, is coming back? At that point, do you really need... I love your lecturing me <laughs> as if I didn't know what it does. Um, <laughs> uh, if you have the bottom of a key, do you really need the top half? Can't you just, like, put some stuff on we it? We have to save this man, baby. Oh, no. You know why? I hope you don't stab him in the face. That would be terrible. <laughs> Listen, I strongly resent this. Don't worry, everyone. This is an inside joke. To the rescue! I hope that didn't take too long. Oh, careful, Jesus! Come over here. Come away from the man. Thank you. There you go, run away. That's right, go back home. Oh no, baby, there's a coffin of some kind or a statue in the basement. And it's giving it the suck! That's just rude. So I think it's gonna keep coming back. I bet you're not even paying rent. I mean, that's true. Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives him thanks. He warns the creature might still be around and the extra fire pad might be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. i got the gun cabinet key. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That really is unprecedented, because we know where that is. What are we going to get from the, the gun cabinet? What do you think? I don't know. I think... How come you don't talk to your servants? It's very rude Because I'm above them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tori. Please never call me that. I got an <laughs> elephant gun for shooting elephants. Oh, wow. I'm so happy that I looked on this side of me because uh, an aerated thing was next to a hot heat source. That would have been very bad. That would have been, I would say, Bumbus. Anyway, I, the vampire is going to come for us, so we're going to wait here for it. Okay. Shouldn't do that because it knackers me. <laughs> He's coming. He just opened the door to the hall. My sword's about to run out, though, I think. I'll just recast it, then. Oh, uh, maybe not. Come for me. That's right, come over here. Wow, this does way more damage with, like, the seven, the 7.1. Oh, wow. Not that I would have anything to gauge it with, obviously. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, the token offers you something- the servant offers you something for having spared his life. We did! Saved his life, not spared it. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get ready for the final fight with it, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Here comes the bumpkin. Oh my god. Come on, bumpkin. Where are you? I already hit you before- I, I, I hit him there, like, Yeah! Get wrecked! <laughs> I don't think it hit us, even. No. In desperation to go from Edward, the vampire creature drops the top half of the key on the floor. I got the top half of the basement key. Yay! And now it's down there again. Now we have to go and finish it off there because we have a key to its domain. Okay. Are you telling me 
that we have lived in this house for so many years, and we just n never went into the basement? Well, I guess we did. The basement key could have been, like, lost. I don't know why the vampire had the basement key. I think that's a bit weird. I've got to repair the key quickly. Oh, my God. All right, we're all ready to go down. You ready, baby? Yes. Time to teach this intruder a lesson in being a bumpkin. Let's get rid of this thing first. No, you have to look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it! Oh, never I mind. Need to look at it. I was wrong. I'm ready to, I'm, I'm willing to admit it. I've got it stun locked. Yeah! yeah! Get fucked, <laughs> Vampire Chan! <laughs> Alright, now we can save our game finally. Because the vampire is defeated. Thank fuck. Yes. Couldn't save for that whole time because the vampire was active. Oh, turned the sound up with my boobs there and gave myself uh, a serious headache. We've got a shotgun and some more elephant gun ammunition. Yay. Which we're going to be needing. Oh, there's a scroll here too. What's this? Oh, it's the last scroll I think we needed from every in the whole game, by the way. This is Summon Horror. Ooh. That sounds fun. You can only cast it with a seven point spell. It summons, I think, the vampire to fight for us. So that's pretty handy, right? Yes. Oh my god, I keep turning the sound up with my boobs. Alright, we're going to use the elephant gun here briefly, okay? You ready? Okay. Inside the wall, a crumbling ladder leads down to the cloying darkness. Should Ed Edward go down the ladder? I guess so. Okay. Do you remember this place? Yeah. all of this this is why i wish it was more in touch with like the family to explain it more because right now we only have the one dude i think the i think the thing might be down here the uh the thing that what's his face asked to come after me oh no it's two horrors instead excellent <laughs> and they're the same color so they're not going to fight each other like the previous ones Oh, the elephant gun knocks you over. Yeah, that's what I was laughing at. Oh, I'm, I'm like charmed or something? It was making me walk towards them. Well, I got the gut reload off, I guess. I think it was knocking you forward. Oh my god. Could be in trouble here. My controls are currently reversed. Oh which no. Is a big problem. Did I get the reload off? I can't- I can never tell, if I'm honest with you. I have no idea. No, you didn't. Oh, one died anyway. Reload the gun! God. Well, at least you're OP enough in this instance to survive! <laughs> yeah, I think the shield really helped me there. I got yeah. both of them there. <laughs> oh, jeez. That wasn't actually that bad, all things considered. Maybe this thing is just really strong against the uh, Manta Rock? I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh, it's, it is the guy! It is the boss guy! Fuck. Oh, yeah! Uh, we are we are in trouble. Uh, maybe not as big a trouble as I thought. I got the heal off at least. I really wish lo reload. I'm gonna use the shotgun actually. I really wish. Oh, my controls are currently reversed again, by the way, which is excellent. That one's dead. 
All okay, right, now we need good. to go for the other fucker. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, baby, this is intense. Okay, 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 okay. I'm uh, reloading gun takes forever. Yeah, I'm not super sure why. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, it has a shield? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we need to enchant, right? I think we need to dispel the shield or get rid of whatever it just summoned. There we go. What do I do about this? What is going on? I, I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess it was invisible. Come here, you fuck. Hi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess this is technically a boss fight. I guess. But it... It's got a major flaw in its plan. Listen, I wouldn't be complaining. Oh fuck, that hurt. Please land somewhere. Yay! What the fuck was that noise?! <laughs> Well, whatever. <laughs> we did it. Holy shit. You should save. I mean, yes, I should. Uh, over the other Peter. Me. You Don't know why it's called Peter? Hmm? You know why it's called Peter? Why? Because he has Pete's. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? You know who else has Pete's? Pretzel Numkit? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> her jingle jangle. No, she's under the chair. I, I still heard her jingle jangle. <laughs> what is this? Oh! It would seem as though your array itself serves as a massive circle of power. Each switch around the perimeter of this room corresponds to a focusing tower where a rune may be scribed. Once a spell has been scribed, it's magnified by the array. Could this be the Guardian City's weakness? If one could somehow remove the magic from this area. Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! Okay. Okay, there's switches around the room. Where are the switches? These? Are these switches? Yes. Looks like I need to turn them all on. Or maybe not. I guess just the one switch? Okay, well, I'm gonna try. This might just kill me or something. Baby, I have no idea where we're going. I know. This looks, uh, like something. Try to think of the technical term. Oh, we got a, a paragon room. Did I, did I win? Um... What? I don't really know what's going on. But we're going new places and that can only be a good thing. That's not a good thing. <laughs> that is not a good thing. That's really not a good thing. <laughs> Alright. I hate that mechanic. That I can't reload the gun that is not equipped. I know why it is. But it's still bum. Oh, there's trappers in here. You hear him? Controls are reversed. I took two of its heads off. I just wish it would turn slightly so I could get the third one. 
Dickhead, I had you! <laughs> oh my god, he didn't reload. And he won't reload, even though it's I've got ammo! I don't understand sometimes how the reloading in this game works. I mean, it's just crap, really. <laughs> how are you not dead? He has two faces. I reloaded! What?! <laughs> I- I reloaded, okay? Alright, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, that's one down at least, right? Yes. I think that- is that another one of the really strong ones over there? I can't really tell. Oh wow, he fucked me up quite a lot, actually. Alright, we have magic draining floor. Excellent. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright. We're fine. Everything's fine. Don't get stuck on the wall, though, little guy. Where's it gone? Oh, it died, because it did the thing. <laughs> Nerd. Alright, I've got to go down and face whatever this thing is. But before I do, okay, I'm going to... I can't save. What I wanted to do was magic pool and shield if I can, okay? Mm. Magic pool first, at least, right? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. hate you so much, Edward. Something's coming. What is it? Uh, what is it? Okay, so I have to do a five-point dispel magic again. Jesus. Do I have enough to do that already? Let's try. Got it. Got a reload. Is it dead? No, it's... Fuck off. <laughs> if that spell still goes off, that's cheating, by the way. Whoops. Hi! How's it going? Chase it down, baby! It was trying to shield itself again, by the way, then. Yeah. Oh my god, just land. I don't have all day. Please. Please? Please, Nomkin? <laughs> We're friends, right? I wish copyright music... I wish the music industry wasn't such assholes because I would love to just have the Benny Hill music as you run around following this light. It is it is very Benny Hill. Hi. And again. Chasing these is dumb. Like, it's so obvious where it's going and all you have to do is shoot it again and it moves. You can't go around the whole me. room again, isn't it? Oh no! Hi! At least another one, though. Yeah. Oh, hi. Didn't know that was there. Hi. Legendary. Why don't you guys stand in that? That would fuck me. At least for a few seconds. I've lost it. Where'd it go? You dead? Yeah, you are. Yay! At least I think you are. Maybe not. Nope, not dead. Not dead. It's dead now. Now it's dead. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> you should see if you can save. I, I, I have. Don't worry. So right now. 
I can't save actually. Okay. All right. I think there should be a lever somewhere here. Do you here. like Open how Minx tries to gaslight me when I'm still here? <laughs> I never try and gaslight you. I will say, with the regens and the shields and stuff, combat is getting a bit easier. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of using it effectively. I do like the symbol can't keep up with me, though. <laughs> I am so tired. <laughs> I'm just a sleepy little symbol. Oh, well, it's gone. So let's uh, cast that again before we continue. I keep forgetting which direction it is. Sorry. Okay, guys. This might be the last one. Maybe. Probably we're, not. We're not sure. But we cut back just in case. I think it is! Oh my god. By pure chance, I picked the right one! Unless it's gonna show this and then it's gonna be like an explosion because you got it wrong. That's true, that's true. Oh, please. Looks like the final door has opened. This also looks really bad. Edward's meddling with the erasers, conjure up incredible urges. Now building up inside the city and can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. Can I save here? Yes. Okay, do not save over what we just did in case you did it wrong, so... <laughs> I'll save... I'll save over this one, because we've still got another one there of his. Uh, we've still got this one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, don't well, worry. No, no, okay, it's fine. I'm perpetually worried. No idea where I'm going now, by the way, so this could be interesting. I'm so worried we did it wrong. Oh, there's a lot of trappers here. It's the, basically to delay me, I'm sure. You know what I mean? Mm hmm If this is timed. We did cut out a lot here, by the way, guys, but it was basically just this. About 50 times. Yeah, it was a, it was a lot. Reload the gun, you dipshit! I'm really glad I had the revolver out then. <laughs> go, 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 go. Alright. What the fuck am I doing here? This is out, this, that was down. In this room, I think. We've been here a lot. A lot, right? Yeah. It was just a lot of running between rooms and tedious fights involving these things. I think we can just exit now. That's what I'm doing, alright? Mm hmm. This would seem like a good idea to not be in this city at yeah. this present point in time. Does seem like that would be a good idea. Gotta go up the stairs, sweetie! <laughs> go, 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 go. Edward, run! Run! Run, you fuck! Okay, we did it, I think. Yeah, we took out the city. <laughs> 48 years later. <laughs> Just went along with my life, that's fine. The ancients got this real lack of, like, time. Which I guess makes sense. But you wait 48 years and for him to procreate before you come and take him away? It's been a long fucking time. <laughs> chapter complete. That took two and a half hours, that chapter. <laughs> yep. Do you bring news of disaster, Augustus? Yes. Your colony of guardians in the ruins of Engar has been eradicated. A great magic wrought massive destruction there. Not a single guardian escaped. Your concern is touching, but out of place. There are other guardian colonies. The loss of one is meaningless. That is the only disaster you report? Yes, my magnificence. There are no others. And what of your treachery to us? Treachery? 
And elevate yourself to our level. The future has unfolded before me through a vision. One of my many visions. I like her voice acting a, a lot. of my conquering the absent horror. Uliath, the master of the planes. The magic of the planes is no match for the power of the mind. And thus, it will be destroyed. Then the gate shall be opened. And you shall once again grace the earth with your presence. Okay then. Well, that was an experience, that chapter. It's a note from Edward we just found. My sanity is almost zero. Okay, we have a hidden note we just received from Edward. Mm hmm. So let us uh, check that out. A small note written on the page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Dear Alex, I've left you a small surprise to keep you going when everything seems to go awry. It was my favourite tipple and there are several barrels of it in the basement. Please help yourself to what you can find. My guess is you will won't, that I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Is he just saying get drunk, lol? Yeah. Okay, and we want... Well, that's just rude. That's just so rude, baby. Alright, we're gonna now have to contend with enemies in Alex's sections too. Mm -hmm. Well, I say Alex's sections, there's only two sections left of the game anyway, so you know. Uh, let's get going! Mm -hmm. We gotta go to the basement and get some of the alcohol, obviously. I mean, I think Alex could do with a drink after the day she's had. It's definitely been one of them, isn't it? It's definitely been one of those days. Yeah. Uh, basement is this one. There's something stashed between the barrels of the port. Should Alex pull it out? Yes. I've got a pickaxe, which is spelt wrong. <laughs> Don't worry. So, I don't know if you remember, Red, but last time we were upstairs, you actually mentioned there's an obvious secret door. Mm -hmm. We need to use the pickaxe on that. Alex, oh, like, stop being tired. This isn't the time to be tired. It's not the time to be tired, Bubby, is it? I hate stamina in all games. That's true. Was this corridor always covered in shit? I don't know. I love how we have to use a pickaxe and we can't just, like, use a kitchen knife. Even though it's obvious, right? Yeah. Like, look, there was a door here. <laughs> he was totally sane. So what was the reason for that? I don't know. We have a red dispel magic field here. So what color is the opposite of red? Blue, I believe. All right. Uh, I think it's five points. So we need a blue. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I need dispel magic. Cast five point blue. Let's try that. That worked. Yay, Excellent. I remembered. An antique stethoscope seemingly accidentally dropped into a pile of ash glints brightly in the light of the room. Should Alex retrieve it from the bed of ashes? I hear bad things, by the way. A scrap of paper unmarked by the fire lies amidst the burns and ashes. Should Alex retrieve the piece of paper? A journal of Maximilian Rovius.
This is a page for Maximilian Revis journalists. Contemplated these ideas, my suspicions of my servants grew, and I became increasingly fearful of them. I began to watch them carefully. Days ago, I watched one of them stretch his neck. I could have sworn I saw it twist in a most peculiar discretion. Direction. And a bulge of muscle tissue collect and grow in the most incorrect of manners, as if it were a bone being displaced from its proper location, and something else moving in its place. I stumbled away, knowing I was surrounded by unholy creatures, all the skins of mortal men and women. I had to take action. Dear God, let me hand be swift and merciful, lest the world see more of these diabolical creatures. I've got a feeling he killed just a bunch of innocent people. Oh, yeah. Totally. Because he was off his fucking... Yeah. Tits. <laughs> Alright. Well, that sounds like... Bad. That sounds like a bone thief, bad. I hear a lot of trappers. Yeah. Like a lot. Any more? Any more of you? Hello. Oh, the walls are bleeding. I went the wrong way. I got distracted. By the bleeding walls? Yeah. Or just by the bumper skins everywhere, really. Hello. Probably should stop using a gun. As I have the Gladius. That seemed like the most sensible of ideas. Well, there's a lot of enemies here now. I guess we're getting our stamina back pretty. It's uh, sanity back. Mm. Pretty easily here. Yeah. It's very rude that they've waited this long to actually show up and start being bumpkins, though. Don't you think? Mm, I mean, I would like if they just stayed away. But it's very rude. Alright, so there's a safe here, and now we have a stethoscope, so we can open it. Did I pick up the stethoscope? There it is. Mm -hmm. Fuck for that. Oops. Now Alex has the stethoscope. She can easily hear the tumblers inside. To open the safe, the dial can be heard to the right. The dial should be turned to the right using the tumblers. Can be heard, then turned to the left until the same sound's heard. And finally, the right. Oh no. There we go. So, it didn't like it when we were doing it fast. <laughs> we had to do it very slowly. As the safe door hinges open, its contents are revealed. Many important items left inside by Edward lay on the shelves. Collect the items. We got the essence of chat. We got a crankshaft. We got a letter from Edward, her grandfather. And we got a chapter page entitled Ashes to Ashes, which is the final chapter page. Is this guy and a torrent of souls along with it young and vibrant yes i have seen it coming a worthy sacrifice i am sure and one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling Sacrifice of souls I make unto thee, great one. The gate shall be ready to be opened, and your freedom shall be at hand. Excellent. All right, let's read the letter from Edward Dear first. Alexandra. Oh. If you are reading this, Alex, then I am surely dead. Knowing that the police will contact my only living relative, I made sure to leave this message for you. As I write this letter, Hyas Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus' plans, but not stopped them completely. He will still try to bring his ancient into this world. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. 
you must gather the artifacts and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Of the artifacts, there are four, but one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. They are the Black Heart of Mantarok, the Claw of Chaturga, the Sigil of Zelototh, the Veil of Ulyauth. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius's, who has had two millennium to prepare his gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. It all rests with you, my dear. I wish you well in this desperate act. I wish I had more guidance for you. But I am at my wit's end, and I feel I am running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Wow. No pressure, huh? <laughs> All right, let's save. Yep. And uh, we'll read... There is a chapter with Alex, obviously, but this is the last historical page. Wherever disaster and death lurk... There is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. So this is the most recent, 1991. This is the Gulf War. nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. Well, that's not good. Too late. <laughs> well, I took out the helicopter too. Oh, we've fallen into the temple. Excellent. How convenient. Oh, that's the pillar, look. Yeah. Oh, that's disturbing. That, that pillar is genuinely creepy. Well, it is until you notice that the texture is repeating. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> the same guy, just five times. He would be dead. I'm sorry. He would be dead. Check for a pulse. I mean, the suits are smoldering, but. Looks like they've been buried alive under tons of concrete. That's not how they'd look. Oh, hi there. Take this. Guard it well. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. Oh. 
Since the danger, Mike protects his hands from the insidious magic by using his coat to carefully pick the artifact from the debris strewn floor. We've got the essence of Ulia. Or whatever you say it. The ruby effigy as well. You won't have these, by the way, unless you pick them up in the previous chapters. Mm. And you didn't need them. They were, like, optional. Can't say it, by the way, right now. Because uh, there are squelchy zombies around. How rude of them. Can you hear them squelching? I do hear them squelching. It's very rude. For some reason we didn't lose sanity there. Okay, now we are. Why did I speak? <laughs> okay, he has less sanity meter than the others, right? And he's a fucking firefighter. He must have seen some shit. Yeah, it is a bit weird. One of these bodies has some stuff on it, so let's look around and see if we can find it. There's another one back there. Here? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a zombie. Oh. Okay, there's a lot of zombies. We can't cast magic at the moment, by the way. Well, no, I know. Because we are Tome alone. Yes. Did you get it? Yes, I do. That was hilarious, right? Maybe. Alright, here. Uh, Desiree corpse lies sprawled on the temple floor, dressed in desert combat fatigues. A rifle, pistol, variety ammunition lay around. The soldier appears to have gone down fighting. Should he collect the weapons? Damn right, I should. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are tooled the fuck up at the moment. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to game, I wanted to equip this. All right, okay. Oh, it's a gatekeeper. I want to shoot you, you fuck. Nope. We dancing? We dancing? Parkon. I'm paralyzed right now. Get fucked. I don't think. Oh, it worked. Yeah, it worked, yeah. That worked really well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> While it was casting, I just unloaded on its fucking. Because it's weak from behind. Mm. Uh, or when it opens its wings. So while it just stood there casting, I just completely wrecked it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, let's go down the little ladder. Alright, hang on. Do I have, a we I have an axe? Let's use this to... Uh... There are more hunters though. Not hunters. What are they called hunters? The little thing? Trappers. Yeah, trappers. Oh wow, there's a lot of shit up here. We have a lot of uh, ammo, by the way, which is good. Oh, there's two of them! Never seen that before. This could be really bad. Oh, they're summoning. They're summoning the fucking little things. I can't target the right one, unfortunately, so I'm in trouble here. Why are you not targeting anything? Oh no! <laughs> you could just leave. I the can't room. do anything here. I got teleported out by the trapper. Is that well, the worst thing? That might have been for the best, I suppose. Well, that was horrible, right? <laughs> I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna run past them, okay? Same way that card decided to run past our house. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some sanity back from these fucks, alright? Because I think that's a good strategy, because we need it. You do remember that there are regeneration pools in this world. I do, but that requires going to them. <laughs> and I'm a lazy bumpkin, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> We're gonna just grab this thing here, right? This, it's got this amulet, mm -hmm. okay? Pick up, and then then we're gonna leave. 
Goodbye. Because <laughs> that's all we actually needed up there. So I don't know why I was trying to fight them. Okay. <laughs> you could just sneak past the trappers. Just sneak past them, do you say? Yeah. Yeah, but that's boring. <laughs> and we need the stamina, the uh, sanity. Pretty badly at the moment, let's be do real. Do we? Do we? I mean, This yes. is a spooky game and you haven't let yourself go crazy like once. <laughs> I will say, we haven't really had that many sanity effects, right? That's because you're always just like, no, I need sanity. Even if I'm going to get pelted in the face. <laughs> like, most of what we had is just bleeding walls, which is, you know... Okay, so they're a bit jammy. They're very jammy. Alright, we'll go here. We've got a battered staff. I guess we'll take this as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now, what we do is we take these two and mix them together. And we have a staff. Oh my god. We're gonna do some very traditional... And so we just have some glue in our back pocket? Yes, we're fun, but of course we have glue. <laughs> fun always bring glue. It's in the rules. Should be a beam of light in here. This is literally like out of Indiana Jones, by the way. This. <laughs> this is. Li I'm not kidding. It's almost the same scene. I'm not really sure what I need to do here, though. So. Uh... Probably that. All right. Let's go. Let's try. Let's try hitting the domes first. All right. This is very fiddly to control, as you can may maybe ever tell by the fact that I'm. Oh, okay, that set fire to it, hang on. Please stay on it. There you go, there you go, there you go. It's one. Oh, they're revealing mirrors when we burn the domes. Okay, and then we hit the middle one, I think, and it'll hit the mirror then. Yeah. Okay. Really glad that was automatic, if I'm honest with you. All good. I remember, baby. So no. Oh, we're gonna get the book. <laughs> Ignore the screaming faces, everything's fine. Oh, okay, now we have to go down again, because we didn't actually go down the ladder. What the fuck is that noise? I don't know. <laughs> Trappers. we're gonna need this. I ha I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna equip this because I have to fucking equip it to reload it. Then I'm gonna reload it because we're gonna need it. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Okay. Oh, maybe I'm completely wrong actually about where the fuck I am. Oh, that was... Well, I guess we're going insane. This is what I was worried about. My sanity is gone, so my health is getting fucked. Oh, we have the tome! I forgot we had the tome! Yeah, we have the tome. Okay. 
Okay, that one's dead. I can't remember anything I'm doing. This will do. Are you fucking kidding me? You absolute prick. That's right. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> oh wow, you have like no magic either. The sanity effects of that noise, by the way. That's because we're losing our fucking marbles. Yeah. Uh. That's what all that noise was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least we dealt with them. Yay. I'm actually surprised we did. Just run around in a circle. Oh, well, that's just us. <laughs> that's literally just, just us. Let us continue on our adventure. Nothing bad can happen down here. Oh, except it goes to Alex. This could be a sanity effect, actually. It probably is. Grandpa's gonna be a bastard again. It definitely is a sanity effect. Many centuries I've waited for you. You are mine. Don't disappoint me now. I've waited such a long time, Alex. Never! I know what you are. I've seen what happened. We haven't had to speak for ages. <laughs> you can try to fight me, but in the end, you shall succumb to my desires. This is a bit foolish, child. You don't even know your own destiny. Get away from me. Well then. Your sanity's full! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Might need a gun here. Oh, hi. Hi! Oh, that was fast. Hello! Alright, dispel magic. Mm. They, they weren't very intimidating in them, were they? No. Uh, it's green, so we need red. Yes. Is it a five point? I think it is. It is, yeah. An emerald effigy splits on the station. We found the emerald effigy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's unprecedented. So unprecedented. I think we may have gone past the ladder here. I just want to check. I wasn't really paying attention. There we go. Yeah, we'll go up here. Oh, hi. I really wish you'd let me target things I needed to target instead of just being, like, random. Targeting in this is very flaky, you know what I mean? Like, mm. I, I, okay, this is a problem. Okay, thank fuck for that. I hate fighting those so much. <laughs> they are a bit of a pain. I was trying to cut his head off so he didn't grab me from behind. There was another guy just crawling around. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, he left. He oh. had an appointment to keep. Well, that's just rude. I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Edwards, oh, but you're just not a, that important. It's funny this guy's surname is Edwards and our grandpa's name is Edward. I will say this guy's the best at combat I think out of everyone we played. Weird anglerfish. I'm paralyzed. Careful. 
Those guys are pussies when they, once they start casting spells, because you can just wreck them. Mm -hmm. Oh, right in the bum. <laughs> that was in the cheeks. <laughs> that was very rude, if you ask me. Oh, fuck me. They're really close as well. There's a lot of them. They're all dead. Well, that went well, didn't it, in the end? Ah. <laughs> you okay, Bubba? Yeah, the game is just getting really combat heavy, like, ridiculously so. There should be a door in this room somewhere. Here. He is way better at combat than everyone else. I don't really know why, I guess because he's in the Middle East. I was about to say the guy was a soldier, but he wasn't, was he? He was a journalist that happened to be covering the war, right? Yeah. Okay, so... One of these doors should lead to a very important room. I'm not sure which one it is. This might be it, it might not be. So this is, oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. bubba. Thank fuck. might be the right one, it might not be. The base relief depicts a proud warrior. The image is very strong, dominating the part of the room. Below this on a small ledge protrudes from the wall as if awaiting something. Alright, so... See these different altars in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have a blue sorcerer, a red warrior, and a green thing. We need to put the chalices... We need to put, sorry, these things, right, the emerald in the opposite colour, the colour they're strongest against. Okay, so red is blue, right? I should probably save first in case I fuck this up. Yeah, you should. So we need to put the thing that's strong against red. Yeah, so that would be that, blue. Or that red is weak to. Yeah, red is weak to. Red is weak to blue. Maybe, I may have got that wrong. If we die, we can just reload, fortunately, as I just saved, so that's not a big deal. Yeah. Because I'm probably going to die against this. Especially as I cannot hit it for the life of me, yeah. Okay, what, what did I read that wrong? Alright, so, we use Emerald on red. There we go. Oh, oh no, no, I'm kidding. I forgot to turn off the AC. Oh no. Oh no! Where's the thing? I don't know! What did I do with it? I literally I just had it in my hand! It's right here on my belly button! <laughs> Panic! Panic! Alright. Uh, okay. This is... Is this green? Yes. This is green. Okay. And then... This. Okay then. Yeah, we did it right this time. So fancy. Okay, so this is literally all optional what we just did, mm -hmm. but it's to get one of the best weapons in the game that will make this whole level a lot easier. So no. Which we're now going to go and grab. Michael. Shut up. 
cradle on the plinth is an enchanted gladius. Energy rides across its surface. So this weapon will automatically hit the weakness of anything it fights. Oh, that's no. Can I actually equip it? Gladius has a powerful enchantment. This unique can only be wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Light. Isn't that me? Or oh, will Alex get it? I wonder if this is just so Alex can get it. It might be. It might be. Oh, yeah. Uh, this actually makes the final boss fight much easier. Okay. Alright, so there should be a big obelisk in this room over here now. A strange obelisk made from dark granite like material appears in the block in the way forward, but the obelisk has been pervious to all damage. Okay. So, what I need to do here is go to my spell list and summon a trapper. Doesn't really matter which type, I don't think. I think you fucked up. I think I got the wrong one, didn't I? Apparently it was blue. Maybe what the thing meant was the more stronger of whatever the rune was. Maybe. Well, I hear more little trappers. That was close. I think you shouldn't be so afraid of them. They're just little trappers. Little trappers? Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't like them. I no? think you I think you don't like this game. <laughs> I mean that's true. Uh, we've got a shrine fashion disinterred human remains. Resting in the arms of the bone trestle is a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings. We got the bind spell scroll. Which is gonna I be I still wanna see if we can go invisible. We're gonna bind things with it, Bubby. Oh my god. I know, it's unprecedented, isn't it? Should be another door around here somewhere. I mean, there are. It's just you can't get to them. Listen. Oh, hang on. Is there a door down here? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is! They have no heads. Okay, but this is the tutorial on using bind, okay? Mm -hmm. Fortunately for us. Alright. So let me get close. Spell list. Bind. Cast. Why can't I make it more powerful? Because it needs to be a seven point spell. You might need to do this version first. I don't think so. I think I know what to do. Okay? Mm hmm. So, um, this recruits Bancorok and Aratek runes. Okay? Mm hmm. So, new spell. Seven point. Oh, you have to make it. Yeah. What what, what color? It says, again, it should be stronger than our own. I'll go for red. What was it? Bankarok? Mm hmm. And Aratek. And now we use the Paragon Room to fill it all up. And that should. Yeah. Is he going to have enough mana to cast this spell? We'll find out. I guess we'll find out, right? Yeah. Just. Just. <laughs> See, now they they fight each other. Alright, once dead, now we have to finish off the existing one. It doesn't have a head, this one, so we're just going to have to wail on it until it's dead. Why didn't the reload work? Uh, actually, that's a stupid question. Because it never fucking works. Are you sure oh, it, it does have heads. It has yeah, like baby heads. I, I was like, are you sure it doesn't have heads? Because you could select them. 
It has little tiny bubba heads, bubba. I think they've had heads all this time. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> it just looks like they're like little, little poos. Comments are gonna be like, what are you talking about? They don't have heads! <laughs> what do you mean? Listen. There's listen. something there. There. What's this? Okay, a box of explosives, probably left over from the war. I've acquired the plastic explosives. Excellent. <laughs> this is gonna go well for us. There was a ladder somewhere around here. Here. We're gonna need mana again in a minute. See this suspicious looking wall? No, I don't know what you mean. It's completely safe. Uh, where is Reveal Invisible? There we go. Don't know which one we need. Might be here a while. Oh, it doesn't take much mana, at least, this one. Hey! Yeah! Got it first time. Why was it blue for the fucking pillar then? I don't understand. Don't worry about it. There's probably a nuance that we're ignoring. Who wants in this case? Excuse me. I don't like the filter that it does. Oh no, it's the floor. The floor's all, all bummed. You need it. Detonator caps. Alright. Shield. Oh, we got cutscene. Yeah, I know! You already told me once! Okay, I assembled a C4 bomb. Got a horrible feeling, by the way, that we're going to need to run out of this place in a time limit. Just what got you that feeling. For? Hmm? What are you looking for? I didn't hear a word you said. You were too cute and small. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Being cute means that no one ever listens to you. I mean, I do listen to you. Kind of. <laughs> you need a shield. Yeah, I do. <laughs> why? <laughs> Bebe, no! Bebe, why? I threw a 5.1. Because we only had 5 last time we were here, so it's probably alright. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh oh. This is going like. Oh no! We did it, we did it, we did it. Just! Oh, it's the room, shit. <laughs> gonna guess there's gonna be worms in the pit, because there always is. Wormy worms. Wormy worms. They always get this weird little short cutscene for no reason. <laughs> like, they're like the least intimidating enemy in the world. Gotta examine? I don't know. Right. Just push the button! No, no, wait! <laughs> okay, listen. Listen. Okay. Just do the things. Just do it. Oh my god, we need we need to cast a seven point spell, but we don't have enough ma ma fucking mana, so... Give me a minute. <laughs> we also need to have enough mana, I just realised, to leave the room on the way back for the shield as well. Well, I think you should cast the shield, then regen, then enchant. You're it's... very, very likely to be right, because the shield won't fuck off, right? The shield doesn't fuck off unless you get hit. So how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you've enjoyed the playthrough so far. We're getting near the end finally. This has been a very long project, hasn't it, baby? Yeah. But I think the longest one we've ever done. At least in terms of footage that we need to get rid of.
Oh wow, this is gonna suck. We have to run all the way out and I have to remember the way. Okay, you ready? Okay. Let's do this. The homes, the 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 words of Homestar. Let's do this like Brutus. I don't know if Homestar knew what he was saying. I don't know how many of you know who Homestar is. Mike is activated the bomb's timer. The countdown's begun. Almost an answer. A deep, low rumbling begins to reverberate. You have three minutes to get out. Wait, why is there a microphone in the bomb? Speaker, you mean? And I don't know. Just run away. Run away! Oh shit. Okay. Hello, sir. Just run. Bye. I don't know the way, so this is going to be uh, interesting. Especially as I just got knocked. Where's the door? Where's anything? Okay, this is bullshit. Is it this one? I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. I Have I been here? Ever? I don't know! I think we're gonna die. Oh no. What are you doing? I'm getting my sanity back so I don't drop dead from random fucking enemies looking at me. Okay, this looks promising. That does not look promising. I've lost all my sanity again. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, whoa! I bet I don't know where I'm going. I'm just panicking. There's a horror in here. A gatekeeper, even, is what I mean. Not a horror. Probably the right way. No idea. Just hoping. We've got a cutscene, at least, so this is a good sign. Yay! I don't think it's over yet, by the way. Something exploded. Oh. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am, and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck. <laughs> okay, then. So he gave him the gladius, the enchanted gladius we found, mm -hmm. and the last artifact. Yeah. That chapter was nowhere near as bad as the previous one, in terms mm. of difficulty. Because you were tooled up the arse, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is the last chapter. We play as Alex. <laughs> no right. sanity. Let's fix that immediately. <laughs> no sanity at all. Maybe twice. Time for the final chapter, which is probably going to be really difficult. I'm oh going to be my god. We do not have the Enchanted Gladius yet. We just have a Gladius, but we will probably get it at some point during the course of this thing. We better. I quit this right now and it was gone. That's weird. Anyway, time to go. So rude. Oh, hi. In my house. In my house! You see me miss about ten times there because I couldn't aim in the corridor. Yes. Listen, I'm just a little lost lumpkin, alright? It's vitally important to me that we survive this thrilling encounter. 
All right, anyway. You're right, lads. Having a great time in the ass, you see? That's what Alex talks like. I decided. I know he doesn't talk much, but I've decided to usurp. Okay. Yes. We have never been in here, I don't think. Up to this point. Oh, look, it's the room we need. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So here, a crank socket is mounted. I, I guess that's right. Then we go to this one. I really wish this wasn't quite as fiddly as it is. It's very, like, it moves like a lot, you know what I mean? Like, it moves yeah. like a shitload. Right, this one doesn't have a crank, I don't think, but... I know, it does. maybe it does. Oh yeah, it does. What's the other crank I've got them for? I've no idea. I don't know. Maybe... Well, anyway. Is that what you needed to do? Yep. Oh, now we need to head to the basement, but we're going to have a special surprise on the way because of what we did with the secret weapon. Oh my god, there's a bang at the door. Excuse me? How dare you just put a package inside my house? And then just leg it. I mean, I'd rather them leg it than stay. It's a package. Let's uh, open it, shall we? Got the essence of Ilya and the enchanted Gladius. I think that's a bit weird. Come on. It, it was handed the to house. the grandpa. It should have just been in the house. The fact that the essence of Ulysses is there, which he definitely did give in the cutscene, yeah. is, is really fucking weird, actually. That's just weird. Anyway, I'm sorry. We have the that's best just weapon weird. In the game now. <laughs> this door was not here before. Oh, look. It's the ominous thing from before. Oh, my God. I guess it doesn't really matter where we save now. Yeah. Well, don't save over... Uh, ones from, yes, the ones from earlier. Yeah. Don't save over Grandpa's ending yeah. and uh, the other one ending, just in case. Just in case any more problems come of this. I think Minx has mentioned it in a Patreon notice, but this, this game has given us... It's quite not quite levels of Ghost Hunter yet. But it's we, harder than Ghost Hunter, though. It's harder than Ghost Hunter, but we haven't had to replay the entire game. We have had to replay a couple of chapters. But, you know, so far... We're getting to the end. That's the important thing. We are. Oh, no. The whole floor is covered in yellow. I guess you'll need a shield. A big one. Well, that was just rude. Alright, first things first, okay? There's a bunch of things we're going to need to do here, okay? First of all, we need to dispel magic. And we also need to make a seven-point version of it. So, let me, uh... Check what's needed. We need a uh, Nethlek and Red Gorma rune. Nethlek and Red Gorma. And then just Paragon, boom, 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 boom. And that will open the doors in the room, okay? So let's do that first. Should be red, I think. God, she has so much more magic than that other guy. So much better. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now, shield. We need a seven point shield here if we're going to survive. Yes. Alright, let's go. Yay! I'm a little scared about this. Yeah. Oh boy. How many oh, left? Jesus. Four? Ah! 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 
We're okay, we made it with two left. <laughs> you definitely needed a seven point there, though. What a wonderful room! So, why wasn't this blown up? We blew the fuck out of it! Um, you know... Reasons. No, there's no reasons! <laughs> they just wanted us to do this stupid fucking circle of shit again! <laughs> okay, anyway. We need to pick up- we need to repair this first, because it got a little bit blown up. Just a little bit. Okay. Just the bed a bit. Okay. been repaired. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so handy. It's gonna be a shame when we uh, destroy all the ancients and stuff, we're not gonna be able to cast magic anymore. Probably. I would think. I mean, that's true. <laughs> what am I trying to use here? Where am I putting this? Here, yeah, it's this. Look at it. There we go, I had to... So I'm not even looking, I'm sort of staring off into the background a bit, which is pretty weird. Listen. Anyway. Alex has seen some shit. She can stare off into the background if she wants to. Okay. How dare you. How dare you. Alright, now we need to put the essences in here to power up the thing. Finally a use for them after all this fucking time. What if we happily were missing one? <laughs> I'd lose my fucking shit. <laughs> I don't think you can get to this point without getting all of them. No, you don't. You might not have the gladius, but you will have all yeah. the essences. Alright, we now have to do exactly what we did in Edward's chapter, which we mostly cut out of the video because it was really fucking boring. Alright? So we'll be back in a minute? We'll be back in a bit, yeah. This is, I mean, I say a minute, it's gonna be like 25 minutes probably for us. Well, it's gonna be a second for them, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs> so yeah, we have to do this all over again. Alright, this should be the final rune, guys, that we need to activate to um, trigger the final confrontation with Pius. Hopefully this is it. Looks like we did it right! Oh, oh, so AC! 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 Oh no! Oh. Go away, AC. Thank you. You ready to fight the meanest centurion? The meanest centurion rapper in the world? Flinging fly flames from the depths of hell? <laughs> <laughs> no. We gotta get past these guys first, unfortunately for us. Alright, you ready? Fortunately for us, we can do it in a safe and family friendly PG 13 clean way by using Bind. Yeah. Just watch them have a little fight. Doesn't really matter which one dies, to be honest with you. I don't really care. Put this one down. And we'll do it again and get the other ones to fight each other. What little numpkins they are, Bentley. So they're fighting helpful. again. Probably should get a gun out because as soon as that one's gone. Oh, I should probably use this, actually. The barrier's gonna go down when one of them's dead. Hello. Are we friends? We're not friends. But you were dead. One hit from the Gladius, by the way. Baby, we did it! Yay! We're nearly, nearly at the final teleporter, baby. You ready for the fun times? Yeah, but you might want to save as soon as you can. Don't worry. I'm on top of it. Okay. I'll trust you. You know why? Because you love me. Why you'll trust me, I mean? Oh, why? Because I'm an amazing one. Hmm. Sounds sussy. Sounds a little sussy to me. But it's okay because I love you. You love me. With a capital W. For what? Love. Do I risk it with just these spells or do I just wait? I think I'll wait. I think you should wait. <laughs> Considering the amount of time we put into this section. By the way, 
sorry if anyone doesn't want to see, wanted to see these sections, but basically all it is is you activate the rune like you saw and run through a room of monsters, run across this floor into the room again and repeat constantly for like 25 minutes. Yeah. Nothing else really happens. It's very tedious and is a very bad example of video game padding in my opinion. There aren't even any effects or anything fun, which no. would have been which would have been fun. It would have been fun if every single time you did it you had an insanity effect. That would have been fun. Um, but no, it's just, it's really boring. Yeah, it, it, it was really boring in the other guy's chapter, and it's really boring in this chapter as well. Uh -huh. At least Alex can competently fight, which makes it somewhat easier. Mm. Whereas the other guy was just absolutely fucking useless. But, um, this, uh, this has been, this, this bit is by far the worst bit of the game, in my opinion, in terms of, like, just being dull. Alright, I think we made it. Oh my goodness. Before we step through... We should save our game. Yes. We're gonna save it in this one. And we're gonna take on Pius. Probably for over an hour. Would you like to save your program? I just did, but okay. <laughs> for you, game. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Final showdown. Let's go. Yay! Gotta kick his bum. <laughs> this is not gonna go well, I can tell. <laughs> Remember the final boss in Clock Tower? Oh no. I don't, apparently it's not that bad, this one, but we'll see. Miss Rovius, you're just in time. Are you Rovius? The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my Lady Zelatov. This isn't the time for fear. <laughs> for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, Pius. I mean... <laughs> the human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the ancient's essences. Now, Pius, this is the end. <laughs> the end, indeed. Are you ready for a final showdown? Yeah. So salute! <laughs> well, that's just rude. There's Zelotaf looking sexy. Are they all coming out? They are, because we're summoning them. So that's chat to Right? The red one. Mm -hmm. I just call them the red one, the blue one, the green one, the pink one. Right? <laughs> well, I mean, Mantarok's purple. I like the way each one's a separate FMV there. Oh, I only summon the red one, because that's the one that they're weak to. Alright. It's time to fight. Oh, I feel like maybe we should have had more of a shield before we started. There's no need because we're playing on easy mode with this weapon. Ooh. If I get injured, I'm gonna just back up. Okay. And heal, hopefully. Okay, here's a shield at the moment. I have no idea how to get rid of it. Well, you did before. I'm not sure what you did differently. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The aim for the face. He's got. He's. Oh, he's got. He's actually got a shield up. Okay, don't worry. I say as I immediately get hit. I have to get rid of the shield, I guess. Is it actually going? It doesn't look like it. Maybe I should cast magic that he's weak to. Oh, here it! No, it is! 
I'm oh. gonna get that. That's what the problem was. Oh, it kept like appearing in the background. Yeah, I, I guess. thought it appeared next to him, but it didn't. No. Music's uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dutch. There it is. Got it again. All right, halfway point. Yay! If you could do something with the tome, that would be none. Oh, we're playing this, so shit. <laughs> the tome is mine. All right, the thing's all the way up there. He's doing more. He's doing five point spells now, by the way. Oh, oh we're yeah. playing a set of shit. And then we're back to Alex. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I didn't need to. We should have had the regen up before we walked in. Pardon? The regen. Yeah, we should have done. Very convenient. It was right there. I hope that counted. Oh, it did. We're with the with the other guy. Yeah. I don't know if I meant to fight him or not. I think you need to go Find after. The Just keep hitting the essence. I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, I lost him. Okay, I see. Yeah, I lost him because I got hit. Okay, so you can't get hit. You just have to hit the essence. Got it. There it is. Yay! Pius is not that that smart compared to like compared to the other boss we fought. This is way way more way easier. Yeah. Hang on, where the fuck is it? We need to hit him again. Oh fuck, okay. <laughs> you hit him once, then you need to go find it. It's up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. His shield is shit. Now we need to find the assets again. There we go. Okay. Alright, we got a groove going. Yep. And these guys are going at it. <laughs> Just punted her. <laughs> I'm gonna heal up in a minute, I think. Yeah. Just to keep my health on max, you know what I mean? I can't do it actually as a ghost, I just realized so. Oh no, he's so slow! He's very slow. Because he's a chubby man. Where is it? There it is. I don't know why I did this. Yeah, that was not smart of you. <laughs> it's up I'm, there. I'm gonna run up here, heal, and then do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Hit the fucking thing! <laughs> oh, it's right there. Get fucked, priest boy. <laughs> it went down here. Yeah. I think we've nearly gone through the cars now at this point. Almost. The archaeologist went came through for us. More going on! The art architect. Did it shatter? It did! Yes, it did. Oh no. Come on, shut <laughs> up. Got a big mouth. Oh, get fucked! <laughs> we just ate all of them. Oh shit! I feel like this is only temporarily solving the issue because the rest of them are still gonna. Now we just have to fight him, by the way. Oh, okay. Now it's just like a, uh, a battle. But having this makes things a lot easier because he can't yeah. cast magic when we hit him with it. Yay! Oh fuck, he might do here though. Where are you, you little bastard? Little bumpkin! Got him! Bumpkin! Get fucked, Pius! 
That was actually really easy compared to the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, by the way. Oh my god. We beat Eternal Darkness. Oh Something I never thought god. we'd do, actually, I want to be honest with you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looked like pretty destroyed to me, dude. No, my death is just the beginning. Who cares? Shut the fuck up. They set up for a sequel here that never happened, unfortunately. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, you should watch. By the way, shout out to Matt, Mc, Matt McMuscles. You should watch his video about Too Human if you want more backstory on this game <laughs> and the disaster that followed it. Oh, he wasn't joking. <laughs> Quickly, Alex. We must find this creature. It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe. Oh, shit. What do I need to do to bind it? I think we need to summon Mantarok. Okay. Um... What do we need to do? Hold on. Panic! Panic! Hold on. Hold on. It's I'm okay. Panicking. Don't panic, it's fine. Just give me a second. Uh. <laughs> give me a second. I know it's here somewhere. Uh. <laughs> we're fine, guys. Just thinking. If we're just thinking, we're definitely not googling. Right, baby? Sure. I I know I saw it. Where the fuck is it? Okay, I know what to do. Okay. I mean, I found it, but it's just one room. Oh, okay. This, I think. Uh... Yeah, there we go. We just have to cast Protect. That's so stupid! Because <laughs> we can't let this one run riot either. Yeah. The FMBs are kind of weird, aren't they? The way they jolt in. Over, my dear. The ancient's plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. Shame they're dead, lol. I'm sorry it had to be like that. <laughs> that was very mean, sorry. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. As I gazed up at the ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. <laughs> to think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality, to see those who dwell once a fool. You overcome the darkness and prowl for two millennia. The accomplishment will begin a new era for humanity. Now, would you like to record this grand occasion in the pages of human history? Yes. Yes. Why not? This was a very tough game, by the way. Our, our playtime is going to be is like 11 hours or something, right? Mm -hmm. But 
reality, that's closer to like 17 to 20 hours, I'd say. Overall. Anyway, that was Eternal Darkness, 70s Requiem. What did you think, Carissa? This is seen, often seen as like a, a pinnacle of the survival horror genre. I think at the time it was probably a lot better than it is now. It's not aged well, has it? I don't think it's aged well. It's very clunky. Um, there have been a couple of times where we needed to restart chapters, but I think that's a mixture of factors. But part of those factors was extra clunkiness. Um... It's very easy just to drop dead for almost for no reason sometimes. Yeah. You just suddenly you'll be fighting on full health in the next second. It's die. like unless you do exactly exactly what the programmers thought you would do. Yeah. You drop dead. Yeah. Super easily. At least that's what how we uh, felt. Uh, and we didn't use much magic and stuff uh, early on, which definitely was a problem, but we yeah. knew, the, the game But that's really that's the important That's of it, what I, I mean. Yeah. I mean if that that's what I was talking about. Because they expected you to, like, use manage from the second you got it. Mm -hmm. And we didn't, because we're dumb. And we also don't have the manual. And I think, because this is such an old game, it's one of those games where if you don't have the manual, you're missing out yeah. on a lot we, of, we like, to, we instruction. We have to Google a lot about the magic. Yeah. To actually create half the shit in the game. But I think that's just a symptom of an old game, because a lot of old games are like that. Yeah, like... I will say, I think some of the some games from the PS2 and PS1 era have aged just fine still, mm -hmm. in comparison to this. But the reason this hasn't aged well is because it tried some ambitious new mechanics, mm -hmm. and as a result, they don't hold up as well. Mm -hmm. Like, they were very ambitious at the time, but they have not aged well. Whereas more standard survival horror stuff has aged okay, because it's not as innovative as, or at least attempting to be innovative. I mean, there's a reason some things survived and some things didn't. Yeah. Um... Let's say it wasn't bad. Like... It wasn't bad. The story, again, I've said this a couple times throughout the game, but to summarize, I wish the story was more about Alex's family. Because at the beginning of the game, that's what it's presented as. But realistically, there's only... Like three members of the family? Three members of the family. Yeah, you have the original... Ma yeah. yeah, you have him, then you have the grandpa, and then you have Alex. There's only three. And it would have been cooler... If it integrated more into the family, you could have like random people here and there, but I, I also got really sick of some of the same environments. Some of them yeah. often enough, but the temple in particular was recycled so many times yeah. it got really obnoxious. And I do understand why, because these are central points to the actual like plot that's happening. You know, the 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 uh, the pr the ritual. So I understand it, but it would have been nice if there was just a bit more. Flavor There's instead like of just those. There's four locations across twelve chapters. Yeah, and I do understand, like you said, they do change, but sometimes not enough. Sometimes not enough. Like uh, th that last, te the last temple level. Oh my god, that felt so boring. Mm -hmm. I'd seen it. I'd seen every room in that place again and again and again by that point. You know. And I wish there were more sanity effects. I do understand that's partially our fault. <laughs> that's partially our fault because. Um, we didn't let the uh, sanity go too low. The, the reason I kept healing my sanity is because when a bone thief comes and shows up, you just drop dead if you haven't got max sanity. I, I know, <laughs> but... I mean, honestly, I think you could have let the sanity run out a bit more than you did, just just to be a bit more entertaining. But yeah, it would have been it would have been nicer if there was more random ones. Yeah. If I was playing this, like, we played this with a walkthrough, obviously, right? If we hadn't played with this walkthrough, this would have taken us, like, 30 hours, I think. Yeah. Like, it was incredibly challenging. Incredibly challenging. And we fully understand that, that we uh, can be very incompet incompetent with games. So, you know, there's that. Take that. Take our analyzing of difficulty with a grain of salt. Yeah, this, <laughs> I'd never played this before. Or knew, I didn't really know anything about it. We, mm -hmm. I, sorry, I played the first level. But I never like really. I didn't know the story or you, much about it. You, you rage quit years ago on the temple with the girl. Yeah. Through that uh, running thing, that's where you gave up. Yeah. Never got any further than that. But otherwise, like I, I don't think it's terrible. I just think it's a product of its time. Yeah, I don't think it's terrible. I think the story could have been a lot better, but it's a decent premise. It's a pretty good premise, you know. Anyway. And and all in all, I think it was an okay game. Yeah. Next we... up is a more modern survival horror, though, with the new Song of Horror. Oh my god, it's so new. on playthrough. 
which is a tribute to old survival horror games like this one. Let us know what you thought of the game, and if you've played it before, tell us, you know, your personal opinions. Try not uh, to roast us too hard. Yeah, try not to roast us too hard, please. We are self-beans. We're bubbies. We're bubbies. Please be kind. Um, please be kind to the bubbies. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you liked it. And even if you didn't, do it too. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you soon for more content, guys. Have a great rest of your day. That was Eternal Darkness Sanitas Requiem. Uh, if you want to keep the videos coming, check out our Patreon. And you can nominate and vote on the long plays and get involved in the community there. If you want to watch us live, we have a Twitch. Twitch.tv slash That's it. That's it. Bye. Bye. Go watch another one of our videos. All of them. Now. <laughs>